Welcome back to Nat 19. Yep. Poor Spencer. Poor, Poor Spencer. Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back we're, to the week we before the Chat 19 where Brad and Spencer are going to be on it together. Mm -hmm. um, good time. <laughs> Poor widow, oh me. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm very excited. Welcome back. We've been gone for a week. Uh, this is campaign one, session twenty nine, and we have we have returned post release of the Holy Grail handbook to huh. date this episode very specifically, <gasps> Whoa. as well as post us putting Red Bubble stuff up. But I a digress. I'd like we missed a week, so I'd like to just heck and throw us right into this if I could. So, let's go ahead and move this over to Shadoink. Shadoink? The, the Shadoink was for me changing the screen. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I, I was expecting, like, a map to pop up on my screen. Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right. And, Dico, what happened last time? Oh. All right, so check it. We were inside of a cave. Yeah! But, like, Spencer we were inside of a bubble in a cave, right? Horseless went further into the cave... This. Saw a bunch of like marks showing a dude crawling through a cave, but it was like a big dude crawling through a cave. And we're like, we don't want to go near there. So we went the other way because we thought that's where the dragony boy was. And we want to, you know. So we go over yeah. there, we look, we find a temple, and it's like, oh, that's a really cool temple we have here. How do we get in? Who knows? Kitty touched it. We can go in. That usually works when Kitty touches things. Um, we make our way inside. Uh, voice was like, hey, yo, uh, don't steal shit or bad things. And none of us could hear it. So it's like, you can't stop us if we can't read. Um, we went going forward. <laughs> 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 we kept going forward. We eventually found our, our dragonborn boy. And he's like, hey, I'm behind like three doors so I can feel confident. And we're like, oh, yeah, why don't you say that to our face? And he's like, I don't have to, bye. And I'm like, fuck! Um, so... <laughs> We turned around, started doing some puzzles, and like, you know, I'm like totally into it, and Spencer left, so <laughs> we finished some puzzles. <laughs> one of which was a puzzle with a snake. We pulled a thing out of it, looked it in the eyes, it was great. Another one was a thing with the, with a statue. We went inside, he set us on fire, it was great. Third yeah. one, we went over toward this room, and this room's like, hey, we're a puzzle, but we're not, so then we got attacked, and it was great. And then we went into this area that we're in currently, where at the very end of the thing, there's like this coffin or, or, or like thing, and it's like, hey, what do we do here? And everyone, we're all like, hey, how about you take care of this, Vogan? And we all went inside <laughs> of our little safety hallways, and Vogan <laughs> had to fight against the monster. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want was, Vogan to die, don't you? And that was the last game. Oh, shut up. You <laughs> think <laughs> like, like, after straining <laughs> fucking Spencer, what did you tell me? You were like, yeah, y'all didn't want to help me. Like, Logan said that the charisma rolls were some fucking thing, and I was like, well, he was a liar! <laughs> like, like, I knew he was using yeah. those to fuck with you. <laughs> I forget what you told me it was. <laughs> fuck. But yeah, uh, they were like the, boosting you. Puzzles or for or combat puzzles. You should be happy, Spencer. Yeah, uh, come on. They were almost... puzzles. They oh. were just fights. <laughs> oh, boo boo. <laughs> That's not true. That should be good for you. I thought you liked that. Yeah, because I we, like fights. If, if any, if any That's of all us you had, like. if any of us had let go of our like pulley thing, we wouldn't have gotten any of the cool stuff we did last session. It's and true. you got to take down a big baddie by yourself. Listen, mm -hmm. I didn't With... participate in the puzzle. I just fought Ooh. a thing. So That's I not true. You pushed a button. <laughs> I'm gonna have a stroke. I... You did stuff. You helped, <laughs> man. You this saw chat the 19's gonna be the best. Did I? <laughs> did I? Or did I just burn through hundreds of gold? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're ahead so, of us next XP. Calm down. So, uh, <laughs> as of as of the end of last session, I can't remember. Did you guys settle on if you were going to take a rest or not, or did you do? No, that? I think we decided against that. Yeah, right. I was I, I was at least adamantly sure, against. Yeah. It. I don't know about everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> we were against okay. It. So, yeah. uh, everybody, you have the map, yes? Yes. All righty. Well then. Uh, power is effectively uh, placed back in your hands. Ugh. You guys know where you are. You are there. Um, in the distance, you hear the sound of uh, gently moving water echoing down the hallways. There's I can a. See the whole map today. Hmm. I can see the whole map today. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> you mean like the stuff you guys are on? 
Yeah, because last time I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last time was a struggle, but I have uh, I've made sure to have everything reduced, and I will continue to do so in the future. I end up sharing everything on our Discord and publicly anyway, so I'm not really that concerned about quality loss on images. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Heckin'. So, what would you guys like to do? It is currently time. Yay! <laughs> Who knows, man? Neat. Ain't no sun uh, in here. I could Ain't try no and figure it out. No. You get the sense <laughs> that it is. You get the sense that it is probably somewhere around midday, based off how long you've been in here. You would guess it yeah. is somewhere between two to five in that area p.m. Okay, rock on. Well, um, <laughs> we've gotten we've gotten yet another one of these out of the way. Let's continue oh. forward. I walk mm -hmm. over to the Minotaur and I break off a horn. That's right. Alrighty. Fair. Break off right. a Minotaur horn. I put it in my bag. I like go by, <laughs> like go by and just like just like pat him on the shoulder, like good job, Hogan. <laughs> like the whole time you he's doing. I'm, I'm just drunk on health potion at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> I've been brushing all of the I'm broken, <laughs> the broken like potion toxic. bottles away. I'm trying to put them in corners so no one steps on them. Alrighty, this is a hazard. So as you guys move forward into this next area, I'm gonna have to hack in. Click that, click that. I need to reveal the map. I'm just gonna reveal this entire room here. As you guys move forward and you enter into this next room, moving towards the source of the Sound of Water, you enter into a very large circular room. Uh, in the middle of the room, there is what appears to be a very large elevated fountain. Uh, that is it basically amounts to a large pool of water. The water itself isn't, it's not moving all that much. Uh, so fountain might be a bit misleading on the surface. It has a radius of about, about 10 feet from the middle. And there's the map. And in the center, there's a very large statue that is uh, a cup, stands about twice as high as your average person. It is a, uh, a figure of a woman that is very slender. The water that is filling this is uh, opaque. It is water-like. You notice it is a bit thicker than you would imagine from water regularly when it moves. And it seems to move with a uh, thicker consistency than water normally does. But it is not sludge-like. It is still flowing relatively normally. The large statue of the woman that is in the center of the room, uh, she has... A somewhat morose look on her face. <laughs> what? The token moving is that we're malfunctioning. Go on, sorry. What's malfunctioning? Oh, nothing. Us, okay. don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, the woman has her hand outstretched, and in her palm, the with the hand outstretched down to about... A, a, about regular person, like it'd be about chest height for a regular person. There's a small ring that has these small blue carvings that look like filled-in cracks running along it. Uh, and there is, uh, the other hand is on her chest, seemingly tracing down a long scar on her chest with two of her oh. fingers. And on the edge, since you guys know there's engravings, on the edge of it, there is, once my hand was even, I do love, but only the sweetest did I trust. Even still, I knew only fear, for it is those of the purest hearts who have pierced mine. One final betrayal, and so I let go of everything. If I did not let go, I fear I would melt away. The pool is raised up about two feet. You would have to step over the edge to get into it. Um, beyond that... The edges of the room seem to reflect light from the pool, causing this uh, very uh, aquarium-like effect in the room, which is ultimately a dome that raises up about 20 feet. Oh. 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 Mm. <laughs> uh, is there any way that, uh, like, looking at the at the water, do I feel like, um, you said it's, like, thicker than normal. Is there, can I touch it? Do you want I'm it? going to touch it. Okay. Heck, <laughs> can I touch it? No. Your muscle spasms. 
<laughs> you find yourself unable to move your arm. Uh, but yes, when you reach out to touch it, um, it is the water as you touch it appears to be freezing cold. Uh, not, not painfully so, but enough that as you touch it, you can even feel through your armor and you recoil instinctively. Oh. Oh. You feel like you could power through it if you wanted to, but it is uncomfortable. Hmm. I have some ideas, but... Hmm. Once my hand was even... How it, that, that line in particular is sticking out to me. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think... I'm just speculating here. If we return the hands to even? Uh, how are we feeling about that? Does that sound possible? Does that sound I don't know, stupid? It's already two of them. <laughs> I, I've then balanced both of my my head and my hands just in di disappointment no. just, uh, <laughs> shaking my head because one's doing one thing and the other hand's doing something else right? or yeah, one of the, to review one of the hands is down outstretched with the ring in its palm uh, the other hand is tracing a long scar that is running uh, down their chest. If we take a closer look, does it look like the hands, like, could be articulated? Like, To take a closer look, you would have to enter into the pool. Oh. Ooh. How now, this cold? is going to sound really bad coming from me. <laughs> but I think that one thing on here is saying that we uh, that uh, they need to they need to let go of everything. I think someone needs to get into this freezing cold water very naked. <laughs> Why do so many of these puzzles want us to get naked? <laughs> now it also said that. Uh, Where does it say nudity? Hold on. <laughs> it also <laughs> says that they only trust the sweetest. And again, this is going to say very seem very strange coming from me. But I think that, honestly, it should be anyone but me, <laughs> potentially Vogan and Aristo. <laughs> <laughs> So, if any of you wish to get naked, now is the time. I'm just going to lean up against the wall. And just... Where is the nudity coming from? I don't read anywhere. It doesn't say, like, take no. off thine claw. No, no, let's take them out. Like, what? This is a pretty good plan. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> They know only the only those of the purest hearts can have pierced theirs. Looking at the looking at the way they're trailing their uh, their hand down the scar along their chest, potentially means that someone of pure heart needs to go there and potentially stab them. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh my goodness! They had to let go that of everything. If not, you felt they felt they would melt away. So if you go in there into this freezing water, potentially all of your things will go away as well. So, I believe the best option is for either Fenris or Lyra or, or Lexi to get naked and get inside of I have no qualms with accomplishing this, but where in this it does just, it say nudity? I, like, you don't think it means, like, emotionally? Like, I mean, it feels kind of weird. I mean, like, I'll do it if we have to I do it, it, but, like... It may no, be better Lexi, to have backup. I insist maybe, upon maybe this, Maybe everyone please. should do it. <laughs> Do not put, do not put get in the pool. <laughs> you know what, hey guys, guys, let's I, be fair here. We all do it. I'm like taking off my shoes. I think we should all get naked and get in the pool. Where does it say? Kitty, let's go. I need help. <laughs> I've, I've already got my, oh my shoes God. off. Um... I'll step in. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm deciding to ignore the order for naked for lack of clothing. If it, it, <laughs> You'll kill us all. <laughs> Just looking at everyone like she's making eye contact with the group. She backward steps into the pool. <laughs> all right. Oh. Stepping in again when you put your feet into it. It is cold enough that you recoil immediately. Uh, it sends a very distinct shiver running up your body. 
Um, but as you step in, nothing else seems to happen. It is hard to move inside. Not <laughs> not difficult terrain hard, just you like, do feel like you have to cold. really... Yeah, yeah, like you and feel thick, more like you're pushing water. through wet Thick. snow than you're pushing through water. Uh, oh. Whenever you mm. move around in it, the space, like the ripple that you cause, <laughs> takes a second to fill in behind it as opposed to water, which would just immediately cascade into <laughs> the space. But, um, and you also notice that none of it is sticking to you as you move through it. Um, you're not getting wet from it, apart from what's already underwater. Hmm. Interest. Okay. I'm approaching. I'm good. Okay. Nothing yet. Your clothes are pulling you down. I'm getting up. We're learning some new things about Quinn in this fucking session. All I'm saying is it was a good idea. It's a time cleric. I say not the time for that one. But, uh, I'll investigate the statue itself, see if it looks like any parts of it can move. Yeah. Uh, so walking Don't up to it, and in, walking up to it yeah. and investigating it, uh, making sure not to try to take the ring. It doesn't yeah. look like any part of it can move. None of it appears to have separated joints. It is uh, uh, completely like one large chunk of whatever the material it's made out of is. Okay. Um, how cold is this thick water? Is it like Very. if I stay in here too cold, too long, I'll like receive cold, cold enough damage? that you feel like it should be freezing into ice. Uh, you feel like if you stayed in it not. for if you stayed in it for a long period of time, like for ten plus minutes, you'd probably start uh, taking some damage. It would be not great for your health. Um, yeah. But as it ah. stands right now, it is just extremely uncomfortable. I can handle the common cold. It yeah. is difficult. Um, also, it is ugh. it is difficult terrain inside uh, as you try to move through it. If you tried to run, uh, you would find that it is difficult to do so. This this story of like this person who only knew fear and has that scar is any of that. Fenris, roll me religion since you are investigating it. That's fair. Okay. Well, fuck. Why? No. Always, maybe you should let Quinn roll religion. <laughs> no. It'll never happen. <laughs> I believe in you. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> so I don't notice anything. No, you don't notice anything. Yeah, no. Damn. <laughs> sure is a woman. I've got nothing. It doesn't look like anything is uh, going to change weight-wise if I place anything in either one of the hands. Mm. Um, hmm. it, does the ring Try. look like it's stuck in her palm? It like, appears to just be the... sitting on top of it. Okay, I just wanted in that her open hand. clarified. Yes, Blue? You had suggestion, oh great puzzle solver. <laughs> Oh, never mind, you got it. No, I don't know things, no, help! No! <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> no I can only saying. do this with your I have help, no idea what, uh, To be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea with this one. Um, but uh, yeah. maybe investigate the uh, the scar more closely? Mm. Yeah, does this look like statue with scar added, or statue that has been damaged? So, as you investigate it, the scar definitely looks like it's part of the statue. It is, um... Kind of ragged, as if it had been uh, forcibly chiseled in afterwards. It goes down about about an inch. It, it basically runs down the entirety of from the statue's collarbone uh, almost down to uh, just around the top of their their navel. It like runs down most of the chest, but it opens up and expands the most around where their heart would be. Okay. Are, are we like supposed to stab our inner scar or something? Like, I don't, are, and she'll like let go because we're betraying her? I don't think that'd be rather nice. Mm. Hmm. Sometimes I the past isn't nice, but I either agree. way, does it even look like something could fit in there? I mm. don't think so. It doesn't look like it's like a hole for something, it just looks like a scar, right? That's for you to decide. It looks jagged, like a like a crack had been uh, made in the in it, but it is very deliberately formed to look like a scar. How deep is hmm. the scar? 
Yeah, how deep? About, about half an inch down. Okay. Okay. Hmm. hmm. If it's if it's not a very big opening, um, I'll uh, I'll toss Fenris my my knife cane. That might be thin enough to get at the heart. Is this the first time you've ever actually taken that out? No, right, shit. <laughs> so <laughs> Raleigh, I no. no, I don't. I'm not. I don't think you've ever taken that out. I oh. think I did it like session one, and then not very often since. Then. Raleigh, <laughs> Raleigh turns the top of his cane, and then pulls uh, the top of it off, revealing a knife hidden inside of the cane. And tosses it over to you. You still have secrets. <laughs> secret knife. <laughs> secret knife. I told knife. you about those secrets, Raleigh. <laughs> no, it's just they, start like... <laughs> they start beating up Rob. I finally a puzzle I can participate in. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she'll like look a, like she's trying to be respectful while trying to stab the statue. Like, eh. okay, is anything happening? So, you said trying to stab it, are you stabbing it? I guess, yeah. Okay. It's gonna kick my ass. She just As yells, I you respect you! She I, stabs I the respect fuck out of me! I'm, this, we're simply trying things right now. This is a trial and error situation. You draw the knife back and raise it up over your head and plunge it. Uh, into the statue's chest. As you do, the knife drives into the stone. Uh, the stone seems to give way relatively easily, and the full blade sinks into the chest of the oh. statue. I'm looking no. back at the group for approval. Like, I did the I'm right like thing. I I'm feel like terrible. Nothing seems <laughs> yeah. to happen hmm? the beyond that the knife is now embedded in the statue. Hmm. Well, maybe now... Maybe now that there's a knife in her, it won't activate some sort of trap if you try to grab the ring? But uh, that's a risk. Mm. Mm. I could One try. final betrayal, and so I let go of everything. Mm -hmm. If I did not let go, I fear I would melt away. Mm. Oh, plain. It seems possible that stabbing oh. her made her let go of the ring. Uh... I guess I'll pick up the ring. This this is a terrible or idea. Try to, yeah. Yeah, I'll try. Alrighty. <laughs> you reach out towards it and you take the ring. Uh, you wrap your fingers around it in its palm. For a second, as you try to pull back, the ring uh, resists as if it is bound to the hand of the statue. But after exerting even a very small amount of force, you register that there's this very faint cracking sound in the hand, which was already open and palm up. Uh, the fingers seem to splay out even a little bit farther, and the ring comes off of it, and you take <gasps> it. Oh! And I, I prepare for... I flinch. Anything mm. bad happen? You take a second uh, beyond the horrible goosebumps on your skin from you heckin' freezing... Um, oh, yeah. Beyond that, there doesn't seem to be any effect. Did, did we do I that? Have, I have a horrifying suggestion, but I don't think it'll work. Mm. I just hope nothing bad happens. Perhaps one of us tries on the ring? I feel like that's asking for problems, but... Okay, but like you should mm. get out of the water, though. I was more thinking something else. What's that? Once my hand was even... Perhaps making the statue wear the ring. Oh, maybe. Mm. Uh, I'll do that. Sure, that's, mm. that sounds it like it. It did splay out its fingers. You will yeah. note that because the statue is twice the size of a regular human and the Never ring mind. is Never. your size, ah. it, 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 it cannot fit onto the fingers of the statue. Ah, that was I, a good I, idea, I, though. I, I, I was thinking, I, like, that was the very beginning. I was like, maybe if mm. we can get the ring, we put it oh, on the finger. Ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, huh? Raleigh, Did you identify you the ring? Huh? Raleigh, could you the possibly... ring? Yeah, oh. I'm gonna hold out the ring to Raleigh. Can you please cast um, identify? Maybe? Ah? I won't be able to do that until we take a nap or something. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I, Speaking of identify. I need at least a short rest. 
speaking of identified, do you know do you know who this lady is, Fenris? No, I'm afraid not. Every one of them so far has been some sort of a tie to a god of sorts. Hmm. Do you want to roll history, Fenris? Since he's pointing this out. Uh, sure. Come on, girl. You got this. Seeing that. Come on. Yeah! 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 So this. I suddenly this... know everything. <laughs> uh, this statue is an uncommon, but uh, it, it's a lesser-known depiction of the Idolan Vestius. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I, I was a little clouded for a minute, but I now realize this is. A representation of Vestius. Hmm. Is there any stories Shit. of Vestius that like talk about betrayal or anything like that? Mm. Good question. Yeah, that's so, common in the mythos. Since Fenris, uh, since Fenris already got it net twenty. Um, the Idolans have a myriad of different stories that surround them. Uh, most they were thought to have been mortals, and by this point, you guys have found out through supernatural sources that they were mortal beings at one point. Um, there are stories told about the trials and tribulations that they went through whenever the before they had ascended to godhood. And Vestius, being an idolon that represents sorcery and magic and uh, all sorts of things that are considered taboo, especially in this day and age, um, there are a variety of stories of them being hunted, stripped of their possessions, bound, um, having everything taken from them. Nothing springs to mind exactly here. But Vestius is depicted as both a villainous figure and an incredibly tragic figure in history, making this particular personification uh, leans more into the side where she is commonly depicted as a uh, something of a martyr for ancient sorcerers wow. and good uh, good spellcasters who would later in their stories fall to the temptations of magic. Hmm. But nothing, there's no uh, legends that directly correlate to, yeah. um, you know, the loss of a ring or directly being stabbed through the heart or anything. Perhaps you should get out of that water now, Fenris. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you could do it while also, while also keeping your clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just I was worried they would melt away. <laughs> As you continue and you move out That would have of, been a predicament. As you move out of the fountain, you find that as you leave it, the water seems to thin out and is no longer as uh, sludge-like. Um, oh. By the time you leave it, it has become a regular pool and is actually reflecting this uh, almost like electric blue light that matches the markings on the ring and that is causing the room to, uh, again, light up like, a, like an underground chamber in an aquarium. The whole room looks like all the light in it is passing through a layer of water. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I fucking Very love cool. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that shit more, is so one more neat. thing, Logan. Hmm? Is, is, is this writing down here? Uh, those are just arcane symbols uh, that oh, okay. you wouldn't immediately recognize. Gotcha. Slash part of the element I used to make it. Oh, Shooby dooby doo bop. <laughs> Shooby dooby doo bop. Bow. Well, we've hmm. obtained everything, but. Perhaps we should go back and see if anything allow us, allows us to keep going forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You he hear like echoing moving. through the area uh, from down the hallways back towards where you guys had come from. Originally, as in from the entrance. Yeah. Uh, you guys hear the second that you hear roar that you hear of this just colossal lion-like roar echoing through the hallways. And the faint sound of shifting stone as if some large grate uh, or chunk of wall had opened, uh, grinding against other bits of stone. And then shortly thereafter, you hear another huge grinding sound and a slam. Let's go check uh, on that. Okay. Keep hold of that ring. Hmm? <laughs> I, 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 I put the ring. Yeah. I put the ring in the party inventory. Gotcha. Uh, oh yeah. I, um, do I, did you bring my knife back? Oh, uh, yes. I will. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> hold on, I have to do it entirely. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to the ring. I'll have it an in entire inside. Did you bring my knife back? He says, looking at the knife in the chest of the statue. No, yeah. <laughs> as passive aggressive as humanly possible. I'm sorry, Rose. <laughs> oh, it's, it's nothing. It's just, you know, it's not like it's important or anything. It's not like it's yours or anything. I have to, I have to go back and redo it. This is my Re secret knife. I'm nothing without it. <laughs> my, my pain my becomes a knife. stick without it. <laughs> this is my oh. fair day knife. I, I, I have it so that I can have fair days. No. <laughs> oh. As you guys move back over to the other area, you find that the uh, opaque barriers that had previously been there have all disappeared. Oh. Hooray! Stay oh. ready. Oh. All right. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. I do not foresee this going. As you guys well. move forward and you, you enter into the last stretch of what looks like a hallway, there's a very large, uh, 15 feet across, um, metal door that is on the northern side, as well as a series of statues of different knights. They all appear to be uh, have a different number of. Um, fingers up on their hands as well as they all have a different weapon and their armors have these different colorations but you notice a few of them seem to have been grabbed and strewn about the area and seemingly recently there's some sort of diagram on the wall on the far end that looks like it would have contained writing for this area but it appears to have been slashed as if a very large weapon had been used to destroy it and you notice that halfway down the hallway when you guys had entered, you saw Murkwire hold up a charm that he seemed to insinuate let him bypass most of this place. You see it is laying in the center of this hallway, and it looks like it has been crushed. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like he knew we would be able to get by, by there any after all. God, I can't talk today. <laughs> it's alright, you're doing your best, and I believe in you. <laughs> that does seem foreboding, though. I'm gonna check out the door. And as you walk up to it, uh, you notice that um, it is slightly ajar. It, there is, seems to be a series of bolts built into the door itself, as if it could have uh, formed together. The two sides could lock themselves. But as you move up to it, you notice they are disengaged, and one of the doors are uh, is loosely hanging about an inch open. Does there appear to be any, like, symbols on the door or, like, writing or anything like that? <clears throat> yes. So whenever you take the time to read it, it would be written in common as well as uh, everything else here. Uh, you see written very simply, Those brave enough to light the path must beware the consequences. Turn back, he who fears himself. Well, I gotta turn back. <laughs> I can't wait to think. Goodbye. Opens door. There's a Vogan standing there looking at him. Closes door. Nope. 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 I'm not going in there. <laughs> can't do that. Nope. 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 Does it look like he can be forced open, Vogan? Uh, does it? Duh. Looks like it like, is open. Uh, oh. It's like it's already like sort of open. Well, what do we do? We go in. <laughs> Just be prepared for consequences, I guess. I will pick up that charm on the ground because you never know. <laughs> Consequences. If only one of us had mund mending. Jeez. <laughs> As you move forward and you push it open, the two metal doors both open inward. Uh, you see a large dark chamber. The uh, Most of the stone in this place has been glowing lightly, allowing this place to be well lit. Uh, in this particular room, it doesn't seem to be. And the glow coming from outside the room actually seems to stop, and the light from outside doesn't seem to be able to enter into it. There is a very dim light, however. I'm just going to reveal that chunk of the map. As you open it, you see there are four large pillars going from the ground up to the ceiling uh, inside of here. Oh. And though the graphic on the map is lit, uh, in the center of the room there is a large fire pit that is about five feet deep inlaid into the ground. Beyond that, there's nothing else in here, it seems. Just a stone wall. Oh, it's a fire, fire pit, pit without no. fire no in fire. it. Yeah, it's not lit. Oh, okay. And are those, like, little... Those are pillars. It's pillars. Yes, okay. And they so go I from think... the ground to the ceiling. Step, step, huh. step, step, step. So I think whoever lights this thing, 
has to be prepared for some sort of consequence. Prestidigitation. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> oh God! Anime. And everyone you're lighting turn it. Around. Yeah. You light it as you cause it to ignite. The this arcane red uh, fire it bursts out from the fire pit, and then very quickly it seems to turn blue and white. The entire room is illuminated with this ghostly glow, and you see all sorts of symbols along the walls in all different sorts of writing, celestial, uh, <gasps> different types one. of <laughs> abyssal, common uh, <laughs> words, many of which, even though they're in your language, don't seem to have any distinct meaning. Some of them seem like gibberish, and a whole bunch of them seem more like Egyptian hieroglyphics than, mm. um, than they do anything proper. The... Hmm? Pictogram style, kind of. Yeah. As that happens, and as the whole group, uh, the whole room is lit up in this way, you see the far wall seems to start dissolving and disappearing as if it had been an illusion, revealing a set of stairs that goes up to a very large entryway with a long hallway that is uh, obscured in darkness at the end. But as it does, and as you guys regard this, looking through a uh, passage through the fire, you start to hear these massive footfalls. The area is not shaking. But as these large footfalls seem to walk down the uh, dark hallway, uh, you do feel yourself shudder with each one of them. Mm. Slowly, you start to see a very large bestial form walking out on all fours. Illuminated with by this ghostly fire, you see a large pair of wings spread before you can see the actual form of it. And a creature steps out with a large mane, as if it were a, uh, a lion. Standing twice as tall as any of you, you guys see one of these boys step out. <gasps> oh, oh no! no. Oh jeez! Oh. All right, wow. it's riddle time, boys. So majestic! <laughs> it's man! It's man! It's man! <laughs> <laughs> he just turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> This large form walks forward, uh, this huge lion-like creature. Uh, it walks forward, and it sits at the edge of the staircase leading up into the walls, spreads its wings out in such a way as to obscure the view behind it. As it does, the fire flares up in front of you. Uh, it regards the lot of you, and a booming voice echoes around you. Those who would enter... Yet more trespassers upon this vault. Why do you seek to go forward? We seek to chase the other trespassers. And stop you whatever are... they have planned for this place. You are not permitted to do as such. <laughs> Those who have come before you earned their passage to the inner chambers. You have been granted no such passage. Turn back! What lays beyond here is not for the eyes of mortals. <laughs> we have tried these trials and we have been passed and we have passed them all. And in your hands I see the rewards for having done so. The other skipped through them all. If any, he is unworthy. The other trials, he stomps one of his feet and the area shakes, are of no consequence. They are trifles. The inner chamber is my domain. Do not mistake your victories for being greater than they are. I ask again, why do you seek passage to the inner chamber? You can keep asking me. And my, my, my answer will be the same. I am quite curious to see what's inside. <laughs> even if that knowledge may destroy you. Oh, even more so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If you think that you hold enough might to face the vaults in our chamber, then show me that might. Show me your power when burdened so infinitely by the heaviest dregs of your allies. Only then will you be permitted entry 
His wings flap. The fire that's in the center of the room flares out again. Words you see all of the uh, hieroglyphics around the room begin. Uh, the small amounts of fire burst out of them, and small bits of ash uh, float around the room. As it does, you see in the, from the fire pit. There's this large blast of energy and a bright light that causes you to recoil. And then, standing where it was, floating above it, uh, cut wreathed in blue flame. You see this floating large Ooh. golem. Oh. oh dear. Show me this might that you may gain entryway. There's another bright flash, and you guys are moved. You see the room twist <gasps> and contort. All of the hieroglyphics on the walls begin to spin around you, causing your vision to become blurrier. When finally it stops, heck in. It's a reality, what? Marvel. <laughs> shit! <laughs> shit! Thought we were done with this bullshit! <laughs> Never done with Yuck. this bullshit. Do, 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 do. I'm just revealing a thing. Whenever it finishes, you guys find yourselves to have been moved. Lyra is not moved with you. Oh, Lyra, what the fuck? Shit. Oh, She's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh no! You guys are moved. You find yourselves on different uh, edges of a chamber that is once again lit by this bright blue light, ghostly light uh, permeating Jesus. everything in it. You guys uh, see that there are six statues along the walls whenever you are moved over to here. Uh, and you immediately recognize that all of these statues are you. <gasps> There's a statue of each of you along the walls, each one of which has their hands out, and they're holding a fire pot that it seems to be floating just inches above their fingers. And we are going to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll for the NPC. You guys go ahead and well, roll for yourselves. Oh, jeez. I haven't been rolling well. Listen. <laughs> well, I got a 20. Two bad rolls. And a 20. I'll take it. Yay! You <laughs> <Aww. laughs> go before me! Yay! Uh. Alright, Mariam, we gotta take care of this thing before everyone else dies. <laughs> oh. is, it, is it there to kick our asses, though? I, I feel like so. yes. So if you assume. don't pay attention to the fact that it's actually a skull face going rah on the inside <laughs> yeah. of the fire, yeah. if you only look at the top half of the bra part of the face, it looks like a distant uwu. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I've got on fire! <laughs> Whoa! Cut right. through this, he man, you bitch! Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, first up, uh, we begin combat, Mariam. Uh, which one is me? Uh, the statues? Uh, we'll say yeah. the, um, middle right is you. Center right? Alright. Boop. Uh, I am going to go inspect it. If I can. I'd like to... Can I occupy the same space as it, or... Uh, we'll I will say that those count as spaces. Through? You can, you can occupy the same space. Alright. I'm gonna go over to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just spend my action inspecting the thing. Uh, moving over to it, uh, and using your action to inspect it, you do see that uh, there are some light embers that seem to be coming out of the fire pot uh, that are the same flickering um, dull red and bright white and blue flickers as the fire in the main room, as if, as if there's a flame ready to ignite from within the pot. But <laughs> beyond that, there's not a lot else to it. You do see that if the fire pots are disconnected in such a way that they could be moved, but they are also hovering there, so you briefly take it and you move it slightly, you find it floats back to where it was. <laughs> you also notice when looking down that at the feet of these statues, there's very small fire pits, like tiny vents that are at their feet uh, underneath them. Hmm. Ooh. This sounds like something we could either roasty toasted for. Is that you? Um, yeah, uh, that's my action inspected, so I'll uh, I'll call that my turn. And Vogan. Which one is mine? <laughs> uh, we will say that. So basically, the way you guys came in, rotate that by like negative ninety degrees, and that's it. So, so you would be uh, top yeah. left. Yeah. Top left. There. Yeah. Okay. Make a little circle here. Yeah. If you want to do that, that's. A good way to keep track of it. I'll go over here. Hmm. 
So by that, like, I would be this one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I like the idea of you guys inspecting it, it because though this is all it's happening at once, it just so seems like you, the golem's like, take me on! And it's just floating in the middle of the room as you move around it, like, Rrr! I'm just like, get us some in there! Jeez! Oh, it is I'll wait, I'll wait. It's lit, correct? No, the fire pots are not lit. They're not lit. They're not. There's slight embers and little flakes of uh, ash coming out of them, but they are not lit currently. Hmm. Okay. So like they were lit recently. Kind of. No? Um, Maybe? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy your speculation. It does. It is, is, it right? is, it is in a state where it seems like it is burning down. It is embers from okay. what could be considered a previous fire. But uh, that's about all I could say. <laughs> can I... Again, okay. Again. <laughs> there you go. Can I, use, can I use my action to light it with my tinderbox? Uh, you could certainly. Is that what you're choosing to try to do? Yeah. As you walk up, you take out your tinderbox and you try to light it. Though you definitely spark it, and under normal circumstances, the material in these fire pots should light. Uh, it doesn't seem to. Okay. All right. <sighs> I guess they'll just light on their own. Um, <laughs> uh, are movable as well. They are movable. They are movable. I don't know where to move it, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe give it to the big old boy in the middle. I was thinking that. Get him to heck in such a thing of flame. Yeah. With his flamey face. <laughs> With his flamey face, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll do that on my next pot. turn. Mm -hmm. um, Alrighty. Yeah, that's my turn. Lexi. So then. Left middle. Brad, you lost connection. This mine. Yeah. Yes. Um. I think our internet just died. <laughs> oh no. Shit. She, oh, she yeah. blue screened. Yeah. Oh, crap. oh She's no. been doing that like every week. She needs yeah. to get a new computer. Yeah, she yeah, does. It like it's does. on its last legs. Oof. It's been on its last legs for a while. <laughs> for, like, years. <laughs> like, it keeps finding new legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. So, yeah, you said that the, the little pot's removable, right? So can I, like, pick it up and fucking... I don't when know. you go to grab it, uh, well, is that what you're choosing to try yeah. to do? Yes, I'm gonna pick it okay, up. Okay, that'll be your action, you understand. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'd have to do other stuff. Only there, you were yeah. a thief. Okay. Yeah. If only I was some <laughs> sort could, of thief. Then you could use an an object. Um, but yeah, are you use, going to use your action to try to move it? Yeah. Okay, you moving over to it, you grab it, and you do try to move it. You find that it can't go more than about a foot and a half close to two feet away from it before it seems to get magnetically pulled back and starts floating back oh. towards it. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fight you much to, until that point, then once it is that far away, the pullback is slow and gradual as it gently mm -hmm. floats back to where it was, but as soon as it starts floating back to where, uh, to the hands, uh, you lose any ability to manipulate it. Okay. So we have to bring his flamey face to our statue. <laughs> that sounds that sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, does. <laughs> sounds a might dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds not yeah shit. We we haven't like attacked this boy, so I'm not gonna, so that's that's my turn. It's turn. It punches through your face. Back to it! <laughs> <laughs> um so real quick. Uh, I need to roll a thing. So yeah, uh, it's turn. It creaks. You hear the sound of s the unpleasant sound of stone grinding against stone as it moves. It reels back, puts its arms out, beats its chest, and the white fire that is escaping it uh, seems to emit from all the cracks in its body. And the whole room for just a second seems to increase in heat dramatically, enough that you all close your eyes to try to protect yourself from this heat wave. There's no statistic effect, but that occurs as it does. Cool. Uh, let's see. One. <laughs> the statue of Fenris. Do we have bread back? Oh. 
I'm here. The statue of Fenris, the fire pot ignites. Huh? Oh. And quickly following the fire pot igniting, uh, the entire statue, um, white hot flames erupt from the grates below it and catch the whole thing on fire. Uh, Fenris, as that happens, for a second you feel your own temperature increasing, and then you also ignite and burst oh, into no. flames. <laughs> oh, they're voodoo, voodoo statues. Yes, voodoo yeah. statues. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn voodoo statues. Not again. This is the work of the shadow man. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down at my Probably, table. What did you do? Would You're your right. mind at ease if you relax it? Fire! <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm on fire. You are, and you're gonna Rest. also real quick as that happens. I can, uh, do 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 boo boo. Quintus, you see the you hear the sound of the fire pot on yours also going up, and a second later, uh, you feel like your armor is heating up so much that it's almost cooking you inside of it. Flames erupt from the vents below yours, and you also ignite. Quint. Yeah. Oh. And At least we're on fire together. And then oh. finally, I got mad in the worst possible role. Oh, good. Quintus is double on fire, but that has no effect, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right, well, I can fucking the one beside it. The, the statue beside turns, its fire pot ignites, it throws it on Quintus. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right, as that happens, it then begins to move. It is going to turn and it begins floating through the room. Uh, its feet just above the ground. It rushes towards Quintus, and it is going to make a slam attack against him. <laughs> I guess to do all that wall. and attack. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a swing at you, Quintus. It brings its arm down. You bring your shield up. Uh, despite being on fire, it hits you. This reverberating sound of this clang echoes through the tiny chamber you're in. Uh, you do block it. It brings the other hand to down, clenches it. You hear the cracking sound as the hand comes together, and it strikes, and that one also gets blocked. Oh. Hell so yeah. your, your armor manages to prevent you from being damaged by it, but uh, its hulking form is still barreling down on you. Wow, and... you're really on fire with defense. Raleigh. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> <Get it>. uh, <laughs> I guess um God, this would be this would be mine, right? Go over here. Um heck. I'm sh hmm. Hmm. Yo, right? Uh, I thought I, we were I'm, supposed to set him on fire, but apparently uh, I like he's a centimeter away from the pot. <laughs> 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 I guess, um, I don't know, have, have, can I try and, like, grab the fire pot and point it toward the, the, the flame golem? Uh, you'd have to use your like, action like, to manipulate it. Yes. You grab it, you point it towards the flame golem. It doesn't seem to regard you at all. Huh. Regard me! <laughs> at all! <laughs> <laughs> Off in the corner, slam! <laughs> I don't think this is the right thing to do. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Shit. I guess it's my turn. Quintus, you take five points of fire damage. Oh my god. Ooh. And it's your turn. This is not good. Uh uh. Maybe put that. We got to, got to have a we little. We didn't rest. set the fire. It was she just loved the romantic crap. I was on mute. I was, I was on mute. Is, is Femrises still on fire? Yeah. Uh, yes. The ones that have ignited remain on fire. Doop. <laughs> Save yourself, you fool! You big dum dum. Help uh, yourself. Grabs Femrises' pot, lights Mariam's with Femrises. Can I attempt <laughs> to? Uh, can I attempt to? manipulate hers at all. Can I like try to dump whatever is on fire in it out? You, If you want to use your action to do that, you absolutely can. I would like to try that. You rush over to it as you grab it and you pull it away from it. Uh, it doesn't hurt you to touch it, but it is feeling like it's burning your hands. Uh, you take it, you flip it upside down and try to dump it out. As you do, you see a large amount of ash does pour from it with the fire, which hits the ground and uh, it explodes into this ghostly white 
uh, powdery mist on the ground, and you do see the fire has been dumped from it. When you flip it back up, you see that the embers and ashes inside of it have returned, but is no longer on fire. As you do this, the statue ceases to burn, and the pot floats from your hands back to it. Is Fenris We use fire? this to put Fenris it out! Is no, Fenris is no longer on fire. Huh. Cool. Hooray! <laughs> Off, off, now for you. I wish I could hit you. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right, and uh, that's. Uh, uh, oh, or sorry, I, is that you? Uh, I, I was debating on action surging. I have no idea. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm action surge. <laughs> How? That's fair. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a go for some attacks on this boy. I can get him. Because what would be smarter, going and putting out mine? Nah. Anyway, let's... That's <laughs> dumb. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, no. First attack. Okay, second attack. That misses. Okay. That misses. Well, okay. that was a productive-ass fucking go to, You go to strike it, your <laughs> spear tip gets caught in uh, the spaces between the large chunks that compose it. As you uh, drive the second one in, you try to stab in through its stomach. The upper body and lower body separate from each other, and your spear goes straight through. They then come back down on top of one another. Gonna anime girl run over here. No. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> what run type over of anime here. girl? Like Naruto anime girl? Or like, 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 <laughs> like, like push together, like hands out. up. Yeah. Like, ah! okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to copy what Quintus did to mine and dump out his heckin' pot. Gotcha. He is no longer on fire. Hooray. Okay. <sighs> This guy hasn't attacked us yet. Yeah, he has. Yes, he has. <laughs> yes, he has. He just hasn't. Has. He just hasn't hit yet. Yeah, he set sorry. me on fire and punched me My twice. B, my B. I I don't know how I forgot. To be that. fair, I guess um, that isn't us. That's yeah. just me. <laughs> trying to think, because I don't think battling him is how we solve this puzzle. But I, I'll, I mean, I'll do you battle have enough? Him. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. True. Um, yeah, I should have enough movement. This is I'll get... combat puzzle. Yeah. It's combat and puzzle. I'll get oh, next geez. to Quintus. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Heckin, Lyra was excluded for cosmic destiny reasons. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like You're so. only I'm being six touch. Come here often. <laughs> There's like, a reason. You guys better not be doing anything no, I that I can it. sing about in there. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being facetious. She's being excluded for cosmic destiny reasons. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you we need to talk. What happened cool to your body? Fucking, she's just sitting in the room looking at the lion. She's like, so do I need to, um... No, you're... You're good. <laughs> you're like with you can't even you, hit a man in or... with fire. Typical golem. <laughs> 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 It Fuck. got it. It so it had advantage when it uses it. Uh, you notice that it um, it really doesn't seem to care. It dropped a two and got a twenty. No oh, damn. It had twenty. Well. Slow so. middle finger over the back of the head. <laughs> All right. Uh, not not a court. All right. Jazz hands. Is <laughs> that <laughs> you? Yeah. <laughs> Vogan. I'm gonna hit him. Do it. <laughs> Wax. Fair. Quack. Quack. That is a hit. Alright. Damage. You strike okay. him for 13 damage. Does it seem to, you know, care? Yes. For As it? you strike okay. him, oh. it does seem to carve off a chunk of the stone. Alright. Second attack. That is also Dang. a hit. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice and one. Oh. Take that. Oh, Damn. good damage. Yeah, no, it, it looks like it didn't care for that at all. You strike it, one of the connecting chunks where its bicep would be, uh, you strike it enough that it actually shatters and breaks away. The rest of the arm still floats in place, regardless of having lost the uh, the bicep, but you destroyed a chunk of its arm. Hell uh, yeah. Can I get in this space here? Yes. Or... That's where I was. I don't want to be... Near my statue when it's as long on as fire. as long as at least <laughs> half of the space is not in the wall, we'll consider it a space. Okay, cool. 
if my statue does get on fire, I'll just. I mean, walk to be fair, if, if my statue on catches fire. on fire and I'm right there, I might catch on fire. Wait. <laughs> I might yeah. take extra fire, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? All right. Yeah. Lexi. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I'm just going to also bap it. Sneak attack. Right. Get it. Yeah, man. Get Otherwise known as a sneak a bap. <gasps> sneak snack a bap. Um, Sneaky snack bap. Booming blade that bitch. Just because I can. Time for a so snack can, Yeah. Well, never mind. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that unfortunately, is a miss. You go to stab cool. it, it, it misses. Great. I I feel like we're supposed to be at our statues. And I'm going to get set on fire if I leave anyway, so I'm going to stay here. <laughs> gotcha. Then that's your turn. Yee. All right. One sec while I roll a percentile die. Cool. All right. One sec while I roll a d4. Fireball. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Once again, a wave of heat uh, emanates through the room. Miriam, your statue catches on fire. Oh, oh no. Uh, Stop. You also <laughs> catch a flame uh, just in front of it. Yeah, so, I'm going to just throw that damage on you. Heckin. Additionally, Schwink. <laughs> um, Vogan. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> on mute. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, yours also ignites both of them the pots flare up and then you both find yourselves bursting into flame as well ah! it is then going to uh, it's going to move down to here leaving Quintus Lexi uh, leaving Quintus's and leaving Vogan's attack ranges if you uh, wish to attack, my attack range. oh right no yeah totally fair Good I'll call. hit it go for it <laughs> Nice. That's that's a hit. Hell yeah. Fucking Vogan, uh, Golem Destroyer. You alright? Oh my yeah. god, seriously though. <laughs> You're fucking it up. You carve into it. It is uh it takes enough damage that it is now wounded. It has a blood splatter on its token. It turns <gasps> as it does, you see the uh, place where the skull is raises slightly, and the bottom jaw of the skull lowers down as chunks uh -oh. of the chest seem to almost open up and move out of the way, making this almost targeting apparatus looking um, section between the skull and the reformed chest. As it does, fire bursts out of the back of the shoulders. You see a bit of white energy coalesces in between the two sections of the skull, and it is going to blast a cone of white hot fire. Uh, uh, on Mariam Fenris and on Quintus. Oh, oh, stop oh, no, boys. Yeah, what's wrong? Fuck. Also, I oh no. no, stop. I don't Here like I go, fire. Boys. <laughs> I mean, no yeah. one likes fire. I just like it more uh, than everyone else. <laughs> oh, oh, bye. Oh, bye. 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 Hey, failure bros. <laughs> oh, do I get an inspiration for that 19? Yes, you do. Oh, how nice. This is gonna hurt. I'm yeah, so I'm sorry. Dead. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, <there it> goes. <laughs> Blast oh, you nice. guys with fire. The in This wave of fire hits the wall and splashes back like a wave. You guys are ignited. You pull back. Quintus, uh, you find yourself overcome by the heat from within your armor. You, in a daze, fall backwards and hit the ground. I was able oh, to at no. least help figure out the puzzle before I died. You're go, go on, guys. <laughs> You're not allowed to die. The fire <laughs> subsides the and the pieces of the golem, uh, they move back into place. Uh, Quintus is... You're... Yeah, you're not on fire, luckily. Uh, Raleigh, you duck to the side and put <laughs> your hands up, just narrowly avoiding this hitting you. It is your turn. Oh. Shit, should I turn over mine or should I attack it? Fuck. Ah. Uh, nah. You're not nah. on fire. You're, You're not, not on, on fire. fire. It doesn't... Yeah. Oh yeah, I just, I, I'm curious whether that would uh, prevent it from happening in the future. Well, when we tried to get it, once you get move it, yeah. to turn back. Well, yeah, when, it when back. Lexi it just tried to move it back, earlier, yeah. it's like stuck. Yeah, like, it only moves when it's lit. Well, it moves. It's just yeah. whenever well, you move it, it yeah. slowly goes back to the same position it was in. Yeah. Unless you take it beyond a certain point. So I think it's just to dump it out when it's on fire. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Um, then yeah, I will, uh, I will, I will do him some baps. Let's, uh, right. let's, 
Let's hopefully, I think, I think you do cold too, so Excuse hopefully me. he's weak to it. No, we, we so contextualize it as cold, but Eldritch Blast is force. Ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, most things that are fire aren't actually weak to cold damage. No. Hey, man, I can yeah. dream. I can dream. <laughs> They're I'm, not I'm Pokemon. unconscious. That's it. I'm unconscious. Water. I can dream. You can dream. It's a dream. It takes eight damage as you blast it with your Eldritch Blast. Come on, get on my level. This! And that's a hit! Nice. That's a good hit. Thank and it takes another nine. As you blast it, both of them hit it. The magic that strikes it, um, it seems like it almost disperses slightly as the blast comes near it. It thins out just ever so slightly. But it still impacts it and blasts it back. As it moves back, its body separates into the various pieces. Um... And then slowly floats back together and relocks into place. Shoot! So he's resistant to force it did, damage. No, it did. It did take the damage. It's just oh, the okay. the knockback aspect of your Eldritch Blast. Just it causes it to just reform. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be the most useful in this room anyway. It's for small. It's already against the I wall. Can... Yeah. So. All right. Um. Yeah, that's you basically what of... I can do. Haven't you ever heard of shove damage? Like, come on. <laughs> Jeez. Like, I can have I just, like, smush him against the wall and do extra damage? I have damage? if you taunt you. <gasps> oh, um, no! Quick! One. He's no, failed the death save. No, 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 no. Let's Fenris. do another dragon heist. <laughs> Bitch. You think you can do that here? You come into my house, you try and die. I'm going to cure wounds. <laughs> this is your house. <laughs> you try and die in my house? You can come you into die one in my of the, house if I kill you. In one of the gods that, that I think is pretty neat. You come here and you try to die. Listen here, Quintus. Uh, Listen here, you little shit. I'm stalling <laughs> so I can find him on the combat check. Here you I'm gonna go. Remove it's not going to be from, enough. There we go. It's hey, not a lot. Oh! Hey. Okay. Hey. Back up. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Hell yeah. <gasps> I'm a just sides. Well, Dirk. I'm scared. I'm gonna go down next. Hey. I think that's all I can. Do. Fine. He's already bleeding. That's more than we thought fire could do. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, Fenris? Yeah. I think that's all I can do. Alrighty. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Let's be on fire. Mariam, you take <laughs> two fire damage. Mariam, mm. Mariam, you want to be a brown? Put out my fire. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I didn't expect it. Yep. That's fair. You did try. You did try. I'm going place. to cast uh, Protection from Evil and Good on Fenris. Ooh. Mm. A sweetie. Uh, and uh, I will give my last inspiration bonus action to uh, Lexi. Oh, a sweetie! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> You're gonna be mad at me. Fire damage. Yeah. Vogan, you take six fire damage. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> fire can't crit on you, but it can max its damage roll. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna figure just, out a way to make fire here. On you one day. Oh god. <laughs> fire elemental. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm gonna hit it. Why aren't you putting out your fire? Because I'm a fool. Oh, that's God. A damage. That's a damage. Because to be fair, I mean, it could just get set oh, right back on uh, fire. Yeah. If it is, then, you know. I I just have and a feeling that this isn't going to help. I'll bonus action down another potion of crater healing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, my God. You still have more of those? He just, he that was my last one. <laughs> he, like, takes yeah. it out, looks at it like, I'm just not thirsty, though. <laughs> He's all bloated. Like, As Vogan moves to fight, you guys hear the sloshing of liquids. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a rest after this. <laughs> and that's my turn. Lexi, what you doing? Oh my god, I don't know. Kill it, it kill, it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. 
Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, but what? Okay, but like the thing said, like fucking those who fear themselves and shit like that. So I, I wanted to like hit my statue to see what would happen. I, you know, go for it. No, live your best life. Punch yourself in the day. No, give it a shot. Go for it. You could definitely be yep. right. Only our lives will be on the line. Spencer, suck, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> this is what I wanted to do! Shut up! Hey, I'm a nice right. hair. I'm gonna be super dumb, and I'm gonna hit my own statue. <laughs> Describe how you're hitting it. Uh, I'm just gonna swing at it with my sword the way that the I would. Statue, the statue? The fire um, pot? Like, what are you doing? Uh, just the actual statue. Like, I swing at my stone Lexi face. <laughs> roll me an attack roll. Okay. And target yourself. <laughs> so, you swing. Real As you swing, you strike the pot and the statue. Uh, as you do, the pot falls to the side. The statue starts glowing very briefly. The pot doesn't oh. fall enough that it, uh, it disappears, but... Or, uh, sorry, it doesn't fall enough that it, like, uh, dumps out. But there's a second where everything flashes bright. And Lexi. <gasps> Lexi. Oh. Lexi. Yeah, babe. Well, you gotta go for that. You die. <laughs> Lexi. You fucking just die. You find yourself alone in a different <gasps> <Shit>! room. <laughs> it is still it is still on fire. But you you guys see Lexi burst into flame and seems to vanish in this rapid <laughs> Oh no! Standing in Lexi. that room, standing in that room in the exact same place, Lexi is another of that golem. <laughs> so I don't think we're, we're I don't think we're supposed dead. to fight this. I think we're just supposed to. Heck and I think we're just supposed to die. Like, what if we gave it a okay. hug? <laughs> hey, baby. And uh, Shit. that's you. Yeah. Logan, right. you can just tell us you don't want to play Vestige anymore. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? I still have a bonus action, right? What if you I do? bonus action clawed this statue? <laughs> uh, if, you use, if you bonus action clawed it, uh, you would find that yeah. as you try to attack it, as you scrape the pot, the pot no longer moves. Like, you strike it, it should oh. flip and fall, but it seems to be locked facing up. You can move it. It moves in space, like, uh, but it does not flip. Huh. It's okay. turn. So those of you that are in the main room, you see Lexi disappear. And as it happens, you see the golem curl its fist, raises it up to the side, and punches the space where Lexi was. Lexi, from your point of view, you're getting punched. Oh. And so you're these... getting and you're getting hit. Fucking This is this might hurt a lot. But... Lexi, you get struck for oh 21 damage. I'm so how are we gonna fight? You see, those of you in the room, you see it strike and hit Lexi, or, or it hits something and a burst of flame erupts. From your perspective, it missed. Lexi, it does not miss from your angle. Back in the other room, it brings its other arm up and it's going to clench both of its fists, uh, its fists together and brings them down on Vogan. And hits. Disadvantage? All right, I'll roll yeah. again. Nice. Well, it's a good thing the first roll wasn't alone because that would have that would have been. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a, a crit from well. this thing has the potential to outright murder some of you, so... Uh, um, I'm gonna uh, roll it again to make sure it <laughs> takes away that crit. Alright, cool. Uh, it swings at you. Vogan, you take 17 damage uh, as the flame Vogan. strikes you and erupts. It's a good thing I drank that health potion. <laughs> yeah! Alright. Uh, also, at the end of its turn, another wave of heat no. emits from the area. Not Slytherin, not Slytherin. So, gotta roll. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, four would be... This is so bad. That mm -hmm. one is... Which one are you? I believe that was Fenris's. Yeah, no! Fenris. Yours reignites Damn. again. It's out for you, man. Random chance. Sure. <laughs> it literally is random chance. The same as it's it's random that you crit on Vogan. Yes, sure. it is the exact okay. same as that. <laughs> Can you chill? <laughs> <Jill, laughs> I... Mm. <laughs> and then Raleigh, yours also ignites. 
<laughs> this is it, y'all. Yeah. Rolly, your turn. You take one fire damage absorbed by your armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're still oh! feeling pretty chill. You still have your armor of Agathus from earlier on. You're just like, this is fine. A little bit of steam comes off you. What's everybody right. talking about? It's really nice in here. <laughs> no, it's, it's if it maxes damage, I'm down. Uh, hit oh. Rolly. Like, he's the best person to hit at the moment. Yeah, just come on. Shit. Sure <laughs> I, he sure I is. Have, I have 10 hit points and it would damage him. <laughs> Yeah, the oh, best wait. person to hit, hit right him. now. I guess this is what happens when you make fun of Logan. Yeah, man. <laughs> hmm. Let's see I mean, here. When you make fun of, of Logan, you get set on fire. <laughs> uh, I, I can't I tell it. if what Carrie did was the correct thing or if it was like a punishment. I know. I know. I have no idea. <laughs> I got her somewhere that isn't here, so I think that's like, okay. kind of... The thing is... If we all do that, that thing's still gonna be in there and can set us on fire. I feel like we were supposed to kill it and then do what I did. Maybe. Uh, all I know. I know is you and Vogan do the most damage to this thing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm <laughs> elsewhere, so shit. All right, fair. I'll, I'll, point, I'll keep pointing my, my cane at it. Like, over here, ugly. Pew, pew. Pachoo, pachoo. Oh, oh, oh. That's a hit. Throw some of that pepper. Oh, you do 11 oh, damage to pepper. it. Choke on pepper! Jesus. <coughs> That's another hit. You shalt be over seasoned. Too much pepper. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good damage. <laughs> yeah, you strike it twice. It takes 22 damage between those two attacks. It's looking pretty brittle. <laughs> That's right over here. <laughs> and that's my turn. What's up, Quintus? Uh... I'm gonna step out over here. Um, I'm gonna do what Lexi did. Sweet. <laughs> you gonna I'm gonna, I'm to... gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit Fenris's thing in the same way that uh, Lexi hit Fenris. Oh, you're not hitting your. Oh, <laughs> I'm not Fenris. hitting my own because oh, Fenris is on you. fire, and right. I need to get rid of her fire. Roll me an yeah, attack roll. I... <laughs> Knock it out of the park. Kill me right now. <laughs> I... Yo, we're fucking dead anyway. Might as well have some fun. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. That's enough. No, whenever you hey. hit it, you strike it with your standard. When you attack it, it you strike the pot and you cause it to flip. The contents pour out. Fenris is no longer on fire. Uh, and know. it ceases be, uh, being on fire. Cool. Um, Do I disappear? No, you don't. Yeah. Huh. The thing said fear, like, those who fear themselves. I think you gotta hit your own statue. Mm -hmm. Luckily, thing. I have yeah. two attacks. <laughs> well, sure <do>. Wait, <laughs> that, come on, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are, but Lexi's by herself. Man, no, that's, <laughs> that's 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 not Lexi's. The one just above it. I is, I, I know that's Lexi's. I'm hitting my first zone now. You You're striking yours. Uh, roll yeah. attack roll. Hopefully it works. I don't know if it will. Aya. You strike it. It causes the fire pot to flip. But since there's no fire, nothing comes out. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, I, was, oh. I was striking my statue if that did anything. Like, Nothing happens. Anything. Okay. Oh. It's okay, so mm. I can't go where she is, unfortunately. <laughs> that was what my thought. Fuck? Uh, bonus action, I'm gonna guzzle down my greater heat of my M. Uh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, no, we need a long rest. This is <laughs> so bad. Uh, so I don't have an eight hour <laughs> sleep outside of my quest chamber. I don't have a thing for it, so it's 44 plus 4, You're right? gonna fucking die, dude. It's uh, like... yes. Uh, for, for a greater, uh, just once. You don't have a thing for it's it? It's 44 plus 4. Yeah. I yeah, that's what it says in the description. Yes. Um, the only the only one I have a, I have a thing for is the speed one. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. Hiya. 12. Nice. That's yeah. completely Pretty average. Okay. It's good. It's yeah. more than I have. <laughs> average is good, in my opinion. So go mm -hmm. ahead and remove that from your health, um, or from your damage. Oops. Your wounds. Then I'll get rid of it. I'd love to be able to say add it to your health, but unfortunately the system is stupid and counts yeah, the stupid way. Oh. I need to like go on the fantasy grounds forums and be like, "Yo, I will pay somebody to make a mod to flip this around." Fix it. Not wounds. Um, yeah. Last move I do. Eh. So I can right. so I can Aww. try to defend everybody. <laughs> gotcha. You get through there, Fenris. Your turn. Whoever this person goes for, I can try to defend unless it's me. <laughs> I'll stop it from hitting Rolly. Don't worry. Oh, he's like, no, you just, I, 
Come on! <laughs> Just let this happen! I'm gonna... I'll never let you die again! <laughs> it's, I'll be fine! Also, ah! I'm gonna... Excuse me for my selfishness, but I think I'm gonna take a cure of wounds. So I'm not feeling too great, Scoots. That's fair. Or the uh, that's a good cure of wounds. Damn! That was great! Um... And this... This one's mine. Statue yes. was, right? You're already not mm -hmm. on fire. <laughs> yeah, you're not mm -hmm. on fire anymore. Okay. And, and I struck mine when it wasn't on fire and nothing happened. Well, I guess I'll help wall up this big guy here. So you've used Cure Wounds, so that's your action. Uh, true. That's the end of my turn. I don't really get that much else I can do. Fucking don't immediately All right. die. All right. Is Please. that you? I won't uh, die yeah. in six damage. All right. So good. Top of, we're going top of the round. Uh, I will be right back real quick, guys. Sorry. Okay. Top of the round we'll to be, you. We'll be real quick. Top round to you. Top of the round to you. One of my oh, thoughts Daniel. was actually, you know, getting to Lexi so I can protect her, but also getting to Lexi so she could have sneak attack. To be sure. To be yeah. sure. Appreciate it. Oh, well, I mean, it's still there in physical space, so she can just swing at it because we're next to it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hopefully that works for me. Uh, it's definitely not that thing on, like, the ethereal plane where you're both zero and an infinite distance away. Like, oof. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up, chat? You want to kiss? <laughs> How you doing, know, Chad? I have no Welcome idea. Welcome to the small spray. I've made such a mistake and I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing honestly i think you're doing better than most of us because you actually got somewhere somewhere away Bitch, from I all of my friends puzzle. and no sneak attack i figured out how to we'll get see. us off, off, off of being on fire what the hell you did yeah. bitch. <laughs> that's true that's true i didn't i take it back deco i'm sorry that's right uh, yeah, now, yeah. excuse me while I go and fucking die again. We're all gonna fucking die. Like, Jesus. Is it? Yeah. Shit, y'all. Is it, y'all? Is, is it, y'all? I'm playing Fantasy Grounds in 2K today, and I am rock hard. Damn. <laughs> hell yeah. You got everything plugged in? Hell. I have everything plugged in. I still need the arms, and then I got a saw through my table, which I may or may not stream. Uh, but, yeah, yeah I've, got, I've got the new graphics card in, and I've got this baby plugged up. Hell yeah. Well, Logan's gone. I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna bury it. Come on. Have fun, or else. <laughs> hey, <baby. laughs> I don't know what this could be. I really don't. I don't fucking know, man. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it. I'm pretty sure it's kill it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's kill it, and there right. may be I have returned. To later. We'll come back. All right. Now. Here I went to pee, but like that's fine because initiative, and she's third, I think. So, Mariam, you're still on fire, but the effect went away. Ah! Do you have it set to only like one round? I think it's I not on me to. either. I do. So one sec, I'm gonna make that I think make that a forever effect. <laughs> Here, have a forever effect. Is it so shocking for him to be on fire? Be on fire forever. And then on Lexi, Please? bam. Alright, so uh, just one sec, uh, Miriam. I'm gonna. Is Lexi re still on fire because she hit hers? Or, uh, yeah, she's still on fire. Her statue is still okay. on fire as well. Oh. I thought she turned over her thing. She did. It didn't flip. When she attacked it, it would not flip over. Oh, the second. Um, she did it for the first one, though. Hmm? Because you, you, you said it didn't flip over when she hit it with her claws over here, but she had, she attacked it over no, here. No, I said the first time she hit it, it moved in space. It can move, like, oh, horizontally. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't. It didn't flip either time. Okay. You take... Uh, two damage again, Mary. I'm reduced to one. Uh, and it is your turn. I cast, uh, my only use of Cure Wounds on Vogan. <clears throat> ah, thank you. It's good Cure Wounds. And, uh, 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 that's me. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll move, I'll move over. And then you move Sorry. up to there. Vogan, it's your turn. I'm gonna move here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swing once at my statue. <clears throat> okay. So uh, roll an attack roll. You do hit it. 
the ace it's yeah. not that high of a DC. Uh, being a stationary object. Uh, whenever you swing at it, you strike it. There's another really bright flash. Your fire remains. It does not flip over. You are also moved to a separate room. <laughs> <laughs> with another version of the same golem. It's <laughs> still on fire. You, are, you do right. not see Lexi. From your perspective, a wall of fire erupts around you, and when it subsides, it looks to you like everybody the else has been gone. burned away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. All right, here's the plan. I gotcha. hit it again. I hit my statue again. Uh, I know that you would have no way of knowing since Lexi done it. It does nothing to hit it again. All right, cool. That's my turn. All righty. Heckin'. Turn well Lexi, used. you take six fire damage. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Uh, Carrie? She, I think she's at the bathroom. Oh, no. Yeah. I joked when she's like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. She's in the away. bathroom and on Come fire. As you leave, and then she left and you came back, and I was like, That's see? That's what you do in the bathroom? <laughs> we you just hear, <laughs> And now I'm here. <laughs> Carrie, oh, we got, back. Vogan struck his statue and was taken to his own room with a copy <laughs> of the golem, <laughs> and, and you rolled on your turn and you took six fire damage. Great! You have four hit points. Great. Okay, it's my ah. and it's my turn. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna real quick heckin' heal myself on up. <laughs> <It's a bug. laughs> oh God. Okay. Glug, glug, glug. Shit. That was a good Hell heal. yeah. Okay. You bonus action down right, that then. potion. Done. Okay. Uh, I can still see like the. Golem boy. Yeah, the He's golem in is in room, every right? room in the same location. Okay. Uh, he's okay. I would have to step forward to be in melee range, right? Or is he taking up all four no, of those spaces? I can I can hit him from there. He's okay, in cool. melee range. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, just to make a point, or just to, he is in those spaces. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna heckin' sword him and, and booming blade him, because why the hell not? Here we go, yeah. That's a hit! Heck and die. Do I get sneak attack? Because they are technically next no, to No, you, it, you no. do not. <laughs> you cannot coordinate bitch. with them in any meaningful way that would grant you sneak attack. Awesome. You think we burned up into flames. You also can't, <laughs> you also can't, like, count on their actions to exploit anything, because you don't yeah. know what they're doing moment to moment. <laughs> okay. Like. And you think we burned into flame? It's true. It's From true. your perspective, everyone else is just incinerated. Uh, <laughs> you think <laughs> Lexi's like I killed them? I killed everyone. Oh, you deal thirteen damage. It is those of you that are in the other rooms. You see a large gash appear along one of its thighs. As a large bit of stone is ripped out, and you see the uh, thunderous energy that distorts light coating around its body as it happens. You guys would pretty unmistakably know that that's Lexi. Lexi yep. does that. That's my girl. It's the right height, and it's the right type of magic. <laughs> oh no, Vogan's pretty short. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that you? You're doing great. Yeah. Um, you're so lucky it's not recharging its flame breath. <laughs> this is so uncharacteristic for me. Um, so it uh, it it's going to go. It's going to go ahead and uh heck and Alright, let's see if there's gonna be anybody new. Hwunk. So that's, uh, Fenris, you are on fire again. God damn you! You were, I, I don't think I removed it from you last time, so. It's, that, just keep good. it there, just keep it there, it's fine. And. Oh, it's hard to be this hot. No. Uh, Vogan, you are <laughs> already on fire. That's true. <laughs> God. And Raleigh, you are already on fire, so no one, no one new catches on fire. Congratulations. <laughs> Hooray! It is going well, to attack. <laughs> it is going to attack Quintus. Yep, let's go. Oh. Huh. Kill me. It brings no. its arm up. You see fire escape from the back of its arm like it's a rocket, and it barrels down on you. 
Oh my god. You take, four, Jesus you take 43 god. damage as it strikes you. A small explosion erupts from where you are, causes the entire room to shake. Uh, all of them. The ground cracks underneath you. You are not dead, but goodness, though. How much you know, oh. It did over your maximum hit points. Yeah, I was fixing to say. <laughs> Mm. Through the fire as it subsides, uh, it is going to... Mm, it can't actually get that far in. It wants to hit Raleigh. Uh, it is going to step over Quintus's body for the sake of this. Oh, no. um, it takes some damage. Wait, it moved! It moved, It bitch. does. Go ahead and roll your damage against it. Fucking dang. Please let it fall apart from the stamblage. It hits it. It takes nine damage. You see it cracking as it moves. It lets out a... <laughs> And it barrels down on Raleigh, goes for an attack, it hits, it strikes you, uh, it takes 15 damage that recoils, its arm is frozen as it brings it down on you, it just is covered in a layer of ice, and that arm cracks and shatters, but the impact is already hit, so you take... 27 damage, <laughs> 13 through your temporary hit points as it collides with you. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> your armor of Agathus is now gone. It is very, very gone. But you gotta... Does he take damage? Uh, he took his damage, yeah. Oh, cool. But cool. as he is hits it, him, the arm freezes hard? and that chunk of the arm shatters. One of its arms is destroyed. And then, heckin, you did you you didn't put out your fire, did you, Rolly? No. No. So you should still have the fire. So let's go ahead and get that back on you, you cheaty boy. No. <laughs> yeah, cheaty. Trying to water down the fire. What in that? You take. Trying to water down the fire. You take five fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> That's what we all should be doing. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. Uh, Not before the solemn does. You, the uh, fire finally starts affecting you. You start uh, feeling like your skin is being uh, seared and lashed by the flames that are that are coating you. Maybe uh, don't roll an attack unless it's a unless it's a melee attack. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Don't want to leave these boys alone, which is what I would probably think would happen. Um, shit. Hey, just let me die. No! no with not your dagger. Let me die. Hit him with your fancy cane dagger. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the fancy snake cane. Yeah. Or yourself. Uh huh. I have, uh, I have a feeling poison damage probably isn't going to do much to this construct. <laughs> um, the divinity it caused him to explode. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Are we working on divinity rules, Logan? Will he explode? If I poison <laughs> him, will he explode? Yeah, man. Double <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Okay>. contract! <laughs> <laughs> you can't take it back now! <laughs> no vaccines! <laughs> Fucking... Um... Yeah, I'll use my bonus action to say peanut. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I get so excited. <laughs> I'm like on fire but... and then I stop the clap. Aww. Feel the unbridled might of my plus two melee attack. You hit! Oh, God. Oh, my God. You peanut erupts, it attack. turns into a snake and lashes forward to attack. Go ahead and deal the piercing damage. <laughs> You do two <laughs> piercing damage. Wow! Roll, roll, as Peanut lashes How onto is it, it, you you because <laughs> he's not his very... strength. <laughs> it's, oh, it's a strength roll. roll. That was meant for roll, you. Roll, oh, <laughs> well, the other part's the important part. It succeeds that. Of course God, it does. <laughs> it's the important. Part. I failed to oh. poison this thing. As it bites into it, uh, you hear the sound of the tooth scraping against, against the rock, letting out this unpleasant nails on a chalkboard Ooh. sound. Then it recoils back. You see the end of the snake go. Pah, pah, pah. Oh, peanut! Its little, its little tongue seems slightly singed. Oh, poor boy! Pat his head soothingly. Is that you? 
Yeah, it's okay. We'll die together, Peter. Roll me a death save, Gwyntus. You poor boy, 20, you poor 20, boy. 20, I'm putting mom down here. Please let me fucking that one. Fucking spurt blood out of my mouth. Damn it! Yay! <laughs> I still spurt blood out of my mouth. And Fenris, you take six fire damage. This is oh. fun. I'm gonna spend my last first level slot and heal Quintus. We can't stay here without taking a long rest. Son of a bitch. <laughs> We're gonna to fucking die. die! What do you mean? We're fine. Shut up, right, Aaron. Psycho Dude, you're feeling like a fucking <laughs> god today. Yeah, true. Get off of me. And then... I'm gonna move back god. one. It is going to attack you. Oh, never mind! I'm staying disadvantage. there! <laughs> it will have disadvantage if you do want to move. Oh. For what reason? Uh, protection from evil and good. It's oh, yeah. I was too with an element. So it won't have disadvantage. Ah, fuck. Oh, wow, well, never mind. <laughs> I, I assumed it was a construct. <laughs> it is. Damn it. Yeah. I, I, I clocked that you made that assumption when it happened, but I'm not a player. I'm not here to tell you what's what. Um, <laughs> heck no. yeah. I, I, I like, thought about it, and I'm like, golem, fuck. <laughs> are, you, are you... So are you moving or are you staying? No, I'm going to stay there. Alrighty. And that's I mean, your turn? if you move, it'll have disadvantage. No, it won't. It no. will not. I just said it won't. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's true. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> just I didn't hear no bell. As it's like standing on your chest, you can defend her with your shit. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Listen, he he says women's rights, okay? Uh, I mean, oh, my God. So, Vanrish, you yeah. are okay. You'll <laughs> have disadvantage. Right? If, he's, if he's going to block it, then yeah. It, it messes. Yeah! Yeah! It, it drops a 19 to get a 12. Fuck. Oh, uh, I just, like, I'm just imagining that when it happens, it swings back and I like kick at it and like <laughs> knock just... it like, loose for a bit. <laughs> My image is it goes in for a punch and as it is, you just see a shield fly from below camera and hit its head. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I fucking Captain America the shield up. <laughs> Ding! Oh, Hell yeah. Yes. Way to Get go! Get off of me! <laughs> you can do this, Quintus! <laughs> Get off of that, Mariam, you take Mariam, you take maximum fire damage. Three for you. It is your turn. <laughs> How are you rolling so well in this fire damage? <laughs> oh, he's resistant to fire. It. No, yeah, you are rolling so high on these... these oh, I don't rolls. know. To mitigate all of uh, Finn's really good heals. I don't want to do this, but Thunder Wave... <laughs> Second level. It's not gonna hit me and Lexi, right? Uh -huh. Who's to say? Yeah, oh, no. make, make Vogan roll against it. <laughs> make Vogan and Lexi both roll against it, please. Oh no, that's that's uh, in that Quins. The top one's Vogan's. The bottom one's Quins. No, it's oh, you, you guys are in those spaces. There. No, we're in the space. Oh, okay. You see, like, you see the, the space Mariam has designated oh, as where he's okay. hidden. Looking, you are in that at, space in the other rooms. I was looking at the statues. Sorry! Yeah, no, fucking come at me. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Emerald. Guys. That's fair! Oh, no. <laughs> me and you, Spencer! Here we go! Here we go. Shatter all over again. <laughs> I love this. So, <laughs> how do you want to do this? <laughs> ah! I'm alive! <laughs> I do 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 this? As uh, as Quinn brings up the shield to block its strike on uh, on Fenris, I use the brief gap where it can't see me to rush forward. I drop low and send the thunder wave out, and just the rippling energy of force starts shattering what's uh, left of the one final arm up against the wall as it crumbles into bits, leaving just the flame as it slowly dies out. Oh. Real, real quick, Spence, how many wounds do you have? How many hit points do you have 50. Left? Oh my god, wait, how many hit points do you have left? I've got two hit points left. I have one hit point. We're <laughs> 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 so close, Aaron. God damn. Let's fucking go, I'm sorry. As you guys... <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Uh, as you guys take this damage and it hits, uh, its body crumples to the floor. You see cracks begin emerging 
on the golem's uh, corpse, and a bright light matching the color of the flames begins to uh, begins to shine out of it, and it starts glowing brighter and brighter and brighter, as if it's becoming more intense inside of it. You guys have a moment where it becomes evident this thing is about to self-destruct. When it does, it explodes and fire cascades and surrounds the room. Initially, you guys all feel the intense heat, and then as it peels away, you guys are all back in the main room. Are we still on fire? You are no longer on fire if you had been on fire before. Woo! <laughs> right. oh, definitely Where did all going you guys down. Go? All you guys disappeared. Where did you go? We no, only you disappeared. No, oh, what happened to your accent? Just no, whatever. But you know, all, <laughs> all you guys disappeared. It was really weird. I, I stand up. I think you'll find it's actually all of you that disappeared. Are you all what? right? <laughs> Lyra runs up behind you guys. I cough up more smoke. <laughs> what happened? There was a big, like, fire monster thing and a bunch Gone. of statues of us and we kept getting set on fire. I feel like we showed our strength. You see the large, uh, sphinx-like figure standing uh, on the top of the stairway. Indeed you have. You passed my test. But I must still warn you, what you seek beyond here is not for the hands of mortals. He steps to the side and then steps down. I would warn you against proceeding forward, especially with that other inside. Thank you for... Your warning. Hmm. Since you had succeeded my trial, without any looks to each of you, many of you just on the edge of death, <laughs> unnecessary losses, allow me to grant you my blessing moving forward. He spreads his wings <gasps> out. Please help me. Please help me. All of you are going to gain the benefit of a long rest. <gasps> no! oh, oh, Christ. Oh! Here with like an S oh. on it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! What? A little save crystal. Yeah, uh, we oh. saved our game. We did. Well, button right at the door. It's like if you proceed, you may not be able to come back for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all sign our names enter. in a book. Signing. If you enter, know book. that I gave those that came before you the same blessing. Cap. Let me. I mean, Neat. No. at least the odds will be in whoever's favor. Mm. Thank of... you very much. Yeah, thank you. Your might was great. Should you wish, I would answer a question for each of you. What kind of questions, like, can you even answer? I am Vandricus. I am a guardian that was assigned to this place by Vestius. My knowledge of this place is absolute. And my knowledge of many things that have slipped from the annals of history is, as well, vast. I know of you. I have seen you when you entered this place. I am aware of the highest standard. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and for that purpose, I know there are many things you do not understand. Nod. Yep. Mm -hmm. What I answer mm -hmm. is to you. I don't get any questions. <laughs> you know of I us, and of you any. know, you know of us, and you know of these lands. Then, if that is the case, which of the lords in Summergrass, which of them is wishing to betray the others? Hmm. Summergrass. That ancient dwarven city, a gift to the elves of old. Among those who rule it now, 
the one that you would consider to be a traitor, would be Vincent Bellaquist. Oh. Who seeks to find himself in a position of power beside his new ally? Thank you. <sighs> Logan. Hmm. Part of my thing was to find the the temples, right? Yes. The only and... one you don't know the proper location of is the uh, Temple of Amir. Yeah, I have it in my notes that it's somewhere in like in the forest somewhere, but yeah, I guess I get yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know exactly where the Temple of Amir is? I do not, and the reason is, it is exactly nowhere. Those who wish to complete the pilgrimage will find it to be the last place they must visit. Amir's temple is wherever there is nature in abundance. It will show itself to one who has come to the end of their journey. Seek the other temples, and then seek that of Amir and you will find it without fail. Hmm. Um, you, you wouldn't happen to know of a way to cure amnesis, would you? <laughs> oh, Lexi. <laughs> Just melts at that question. <laughs> he takes pause for a moment. Curing it. It is not something that can be cured, but it is something that can be reversed. Amniasis has existed since before even my time. Its source is ancient and divine. And by the nature of it being a force that restricts memories. My ability to see into it is limited. But those that possess divine power and the blood of those who have been chosen by the Eidolans, they may be able to help. For those that are above the station of mortal beings cannot be affected by Omniasis, not easily. It is. My answer is not satisfactory, so allow me to grant you a bit of knowledge instead. Oh, okay. Amnesis. It is not stealing. It is not erasing memories. It is collecting them. Uh, Amniasis oh. is the result of an ancient divine being that seeks to return to this world. The disease is a probing device meant to use the memories of mortals that walk the land. It investigates through the memories of those who live to find what the world has become. But in its eagerness... It does not simply look into memory. It takes it. If you wish to cure it, seek aid from higher beings. And if something like a cure were to exist, it would be derived from the blood of those who were already immune. Indeed, there is one among you that carries a cure, but it cannot be replicated. Logan, don't tell them. You're <laughs> right. Just like looks <laughs> at everyone like, uh... <laughs> Who's holding out? Yo, yeah! What, yo? There's so many things you can ask. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you even narrow it down? Mm -hmm. There are too many questions. I have oh. the questions, I just have 
like three and I only get one. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, right? I, love, I love how, like, mine was just like, what about the thing we're doing right now for everything going on? Everybody else is like, oh man, how do, how do we how do we put our own our own stories going forward? <laughs> oh, geez, what like, like, no. I just imagine, like, there was, like, a flashback to the Vendricus. Esper scene. And Who do then I it shoot? Snaps back here. Who do I diddle? <laughs> <laughs> Probably just like, all right, where's the demon? Taunted. Where is he? I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Where, Valis? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, fuck. Okay, you guys have three more questions. You good? I want to wait for everyone else to go. I want to why oh. though. Mm -hmm. Is it because you want to use their their questions to maybe limit down some of your questions? Like right? No, <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> Is everyone I mean, waiting for everyone else's questions to? No, to my question has nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> I mean, uh, I just don't know how to word it as Fenris. Well. Mm. <sighs> well, because I take it this. Vendricus, is definitely... does Tantia like me? No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> No. So, like, what hairstyle shall I put on to grab the attention of a certain? Never mind. It's a bad joke. Bad joke. Uh, huh, okay. Uh, I I do have a question. Um, I've jumped to my own assumptions, but uh, someone has or something has captured a great amount of my people. And they seem to be on a different domain. All asleep and they're being used up. I don't know what to ask. <sighs> How to free them? How to, where they could be? Who could do something like this? What can I do to help my people? His pupilless eyes it's... just like match you uh, and just wait <laughs> as you sort through questions. Uh, <laughs> exceeding. Like, pick like... one bitch. <laughs> one bitch. Uh, hmm. She said one. Yeah, one. how can I help my people? Okay. The Shadow Fae that are captured. Those who are captured, your parents among them. Hmm are being held in a place outside my sight. I can see that which is on this plane easily enough. That which is beyond it is beyond it I have limited knowledge of. However, I can tell you this. Those who have captured them are known as the Whisperers. <clears throat> they are a group oh, who seeks to revive that very same being that probes the minds of mortal men. No wonder we couldn't hear them. So I assume. <laughs> Your parents and those among them have been put into a great sleep and their memories have been drawn from them, their minds intermingling, living out countless lifetimes within an artificial reality for the purpose of creating a sort of consciousness amalgamation in hopes that it may be fed back into the being that seeks to awaken. They are being prepared as a sacrifice. By having them live many lives in a short period of time, they are creating more memories to artificially stimulate the being. I see. If you wish to help them, you have two choices. I know that the core of this ritual they're performing is a massive piece of messite that has been repurposed into a sort of network. If it were destroyed, it would release them but it would also destroy the minds within. But, to keep it organized, one of the Whisperers would have to remain inside of it, their mind merged with it as a linchpin, find it, 
And if you were to enter it and free them from the inside, then perhaps they could return. Thank you for your answers. <clears throat> looks to the two on either side of me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that partially uh -huh. answered one of my questions. <laughs> so you were doing it. You were watering down the... <laughs> what else have you been holding out on, Riley? <laughs> Many things. You know this. <laughs> Ooh, you could find out what you did while you weren't you. You could. No. Sorry. Shouldn't... Uh, mm, All y'all with your selfish ass questions. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heck. The vastness of knowledge can be quite the abyss. Uh, Quinn, do you have a coin I can use for a second? Oh, yeah, here wow. you go. Wow. <laughs> oh, of course. I toss a coin to my, uh, to my kitty. Oh, bounty of plenty. Oh, no, bounty of plenty. Oh, bounty of plenty. Perfect. Okay, bounty of plenty. Toss a coin to your kitty. What are the grand Very primaries? Happy. Oh. What are the grand primaries? He seems to perk up and stands, having been sitting through this. <sighs> Of all the things I imagined you would ask, I... The Grand Primaries... ...are from before your civilization had taken root. They are, for your purposes, four godlike beings... ...that once tormented and ravaged the world. They were the antithesis of mortal life, and they prevented any kind of civilization from taking root. They considered mortals to be parasites. Colossal. Cosmic. They were powers beyond the un understanding of even beings like myself. And to this day, the world would remain a barren landscape. If... the primary gods had not appeared and struck them down. It is... As a result of the battle against the Grand Primaries, that the Idolans came into being. Mortal beings that were given divinity to help fight against them. By the three original gods, the primary gods. Those who now sleep. The Grand Primaries are... Vestigial. They still remain in the world. They cannot be fully expunged. But their power has lessened. Exact details about them escape even me. That is from an unknowable amount of time in the past. Her. All eyes on Aristo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear this, uh, this pattering sound as you consider your question, and you see that uh, its toes are one after another tapping on the ground. Oh, cute! <laughs> little big beans going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> big Sorry. beans. I have no idea what I should ask. Um, You've been here hundreds of years. So... You can wait five minutes. I'm kidding. No right. <laughs> So many questions, and I don't know which which ones will be a waste and which ones will be important. So you should ask who your mom is. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Carrie. Do you know who oh, my mom is? No, do you think? Do you think? <laughs> God, you. I mean, it's Vend on the list, but it's like I can't just ask. Vendricus, <laughs> Vendricus, who is my mother? Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, peace out! 
Goodbye. <laughs> but is the end of no questions. <laughs> it's just like old bad effect. Like the camera yeah. moves slightly when the smoke bomb goes off because it's a different frame. Just. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry, do your thing. I'm so sorry. Go. <clears throat> it's okay. <sighs> All right. Let's. I'll, I'll go with this one. I've. I've recently started to wonder whether the entity with which I work for is really to be trusted. I, the being known as Morganite, do you know anything of its true goals? Of what it, if what it means to for me to do for it, what it wants to accomplish. I could wager a guess. The Idolos Morganite is one of the older Idolos that exists in the world. It is a servant of Marius. There's a very loud truck outside. Go away. Get out of here. Get out of it. Go. <laughs> it's no, Mark that's just the guy like digging the tunnel. Sorry. Like. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Its assignment as an Idolos is to prevent mortals from entering a certain area of the ocean below which the physical embodiment of Marius resides. But beyond that, its interactions with you, they have been in an attempt to keep power out of the hands of mortals. It understands more than it has told you. Not a lot, but if I was to guess, it understands that the forces that took control of you seek out the Constelliquaries, the ancient weapons that the Eidolans used to battle the Grand Primaries, and it believes that by manipulating you and pushing you down the path that would grant you your goals, I believe it means to stop it from seeking any further Constelliquaries, and also retain them. Furthermore, if an Idolos was ever to acquire enough of them, and if it were to find a way to become one with the power that they possess, an Idolos could, in theory, find power equal to that of an Idolan. If your Idolos is unhappy with its station, its final goal may be to ascend beyond its master. I see. Thank you for your insights. <clears throat> Information is hard earned. Truth is a currency. You will receive no more of it from me. I really appreciate the information you gave us. Thank you. Yes. The information you gave us is priceless. Mm -hmm. I did not give In it out of kindness. You had earned it. Mm. With how things are going, my duty to guard this place may soon come to an end. If that is the case, I will find employment outside this shrine. After a very long time of residing here, I would like to see the outside world with my own two eyes. Perhaps. Hey, Raleigh, maybe you could have this person be your patron from now on. <laughs> All perhaps, right. sure. perhaps if I we were to escape, barn. perhaps if I were to escape, I may keep an eye on you and see <laughs> what becomes of you. After all, you have collected one Constelliquary, and it seems you seek another. He, like, turns back towards the tunnel. You're always welcome. Oh no! <laughs> His wings spread out and the tips of them catch on fire with the same ghostly blue flame, the, which begins spreading along its body. You see its mane convert slowly into flames and begin wisping about dramatically. Press forward, highest standard. I do not care who accomplishes their goal, but for your sake, you'd better hurry. There's a large flash, the fire. Uh, erupts, 
turns into several streaks of flame that join into the fire pot, the fire pit in the middle of the room. Uh, it seems to suppress as it goes in. There's a large flash of fire, which then burns back down, and the flames turn back into a normal red and orange. And we are going to take a break there. Yay! I also just <sighs> thought of a really good question. Fuck. Uh, what? So, isn't it, isn't it the worst? Yeah. There's so many things I dude, wanted to ask. So I was like, joking. But yeah. what if you did get this guy as your patron? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, dude. I want to. Okay, uh, I just thought of this question, but I wanted to. Yeah. I'm way more interested in the question that, that I thought things. of. But Logan yeah. would be more <laughs> interested in the question he asked. But I wanted to know who was the fucking dragon that we saw. Oh, that Oh, that's I what have, I, damn it. I have plans for my question. I I think I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to know for sure. Damn it! Fucking I'm thinking because he was all like like I gave uh, this stuff to like the people before you, it's like I kinda wanted to be like, yo, what did Murkwire ask you? Oh true. What were the answers to their questions? <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck. Oh, uh, I'm happy with my question though. That was a good Mark question. Yeah. Running those Damn, what a good question. Oh. Oh. Logan takes the apple, eats it, he's like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had I had thoughts about who was the quote unquote betrayer and I really mm. wanted to know and I have plans. <laughs> it's gonna be mm. fun. <laughs> you you fucking go to fun. accuse him, you walk into the court like of the king, you're like, I declare Vincent Balaquist is a traitor! A big fire lion told me so. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my plan, but that would be amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Man. My Can't plan I may or may not my question. My plan Aww. may or may not be to attempt to make it to to gain his favor in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Mm. <laughs> I got answers that I, knew, oh. that I knew I had to ask about. I got too many answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many questions. No. Uh, Logan, I'll be right. I hear you. I see mm. you. Okay. I see. I see you. I see what you're put. I. Mm, you better put it back. But I'm watching you. <laughs> you put that down. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Like I see you. I see what you're putting down. I. No, you put that back, but <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing, and I don't like the answers I'm getting. So, what would it be like to have an Andro Sphinx as your patron as a warlock? Longer? Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you be a celestial be, warlock uh, that'd at that be, point? Yeah, super that'd be celestial, cool. I imagine. Yeah, um, that'd be ew. super fucking cool, though, I imagine right? if an Andro Sphinx was to do that, it would be a case of your function would be to search for secrets and lost in, and information that's hard uh, to come by, because that's kind of uh, their jam. That sounds so that's fucking so badass. Fun. That would be fun. <laughs> Yo, come I'm back here! here. <laughs> you hiring? <laughs> It's, oh, not, that so it's not off the table if ever you decide that you want to switch out fucking for something dude, else. Dude, that that, in, that in and of itself is a bit of an ordeal to switch patrons. I believe yeah. it. That that shouldn't be easy. Yeah. But that means potentially if. But that means you can though. Hand. It is. That means you can get Warlock, out of it. Be, having a patron is a transaction. You have been given power. In theory, if you ever wanted to get out of your contract entirely, you'd. Need to give something back. <clears throat> oh, good to keep in mind. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna Shouldn't... put this in my mind I'll for right if I ever try to play an actual warlock other than Ashley. Because <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds so badass. <laughs> Wait, we're on break, right? Yeah. Hi, chat. <laughs> Man, we need a Quintus body pillow. Yeah, me too. Hell yeah. Um. Man, what a time. You seem really confused think... how we didn't die. <laughs> you know? I wish we had figured out how that Lord puzzle Bellicist, actually worked. Huh? I almost asked. I really wanted to be like, so, like, what is that puzzle with the lady? How, how do I solve that? <laughs> I think you did. I don't know. If it was that, wow. Maybe. I think I didn't. But... Like one of the one of the big things is like 
the water but as soon as as soon as you guys said that it wasn't the nice thing to do i'm like yeah but that's probably the reason mm -hmm. <laughs> the <laughs> history isn't nice <laughs> an inch layer of dust when did i start this job what did I, fucking building a resume the address is like let's see the date that i started working in the vault of estius was uh, i know it was negative five thousand six hundred and twenty four BD, but what was the month? Um, I'll just put December. They're not gonna check. No, Black know. said <laughs> whenever you ask the Sphinx about the lady puzzle, it's like the puzzle with the lady. Well, first you get naked. <laughs> no, I would have oh, right. died. So, fun fact. Um, you guys had noticed it. I, I purposely put them in places where you wouldn't bump into it initially. Uh, the thing, the puzzle that said, uh, to drink from the waters of Vestius, that pool was the waters of Vestius. If you had, oh. if you drank any of that water, the, the fire room would just ignore you. Oh. Man. But, but we didn't have to drink thick water, so I'll take that as a success. Thick god water. <laughs> oh, I would have drank all of that, actually. I, I mean, Holy it is. water? It is, it is that, me. though. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm well, bottling yeah. this to take with me. There's also an ooze in there, so you know. You put, and it, you put it in a, you put it in a bottle, and suddenly like a little five minute countdown timer appears beside you, <laughs> and you're like, uh, oh, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> And then you Hello. throw it at the at the fire goal. <laughs> if you speed run through Kukiri uh, Forest and pour it on the final <laughs> boss, you insta kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in mind for Monday. <laughs> what was wrong, Carrie? I love that that took actual years. There's like I'm a really, I of thought you'd ask someone thought to do that. Carrie. Yeah. yeah I, I thought know. you'd ask a much different question. Yeah, uh, I know. Where's I mean, Kelly's mom? <laughs> I was really right. waiting for. I was really waiting for. Where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? It was the first time I had. Uh, my head, but then I was I like, had, that's really uh, fucking selfish. Like, a uh, domestic question, and I had a cosmic question. I flipped a coin, and I got cosmic question. So nice. Fuck it. There we go. Uh, there you go. Also, I removed a gold from my inventory, by the I way. I will put it back. <laughs> so he gives it back to you. Okay. <laughs> back to 169. Hell yeah. Bogey's question was good. Now, fucking, you know yeah. that you're not really going to find an answer. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think we all had good questions, honestly. Like, goddamn. I didn't expect yeah. most of them. Those were good. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> Which ones did you expect? Um. Yeah. Well. Mm, prob. No. Okay. Then I'll shut. We'll see. I thought <laughs> I thought Fenris's would definitely be different. Um, oh, what? I thought, I thought she okay, might ask about so it. So I thought the yeah. I thought the obvious answers would have been. <laughs> oh, this would be thought... good. I thought, the I thought the obvious questions would have been that Quintus would have asked who the traitor on the council was, if there was one. I was thinking it. I was thinking it so hard. I thought that Raleigh would ask about either the current location or details of that which possessed him. Oh, I thought that Lexi would... That? I, I thought Lexi would ask about where Kevin is or what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Um... Mariam is kind of a wild card because you're all yeah. not apart from the fact that you have a lot going on. You're also a lore bard, so I was like, you you're just role play wise. Yeah, you would just be I, interested in a lot. Everything like I was going through my notes, I'm like I can ask him all of this. Mariam gives a fuck. This is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> how many people don't know what this is? That's what it's a grand primary. It's like there's no fucking school that's like in today. We're talking about the grand primary. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, Vogan, I also wasn't sure because he has enough, but I did think it would be about mm. the pilgrimage, so that wasn't mm. a that wasn't a huge surprise. Mm. Um, uh, Heckin, yeah, and Fenris, I don't want to say what I thought your yeah, question would I, be. I know what you thought because it's no one's business thought. right now. But yeah. I, I think you know what I thought you'd ask. I know exactly what I you had, thought it was. I had three questions. I almost asked that. Immediate. I had three questions pop in almost immediately, and two of them were about traitors. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was like uh, the traitor in the like, party. Be right yeah, yeah. It was like either the traitor in Summergrass or the traitor in the council. Uh, and and I went with Summergrass because that was more immediately something that we we have to tackle. Mm -hmm. um, another one of my questions was going to be just like a like a cute selfish question for Quintus. He was, he was going to mm -hmm. be because I know that there might have been some juicy information revealed from it, but he but yeah, he wouldn't. Uh, I was going to be like I was going to ask him 
if his if his deceased parents would uh, like legends would spread to uh, to the edges of uh, of Retia <laughs> and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I was I was gonna ask where Velus was, but when Fenris asked that question, it kind of overlapped, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if he'd be able to answer it because he mentioned about like not knowing exactly what's going on in other planes. Like, oh, does that mean he's on another plane? Shit, I shouldn't waste my question. It's <laughs> <laughs> fair, damn. Let me. Uh, All right. He has a pretty much absolute knowledge of things happening on this plane. Up to an absurdly long time ago. Dang. Heck yeah. Fucking sphinxes are neat, man. They right. super yeah. are. Uh, fucking, but yeah, andro sphinxes and heckin... Uh, I can't remember what the other one's called. Is it... No, it's not Geno Sphinx. Geno Sphinxes, no. yeah, Geno Sphinx. Oh. Yeah, okay, um, I got it. Cool. Uh, <laughs> but they're super cool. This is the this is the prove your power one. The other one is the mm. heckin... He is a riddle. Rawr. Me. I fucking hate those ones. It's man. <laughs> it's, it's man. It's man. It's, it's man. 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 Ah. It just, it's a baby, then an adult, then a, then a knight, and then an old age as a cane. It's a man. Lady. It's it's the moon. It's the moon. The moon. The moon. He, he has a he has the a one. Towel. It has the one riddle, and like in, in like the first age, no one would get it. Then one person got it, and they like left, and then came back, and then everyone just started getting it from that point on. And like a thousand years in, she's just like. Be honest with me. Somebody told you the answer, didn't they? <laughs> what? Someone oh, who's talking. <laughs> Dude, you remember you remember when I was running that fucking one shot thing at uh, at the table? Uh, oh, and I, I immediately I got over. the fucking moon thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Moon, moon, I didn't even finish the riddle. Moon, moon. And you got the moon. <laughs> moon. <laughs> moon. Moon. It's a moon. I say moon. Moon. I say moon. Yep. I say moon. Moon. <laughs> Like okay, God, it's the moon. <laughs> Fuck, so Logan, it clicks open. Jeez. Oh, this is <laughs> Some great. riddles in D and D aren't meant to be super hard. Is the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. unless you have a table of like really adept people, you never want to risk just locking them out of things. Um, and you also never want to feel like you're being like, "Oh, this is obvious. Come on." Riddles should be difficult, but like not things that normally you'd have to spend hours thinking of. You know. Yeah. It's I, went the, I, like... I went in the game today, like not wanting to immediately try to like figure out the first like riddle we did. So as soon as I saw the whole like uh, like drop everything thing, I'm just like I'm just gonna hone in on that and tell okay. and have Quintus tell everybody to get naked. So um, no. yeah, funny the, the the one that you guys had, but the other one you got basically the exact right answer as you went. Um, the caveats to the the fountain were if a creature that wasn't good had stepped into it, the water would have, like, locked them in place until it was, uh, complete. If oh. people had tried to, if the whole party had, um, well, the whole party couldn't be locked in because you guys don't have a whole lot of not good people, but mm -hmm. if you had tried to remove, <laughs> if you tried, um. if you tried to remove the ring without, uh, without stabbing it, then it wouldn't have been, uh, came off, and you did that three times. There was a black ooze that would have formed in there, and anyone that was stuck in the water would have been unable to move, and the black oh. ooze would have there would have been an extra weaker uh, black ooze for each person that was oh, stuck cool. in there, and uh, you wouldn't have been. And the hand would have closed around the ring, and that would have been it. There, there would have been no ring. Oh, so how dare you, Jermel? So that ring is Vulcan a thing. is chaotic and good. Ooh, <laughs> is he? Yes. <laughs> How dare you? You tell that to the bear. But you guys went up and you immediately had someone <laughs> good try to get in. You had someone good try to get in and then you didn't try to take the ring before stabbing it. And I was like, cool, you guys just, you did it. <laughs> like, I perfect. really, I'm going to be honest, Logan. I really thought I fucked that one up. <laughs> no, you guys Aww. did it perfectly. Yeah. No, it, I mean, it's no biggie. I was just like, well, I guess that didn't happen because nothing happened. It didn't like... <sighs> about confetti and go, you did it, Brad! And so I don't the part that I have found, to heal it. The part that I found interesting, and one of the great things about being silent as a DM, was um, the fact that after you got the ring, you still were like, if I leave, is something going to happen? That was for me, Juice, because I was like, I have no power anymore. But I'll let you convince yourself that whatever's going on is going to <laughs> Hell on. yeah! It's fun for yeah. me, man. Yeah. Uh, can we get rid of the 1d6 fire on people? Ah, uh, yes, totally. Oh, yes, Dang. please. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Uh. So, just so you guys have some idea, the Sphinx would have let you through, regardless. Um, uh, mm. If you guys had not won in that fight, 
um, then you would have uh, you would have been granted a short rest because he still would have been like, I'm interested in you doing things, blah. But you wouldn't have gotten any questions and you would not have gotten a long rest. Also, Aww. anyone who died and was dead at the end of it would only have gotten a short rest, but you were all up at the end. So good Yay. job. <laughs> I'm really I, happy that I that I, I as soon as like we went in there and I saw there was grates underneath the things I'm like okay it's yeah. it's to pour the fire out. Oh by the way, just <laughs> FYI, if any of you had uh, it was uh, it was obvious that if you tried to put your own out, it teleported you to your own room. Um, if somebody was teleported to another room, the way that would have gone down is if somebody else had put theirs out while they were gone, they would be pulled to whatever room that person was in. So, like, ah. if Vogan had tried to put out Lexi's while Vogan was in the other room, it would have pulled Lexi into the Vogan room. Oh! oh. That, I can just imagine us as people the, being the, the annoyed The point of it was that. the party yeah. trying to take care of the problems everybody else was suffering from and ignoring their own statue. Mm. Oh. I see. You can't help yourself. <laughs> you gotta help others. That's why when he put you in there, he was like, deal with this while dealing with the, the dregs of your, of your allies. The oh, first thing shit. I did was put out so I was super wrong. I didn't care about yeah. being on fire. <laughs> I was about to start talking to these statues, man. I, I thought like, it was right. hilarious that the entire first round you were all like, let's investigate them. I just imagined the golem walking up behind each of you like... <laughs> oh, no, no, just, there's got to be something on it, so I I shake its hand. I shake its other hand. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and there's just like way in the background, you just hear the Sphinx. Kill it! <laughs> I said show your mate. Show your mate. God. Maybe there's Jesus. some sort of maybe there's some sort of lever. I'm not a Geno Sphinx. I don't care how smart you are. Maybe this is like, maybe maybe religion will show us the way. <laughs> Look, maybe quickly. I know, I know you said us. they're of us, but are these statues also perhaps of other people? No, they're of you. What if we're reincarnated from gods? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're from you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see your fire golem, come on! <laughs> Fucking... This is who I hitched my wagon to? Oh, so, God! So, Izzy... Yeah? You didn't ask it, which, cool, but... Uh. I, I, whenever you were asking your question, I went and I pulled up my, my Raleigh timeline, and I was like, well, time to read this! <laughs> I'm so I was so upset. ready. I was so ready for you to ask that, man. Mm -hmm. I, there were so many questions that seemed like they would have good answers. It's okay. We'll I just can't. find another Andro Sphinx. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, I wanted to find out if wanted to find out if Morgan I'd have any like secret evil plans that I should know about her. Like, oh jeez. Uh, it's okay. Thanks. I think everybody's Second. back. My favorite part of this fight was so? the fucking yeah, different so. room thing. Like, the different yeah. room oh, yeah, with the golems. Definitely. But everything is there, but it's a different room. That Are was my there favorite. more than three? <laughs> oh, no, there's one for each of you. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't see, because I was just, is there more than three of them? <laughs> no, heckin', uh... Heckin' boop. Doop -doop. Why do I have this note in here? I've got it. I just there. noticed there's like a, there's oh my a line God. in my notes Damn. that says the character experiences visit vivid hallucinations and has disadvantage. Oh, wait, oh, I think that's, yeah. that's when, when I got uh, that curse. Yeah, that's from when the yeah. Lekazad stuff oh, was going. Uh, when you okay. yeah. pulled on my sword out and took yeah. the curse. I'm yeah. going to just delete this. Yeah, yeah you call, yeah. <laughs> all those all right. Boys. But yeah, you guys are all long rested. Uh, I will say that for the purposes <laughs> of what the, how this long rest goes, uh, Fenris, you cannot change spells because you're not actually, you don't have the time to re prepare no, things. Fine. You're just being mm -hmm. reinvigorated. Um, any ongoing effects you guys have would be gone now as well. So, just gonna quickly look over you. You doesn't look like you have any new ones. Logan. Throw... Yes. I used up both of the scrolls of Lesser Restoration, right? Yes. Can you remove them from my, uh, hacking sheet? Can you not? You can't, uh, like, check them off on, like, your action stuff, or no? 
Oh, I could. Hold on. Just click, yeah, just click yeah. the X and it'll be like, just delete. No, you, right even right. if you don't want to get rid of them, just click them both and... There you go, yeah. yeah. There. There we go. If Sorry. you're on your combat tab, they will Way just not show up. I leave that stuff on there just in case you guys ever get new ones, like with potions. I'm like, it's not yeah. worth it to remove it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Heckin' the Amnesis question was... That's some information I didn't expect to drop for a long time, but that's fine. I, I have to say, I feel, I feel like I owe Lexi something because she asked a question that gave me more answers. She asked a Fenris question. Then, like, I yeah, did, I was yeah. like, <laughs> that's what I was planning to ask, and then you asked that, and I was like, well... <laughs> if it was anything else, she'd ask about Kevin, but that's been bothering her for a while. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, goodbye, Vendricus. I'll find him. It'll be okay. <laughs> That's kind of like where I was with the whole traitor of the uh, the council thing. It's like, oh, I'll find him. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'll find him. Like, I'll get him. This other One thing's way. more immediate. Right. <laughs> She's gonna find him. She's gonna get, gonna get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. One way. I want to make sure way. I'm on the right trail. It is the carpenter. All right, good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna punch him in his nose. It wasn't just Perfect. like a, a thing where like they're trying to use him as a red herring. Okay, good. <laughs> Why is that not coming up? Just before we jump back in, I'm just going to get a couple things prepared for what we're doing. Um, oh yeah. <clears throat> well, yes, you're preparing depth for us. Thank you. Kinda. Kitty, I have to ask. How come you didn't ask him the most important question? Oh, my most important question? <laughs> was that old lady a hag or was she not? I, I still don't know. <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> She's just some old lady. <sighs> we need to know, Kitty. I feel like it's a better story if we don't know. Because if she is just a regular lady, then we can't really tell that story as much. Then we just got high with some chick in the woods. Well, yes. I mean, the, fun, yeah. but... Way less crazy than getting high with a hag. Well, yeah, but when we go on the way back, I'd like to know if we're safe, because I plan <laughs> to stop again. <laughs> I don't know how Quintus stayed alive till he met us. <laughs> Good question. For Miriam, I have no idea. <laughs> like, oh my god. god. Because I've Miriam, only brought stability to his life, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> before before Miriam, I was rich and protected. Mm. <laughs> now I'm rich oh, and protective yes. and have a Miriam. <laughs> yeah. Quintus and his two brain cells. <laughs> oh, the boy. No, I love Quintus. Same. Same. It's really bad. Oh, stop it. <laughs> That's good. <Stop>. <laughs> no. Sorry for taking this minute, guys. I saw, a picture the other day. I saw a picture the other day where uh, where uh, somebody was talking about the hashtags and like Twitter or something like that being like rainbow colored for like the, the LGBT ones. Hell yeah. And it's like, and they're like, oh, this is so cool. And it's like, yeah, now watch this. And it's like, and they put a hashtag kissing the homies goodnight and it wasn't rainbow. And they're like, see, not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> You can kiss the homies goodnight. It's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. Adorable. That's funny. Uh -huh. Adorable. That's, that's funny. That's very uh, humorous. That's hilarious. <laughs> if, I, if I can find it again, I'll show you guys, but I, I cannot remember Scary. what the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. One way Get you. or another, I'm going to find you. I'm gonna look oh, really yeah, hard yeah, at it, yeah, I'll yeah. find you one way. <laughs> <laughs> or I will cry. And here I go. I just saw a picture of Chad, just the screen cap of the fight from Sid. <laughs> Stay off. <laughs> oh, Sid. Uh, Fenris actually knew her parents were in the Matrix, Ryder. They're toast in the Matrix. She mm -hmm. she knew it. Now they all know it too. How did Lexi know though? Or no? Uh, you guys found it out from you guys found it out from the. Uh, I'm gonna find a way. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna from the get away, away. Mm -hmm. I said it out Maybe loud. One so, way yeah, let's or another up. way. We need, we need a Quintus and Miriam one shot. What like a fucking prequel? Like, 
<laughs> Hell a yeah! Your prequel party. It'd be so good. Level one with extreme <laughs> debuffs, and somehow we don't die. Let's go. Vogue and prequel. He'd start at a level five. Oof. <laughs> 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 Dude, we like. We like each get a fucking one shot of like the the characters that came in as pairs, and like heckin. Fucking Miriam and Quinn like go on adventures and like Fenris and Lexi do stuff and Raleigh and Vogan are just like I don't like you. Yeah. Like that's the <laughs> entire one shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, not I'm gonna have to find a way to like attack you without killing you. Um, <laughs> it's just because uh. I stole your roasted squirrel. I was hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too, bitch. <laughs> 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 so am I. You, That's why I had a roasted squirrel. <laughs> why do you think I made the roasted squirrel? Thought <laughs> 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 I was gonna for a later. It's in pictures chat now. I'll put you in pictures chat. Oh shit! shit. Well. <laughs> yes. Okay, hashtag's a rainbow. Now watch. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so great. It's really funny. <laughs> I gotta post that to my friends' chat. <laughs> Wonderful. Maybe one way or another way. I'm gonna find a way. I'll get away, away, away. <laughs> Whale, 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 whale. Whale, 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 Maybe he has a pet. I'm not sure yet. Hell yeah. Get that whale. Whale, 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 whale. Sounds like a fucking Damn. I'm gonna whale on your face. So hopefully it took him a lot longer to beat up his golem than it took us to beat up our golem. Mm -hmm. So that, like, yeah. he's not that far ahead of us. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, we heard some lion roars, like, he right had, before we went in. He so. had a different True. thing that happened. Oh. Uh, fucker. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all right. How, <laughs> How dare he? Hmm. What a butthole. I bet he didn't do that. Uh, by the way, Logan. Yeah. Um, I've said it before, and I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's uh, put in here or not. But I had said I picked up the discarded uh, charm thingy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I heard you. Okay, making sure because I was just wanting to make sure that we did that before I moved. We moved away from this map. No, you got it. Okay, okay, okay. All righty. So I'm actually going to close that map. Let's jump back in, my boys. Wee. Whoo. Wee. All righty. Heckin' here we go. Sorry in advance, Stewie. <laughs> oh, we love you, Stewie. We're sorry oh, we're the worst. All right. Man. So, guys, uh, hey, fuck you complete you. that. I love the path him. to the inner chamber <laughs> is open. Uh, do we have everyone, just to confirm? Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, if you're here. Brett, Brett is here. Roll call, Brett. Move forward <laughs> Roll call, on the Brett. map if you're here. <laughs> I'm here! Adorable. Move forward on the map. Alrighty. So, my <laughs> dudes, uh, as you move forward, uh, do you take any time to do anything? Are you moving forward? Um, if we've got the time, I've got my, uh, I've got my identifies back if we want to find out what that ring does. <gasps> oh, Ooh, I hold it. out the ring. Alright. Identify the ring. I'm not you, asking you any questions. Don't get any wrong ideas. Do you? It is in your inventory, right? Just putting a ring on it. Yeah. So, uh, identifying that ring, that is a ring of lightning resistance, which, if you attune Ooh. to it, uh, will give you resistance to lightning damage. Hell yeah. Neat. <laughs> Neat. We don't have time to do that, but... Neat. <laughs> oh, cool. Very pretty. You're on quiet. Now, anything else you want to identify? You have more uses, right? Uh, I've got one more use. Do we have anything else that needs identification? The, the ball! The ball! Did we... The did ball! We, <laughs> <laughs> did we identify the ball? The the one that we took from the robo-room? The uh, ball? The Warforge room. 
The we ball. Gotta, I don't remember a ball. <laughs> is it in the party the inventory or orb. is it in someone's? The orb! The orb. Oh, that's the, ball. the yeah. round thing! Uh, the ball! The orb. <laughs> I don't know who has it, but uh, uh, Kitty uh, should have it. I, think I do. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's the orb. It's the orb. <laughs> <laughs> it's the orb. orb yeah. If you want to identify that, the Where red did it orb come from came from the hall. <laughs> came from the hall. <laughs> um. So, uh, you are choosing to identify that. Yeah. Okay. That is an orb of inflaming. Uh, it oh. can. You have to attune to it to use it. Uh, it can hold up to three charges, which it regains when a creature attuned to it completes a long rest. An attuned creature can use their action to expend one charge to cast Burning Hands, DC 14, or two charges to cast Scorching Ray, with a plus six to hit. Oh. Ew. Eight. And Cost I have, I have, yeah, I was gonna say, I apparently set the value at 600 HP. I'm gonna change that to GP. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I would like to exchange this for 600 hit points. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a beefy orb. I can't use oh. this. Who can use it? You can. That's uh, oh. uh, that's it. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you really like create, You're really creating an image with your orb and your snake cane. The two of you could both attune to it. Um. Fenris uses holy symbols and I use instruments. So this would be for either the arcane trickster or for the warlock. I'm, I'm fine either way. What do you guys think? I, we can't attune to it right away. We can figure that sure, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can uh, do Just it to later, be clear, right? uh, right. it is a spell focus. It doesn't require you be able to cast spells to use. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can attune oh. to it and cast mm. just the spells built into it. But for just optimal use, you could also use it as a spell focus. Oh, yeah. But Save just to be clear, hand. though, yeah, you could, anyone could take it. Quintus could cast the spells using charges. Take it! <laughs> I'll juggle Snatches two different orbs! I have I have my drift globe and I have this red fire orb. <laughs> Spread the orb well. You Quintus. accidentally <laughs> used the wrong one. You're like, one sec, guys, we need some light. <laughs> 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 Shane, Too much this light. is white. You'll get confused. Too much light. Too much light. <laughs> run, like, run, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. So my God. um. Let's go and, beat uh, up a dragonborn. Yeah. Let's go try to beat let's up. Go attempt a to beat up a dragonborn. <laughs> yeah. fucking, no, let's and go then murder a fox lady. Let's go murder the hell um, out of this boy. Oh, you mean scandal? Okay, you mean scandal. Okay, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> I, was, right. I was afraid for a second. I want to murder a Murkwire and get my key and or box and or thing out of my box back. <laughs> Fair. Alrighty. Sorry, but I'm going to have to murder Scandal. That's fine. She's your favorite, but I have She's to She's not, murder though. Her. I'm gonna make a necklace out of her tail. What a her skin like a trophy. Scarf. <laughs> Yo, right. I gotta find a taxidermist. Like... Yo, get Sagria scarf. Stop. Stop. Yeah, so soft. Stop. Dude, dude tiefling oh, coat. Up. <laughs> Y'all are just, going to hell. I can be resistant to fire. Human gloves. <laughs> now that one I now leave I, behind. They're a magic item you have to tune to. You get all the powers of a human. <laughs> You're so cool, not getting okay. profiled. But that said, that said, bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, we gotta like, bring it in. Sorry, bring it I'm in. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, Fucking so you guys, break. you guys decide to head forward. Uh, you move past the, uh, area, you go up the stairwell and go down the path that was opened up by the Androsphinx, Vendricus. It doesn't take you very long as you're moving forward to pass through this dark hallway into a massive chamber. Which, given the circumference you guys saw from the outside, you assume just takes up the other half of this <laughs> facility. Uh, the overall size of it is almost comparable to the entire area you've been in so far. As you move into it, uh, you see it is this uh, outcropping, this um, protrusion that seems to go out over this massive pit. As you move forward, the walls cease being made of properly laid bricks and uh, proper materials, and it seems like this was just carved out of some natural material, as if just a cocoon of, ca of a cavern was made around this room. Uh, moving into it, you see a variety of multicolored glows, um, 
there are orbs, large glass, uh, more uh, orbs, more large glass um, <laughs> domes that are built into the ground that are flat enough to walk on, but they have curvature to them that are glowing uh, red and white and blue and black and um, and green. Uh, as you move forward, there are uh, you see some massive pillars and various chains at the end of this protrusion over this large pit that is in the, the middle of this huge room. Uh, there are these chains that are suspending this massive red crystal with a black core in the air uh, uh, at the end of it. This crystal is jagged and uh, huge. It is about 15 feet long, it uh, like height-wise, and um, its width is about 10, 12 feet. It comes down to a point on the bottom. And you see that standing in the red glow this thing's giving off with all these chains that are bound into the walls and pillars that are on this platform and running into it is suspended in the air. Standing in front of it, you see silhouetted against it, uh, the image of Murkwire. I'm going to share with you guys a map. Just <gasps> Murkwire? Oh, jeez. Only well, Murkwire and Scandal are there, but he is specifically um, uh, silhouetted against it. It's a big old map. <laughs> Holy it's crap. a big old map. Big ol'. It's a big one. It is. It's a big o. Oh my god, we're so tiny. <laughs> oh. We. So Logan, where are the like twelve hundred other things that are on this map? Yeah. Like right, like <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you guys see the below you. Uh, you guys uh, look out the side. You see the sections that are that fall down into the bottom area of the canyon. You see there's this thick, black, ashy smoke that is constantly swirling below it. Flakes of arcane energy seem to move and dance around the massive crystal at the center of the room. And you see I those like boys. <laughs> you guys see Murkwire and Scandal standing over there. As you guys come in, you see Murkwire's head turn towards you. Uh, he doesn't fully turn around, but you just see his head move to the side as if regarding you. Bows down for a second and then looks back up towards the crystal. You see him almost like reaching up towards it, not with the intention of grabbing it, but almost in a celebratory manner, as if he was reaching towards something he'd been striving for for a long time. It all starts with this. <laughs> One thing, I don't know what, sorry. Murkwire, what did you do with Lyra? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. I was disappointed. <laughs> one second. One second. I like that one. We have to say perfect. We have to say Lyra. <laughs> I also have to long rest Lyra. Say that at that level of volume while he's 130 feet away. I already did my right? scream. Like, I'm not screaming yeah. again. No, it's true. That's it's probably best I'm saying. Like, what did you do? With Lyra. Like, Lyra will... Uh, she reloads her gun and she aims it towards him despite the distance. I will start going forward. <laughs> As you walk Same. towards him, he doesn't turn to regard you guys, but you hear his voice begin to pick up. As she sees you, Scandal begins flying just around the area, um, whizzing about happily as if inspecting the upper walls of the, of the uh, cavern. Uh, Murkwire. You hear his voice rising up. So you made it. You got past Vendrikus. That we did. Trials couldn't stop us from getting to you. So it would seem. You've survived quite a bit to make it here, including me. He turns around towards you. And you see, takes the great sword that he has. He slams it uh, into the ground. You see, in his other hand, he has the uh, he has the warhammer, the dragon head like warhammer that he had been holding when he came in here. I must ask, 
Are you all satisfied with the way that things are? What do Not you even mean? Close. <laughs> <laughs> really? In what way? Explain. Looking to the lot of you. There are many of you that society is not exactly fair to. Are you happy with that? That you have to cower and hide? Act like your lesser selves when in the daylight? No, but we're working on changing that. Ourselves. Your answer is not the one that we can see it. Any chance of real change? Hmm. You've been strong enough to survive up till this point. You got past plunge. From what I understand, you've gone through many things in different places around the country. You survived being discarded by me, though I would have preferred you stay dead. I can't deny that you must be strong. We I imagine a world where people that have strength get to decide their own fates. Not those with gold. Not those who cheer the loudest as they watch others with proper strength fight for entertainment. And I can't imagine that that kind of world wouldn't appeal to you as well. And what of those without strength? Where do they belong in your perfect world? Under the protection of those that do. That's not really my concern. Those that lack strength will become strong or will cease to exist. It makes more sense. He regards back up towards the, the crystal that's hanging over him. Things aren't right. I haven't been for a long, long time. Tell How me! Leave him? Oh, okay. go ahead. Okay, uh, <laughs> how do you even plan on achieving this perfect world of yours? <laughs> do you know what the two things you need to control a population are? Charisma and weapons. Well, that's correct. <laughs> he yeah, yeah, yeah. like looks towards <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like <laughs> smiling. <laughs> like, answer, but no, no. We're all just like <laughs> looking around like, good answer. Yes. <laughs> More specifically, you need might, and you need either the power to control the flow of information within a society, or to change it. You see him grip his Messite greatsword. I possess the means to alter information however I see fit, and... He puts his hand on his chest and briefly bangs on his armor. I have always held might. And with this, he regards his hand back towards the crystal. Both of those things will be amplified. Beyond anything you could comprehend. In coming here, did you learn what this is? Did we? Not a clue. Yeah, nope. no. <laughs> yes, no. What? All I know is it doesn't belong to you. That's right. It doesn't. There is another that sent me here that it belongs to. I could never dream of using this. Neither could any of you. And I do believe in a world ruled by the strong. Which is why when I restore this to the person it belongs to, I will gladly take my place under them. But... He starts walking towards the lot of you. In return, I will stand at the top of this country. I will use my control over information to find my place at the top, and once there, my might to keep that position. And you could all help. 
And you could all guide this society to be more welcoming of people like you. You could be the strong. You've proven that you have that worth. Okay. Not playing. What do you say? I know that you are heroic by nature. But is it truly heroic to uphold a world that only benefits others? Who pulls your strings, Murkwire? Pulls my strings. <laughs> Who are you giving yourself to? How great can they be? The Talons of Azharu. Any bells? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. None of you would recognize it. Oh, not what? Good. I roll, feel like roll Logan me. Would. Let's uh, <laughs> let's say everybody roll me very obscure history checks. Like, go <laughs> ahead. But you're gonna need to get way high. Like everybody or just Miriam? Everybody can roll it. Okay, cool. I got it. I'm looking for a nat 13. twenty here. I have a 25. I do! <laughs> <laughs> Lexi knows everything. <laughs> you you get so low, you know everything except for this. Shit. Still a dead game for you. <laughs> There's a genetic flaw with those like me, Obsidian Dragonborn. We tend to lose our minds. He taps his head. He starts walking further towards you, scraping his blade along the ground. Voices call out to us and drive us insane, and by adulthood, we lose ourselves to it. I took the anger that came from this genetic deformity, and I put it towards becoming a gladiator. I cleared my mind of such things, but the voices came nonetheless. I followed them here, to the sky wall, and I found the talons of Azharul, and I found... This genetic disposition is not a curse. It is a mimetic legacy that was left to call my kind to the one who would lead us to a better world. I found the Talons, and they showed me the way. I will rule Summergrass. I will use this crystal to put myself on top, and then they will accomplish whatever it is they want. It's not my concern. And then when this world, when this country devolves into meaningless war with Kahulis, I will seal my country's borders and protect those within it. Can you tell me that's wrong? I mean, I could. Wrong. But no. you'd listen to, you wouldn't listen to that. The words you have have some truth. But that's not your problem with us. If you... If you continue on this path, your rage will lead to you ruling a kingdom of ash and dust. Your perversion is beyond imagine. I cannot stand by this. I will take no part. What a no. shame to see people that are so powerful be so blind. You know, I used to be a lot like you. <gasps> Using any yes. excuse. To <laughs> any excuse off, I could Logan. find to hurt somebody. Because that's what you're using. Excuses. I feel like deep down you just want to control people. Maybe. I will admit. He slams the great sword into the ground again. Since I acquired this, my vision has been blurred. It was a gift. One that awakened the voices that have led me on this path. But I do not consider myself to be blind, and if I'm being tricked, if I'm being manipulated, or forced to give in to my instincts, that's fine. I want to climb to the top to make sure things are my way. And I won't be satisfied until I'm there. 
A lot like you, Vogan. A hobgoblin? You have it right. Your people are barbaric, but... If one among you could climb to the top and maintain power, things would be different for you. If I'm being strictly honest, I don't really care about any of this crap. You just have something of mine. A tiefling does not care. The way the world treats you is fine. How can you be so aloof? How passive you are sickens me! The scandal flies behind him, zipping across to the other side of the room. Alright, so that's what you've been after this entire time. She, like, hovers around him. You've never told me about these talons. What are they like? Not your concern, witch! Is this the wag- Is this the wagging you want to hit yourself to, Scandal? Some guy who's being controlled by some... thing? Is he really that interesting? Hey, Scandal. His things currently <laughs> are? I'd actually say, um... She flips <laughs> upside down on her broom and puts her hand on her chin and seems to be thinking. To be totally honest with you, my entire goal was to get to here. I wanted to see exactly what he was trying to find. Of course it was. You are drawn <clears throat> to those stronger than you like a moth to a flame scandal. Hmm. <laughs> she zips around. Food for thought. And she disappears up into around the top of the room. By the way, since we're all having this uh, disagreement, perhaps I should draw everyone's attention to that. And she snaps her fingers and fires a bit of lightning at the ceiling. As it hits, you see a flash and you see a long serpentine figure coiled on part of the ceiling. You just see all small parts of it. And you see glowing blue eyes. Oh. I did not expect this place would be unprotected. Do you guys, I love it here. <laughs> you hear, <laughs> Next one you of us. hear cracking. As if stone is ripping out of stone. Here and the sliding the of metal. <laughs> what? Here come all the enemies. <laughs> Wee. You Big see Matt. one serpent, and then another serpent, and then fifty serpent. Son of a bitch! It turns into this... that scene from like the Digimon movie with all like the Diaboromon. The Diablo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see Murkwire grab his weapon. Uh, he takes his greatsword, hoists it onto his shoulder, and you hear a loud crashing sound as whatever's on the ceiling lets go, falls down to the center of all of you. A large dust cloud emits from its location as this massive creature seems to uncoil itself. You see glowing blue spikes, large chunks of gem through this cloud, and the dust cloud that erupts itself seems to be charged with electricity. As this thing uncoils itself, it lets out this multi-voiced roar that splits the cloud of dust and separates it. And you see... this boy. Ah, Loading. excitement! Uh, wait. Hold on, oh, I gotta resize doing... it. <laughs> gotta resize it. Uh... Dear oh god. my god! Oh, that god. is so cool! That's oh my really god! Cool. <laughs> so this is how we die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm okay with Fair. this. Yeah. Fair. This is pretty cool. <laughs> As you see this go. thing land and stretch its body out. Though its body is long and serpentine, the front half coils upwards, two of the arms folding in, uh, crossing over themselves. It clenches its claws, letting out this massive metallic cracking, and you see it light up with electrical energy. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Man, I wonder why we were able to get a full heal right before this. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 oh my god! I get another inspiration! I'm f I'm ready to inspire. Oh, man. I'm ready to go. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll be back here. You guys yeah, come back and meet me. See you guys later. Yeah. It's blue. It's giving you Morganite PTSD. Regardless of our differences, mm -hmm. this is all of our enemy. 
and so we leave him, let it kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mariam, you are up first. How is the ceiling? The ceiling is about uh, here. It w the the whole room is a bit of a a bit of a sphere, so it is. Do 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 do. It is about 150 feet up. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna just take a few steps back, and uh, I'm gonna cast Call Lightning. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, um. thunder clouds build up at the top of the room. Uh, as this happens, uh, lightning begins to flash and crackle within it. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> To be oh. fair, Merkwire looks pet over to you. You some sense. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I'm gonna yeah. throw a lightning bolt. Uh, can I hit both of them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> These are the questions. <laughs> Not Darn. quite. So um, close yet so far. I uh, I will target oh, the unknown creature with my first ah. bolt of lightning. I will say, as soon as this thing lands, uh, Lexi, your, uh... Shit, 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 what? <laughs> Hrock is reacting to this thing, not the same way it reacts to, uh, the Constelliquaries, but it is oh. reacting to it with some degree of familiarity. Oh! oh. I have a feeling it's another one of those. That, huh, uh, you strike it with anymore. lightning. As lightning comes down and hits it, uh, it seems to stop just above it, and the lightning moves, and you see, as it hits it, it's not reacting to it at all. The gemstone chunks of it, the gemstone mm -hmm. chunks of it glow bright as if they were charged by it. Oh. You guys, I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. Use that charge to kill Merkwire. You know, I've been wondering this for a while. But I'm pretty sure you're a masochist. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move over there. Alrighty. Uh, noting, just reminder that those spaces they are pits. That's why I moved around it. Yeah, I just uh, just a reminder going forward. I just wanted to draw attention to it. Oh, they're pits. Uh, yeah. I thought they're like walls or something. Yeah, I no, thought they're they like are. pillars or something. If this yeah. is the the big circular ones. Those are pillars. The ones that be. are like around where you guys are, those are, uh, oh, those are pits. Oh, okay. Neato. Those fall down into this, the bottom area, which is completely filled with a ash-like black smoke. Also, that's an orb floating really high, not a hole. Yes, those, those things on the ground, they're not floating, <laughs> they're embedded in the ground. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a hole, then. Okay. Either way. No, not a hole. <laughs> ah, okay. uh, that's me. Not a hole. Alrighty. Not a hole. Not in, hole. Not the hole. <laughs> Heckin', that means Fenris! Uh, is, is that my favorite time? Shoot. So Fenris, yes. um, for a moment, as you look towards it and you get ready to fight, uh, you swear that you hear this single thunderous heartbeat from the crystal that is suspended in the air. And as you do, your vision seems to split for a second as if all the colors of your vision separated and then oh. reformed. And so there's a momentary ringing sound that comes with it that you can't quite place it, um, but then everything returns to normal and you can act as you were, but you have this brief moment. Yeah, I'm like, what? Okay, uh, let's let's ignore that for now. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> the DM will tell me when it's a problem. Forward we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fine. As long as I say it's fine, it's fine. Um, I have in my spell prep protection from good and evil do i have to have like selected the spell as well in my spell slots for me to use that spell what do you mean i have if you do have it prepped if it is not on your prepared list then it is not prepped and you cannot use it okay, okay. it's like a okay. domain spell oh yeah the spell prep stuff that is how yeah. many of the spells like the materials you have prepared right. That's not, yeah, that's not the preparation. That's just when you use what, when you use the spell, you should tick one of those off to represent that you used the materials for that casting. Okay, 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 interesting. Scandal's not causing anything right now, so I won't bother her. I have an important question for my heckin' party mates. Who wants haste? 
Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking every, everybody's slowly raising their hand like, I, I mean, I think we all, yeah. everybody, yeah, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, all the no, imagine all the no times they'll hit me if I have two more AC. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I, I'm also, so we just, can I just take one second, away. real real quick, before you get to the end of that? Can I just take one second? Because this is the first monster design I've had has me do. Isn't it just great? It's so is, good. Is that the coolest wow. thing I've ever has, seen. Cool. Has, has me had actually mentioned they haven't drawn monsters a whole lot. They were like, I can try. So for a for a, wow. I'm not confident in this. That's pretty heckin' good. That that's pretty stellar. So badass. Oh. Heck That's in. insane. I'm gonna assume from the drooling that Bogan wants haste. <laughs> <laughs> you need use your words. No, I'm kidding. I'll be <laughs> nice. Use your words, Spence. No. Uh. Okay. Hey. Oh, gee. What I would like to rage. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gains five barbarian levels. <laughs> yeah, just take that one barbarian. Just take that one extra barbarian level. You know how to do it. <laughs> uh, where is his? There it is. I have gift for you. Here you go. Yeah. And <laughs> thus is my turn. Make sure you take off your spell slot. Right. Yep. I did. All right. This is mine time. This is mine. Mine time. All right. Is that you? <laughs> uh, I just pat his shoulder, casting haste, and say, "It's time to beat the crystal beast puzzle." <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> As he starts to vibrate, that's my turn. <laughs> it's a pity you guys didn't have time to attune to any specific items you got. Are you, uh, yeah! I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Not then I'm you. going to move back here. Y'all are up, go get them. Oh, God. Lexi, turn it to stone. <laughs> get it, Lexi. And then we, and then we can kill Markwire. <laughs> It's probably not gonna work, but like, <laughs> fucking Jesus. It absolutely I mean, it's not it would be a shame to wait. Fine. That's the thing. It'd be a upsetting. shame if it wait. It's a shame if you waste a turn, especially Here, now. Here's the thing: there's nobody God around it. You can't get sneak attack. If you're yeah. ever gonna try it, now's yeah. the time. But that's the thing: is I need to get closer to it to do it. You, you, you can get like, you can get like right here. Get like right there. <laughs> Again, if you get like right there, maybe you can hit him too. <laughs> okay. You also have the ability to bonus action dash, so you could relocate after. That's true. It's got big ass tentacles, which it doesn't look like it's got. Can it's I not like you're gonna be in its range. <laughs> I mean, if you get yeah, if you get there, you're out of its range. Hopefully. <laughs> big hopefully. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna use my, my bracer. I'm, I'm wasting this turn, man. You trying to <laughs> See what happens. Them? You don't know what could happen. Can, you trying to can I them? reach Markwire? Is he within 30 feet? Yeah, shit. Sure. Okay. 30 yep. foot cone? Well, it has oh, to be. Here's the thing. High yep. standard. We have we no, we make no the fucking The 30 foot cone from that space would reach That's if it's going feet. to That's 40 feet. I know. I'm trying to move it. Okay. You would I, hit there, oh. so he's just he's just if too far away. If you get one step forward, you can. Uh, with the angle it's at, it's what, not one of like, the lit up squares. Like here, you mean? I was I was thinking like there or like there. Here. Or here. Oh, well, I mean, I was I was. No matter like what, right there. You, if you can can't even it? attempt it, would put you like in its in space. It, in I its need space to be in now. its fucking space. Well, no, no, you're you're like right next. to- Ah, oh, he's, he's still right just out, out of, of it. it. Yeah, that, that's what yeah. I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, maybe, maybe like here. If you went there, then yes, it would get him. Uh, Let me make no allotment. Two, three, there's no three, hit, there's no five, the enemy on my enemy is my six. friend crap. We killed them both. Say, can you like can you move that far? Go. Hold on. Six squares of movement. She was down diagonal. I was behind Vogan. Yeah. yeah. She I'm was 10, here. 15, 20, 25. I can get exactly there. If yeah, I go she diagonal, get there. one up. Oh, yep. Fucking, uh, yeah. he's like he. Both of our enemies, and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, we don't do any of that shit. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Here All right. Go. Here we go. What a mistake. <laughs> we. What a mistake this is, but let's do it anyway. I've been making mistakes all day. It's the theme of today. We here. You know. <laughs> Damn it! 
Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hey, you tried. We wouldn't yeah. have known if you didn't as you, try. As you put it up and you use it, uh, you call out Rock Lappy Silva, and as it fires, uh, you see the gemstones on... Uh, you see the gemstones on the large serpentine creature, uh, herefore referred to as Orbis. Uh, you see Orbis uh, glowing, the crystal segments seeming to almost put up a barrier that pushes back the effect. Markwire takes his greatsword, slams it down in front of him, and you see that as the uh, beam comes over him, it does a similar thing where light from his messite sword seems to protect him from it. Whale shite. <laughs> Whale shite. <laughs> But you, uh, I believe okay. it still does uh, half damage, does it not? Uh, or did it? Uh, yeah, I always does forget. It? I'm pretty. Sh I always. I also always forget. Uh, no. Never I don't mind. think it no, does. It's, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. It if doesn't. it misses, it just misses. It, yeah. It's if it succeeds a lot, then it succeeds. Okay. Yeah. So you use that as you do that. Oh. You just hear Merkwire. Do you want me as an enemy right now? I feel I'm like sorry, you don't. Just no, you were like in the range. I didn't mean to. It's an accident. Uh, we are. Perhaps Ooh. this world doesn't need your kind. <gasps> Bitch! Damn! Yeah, you, hey. you, you hear a sharp That's gasp. Racist. You hear a sharp gasp from up above you. <laughs> I never! <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> I'm going to kick his ass. You oh my god. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> There's another thing oh I kind of thought god. you might ask though, this thing's like, where? what is Scandal's deal, Andrew yeah. Dude, I was like, Scandal's deal? Why is she such a bitch? <laughs> Why is she, what made her this way? <laughs> Who hurt her? Yeah, what's her deal? But, uh, is that you, Lexi? Oh, I'm probably going to bonus action get the fuck away. Oh, Cause, you, shit. Well, you got to dash Is out? Gonna... Yeah, I'm going to dash out. You're going to take an yeah. opportunity Can attack from him? Fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Space. The problem was, yeah, oh my you could have disengaged, but the you would have needed more movement to do that. That's fair. Fuck. Sure call. Okay. It's, oh, my God. Shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Be fair, if more things go up to it, it'll have a lot more, like, things are attacking, for attacking other people. So, maybe you can, like, just not, yeah. or you could, it's up to you. You have full I mean, health now, yeah. so, like, you're Y'all are, y'all gonna time. get close to it, so whatever, yeah, I'll stay. No okay. Shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I'll stay. Alright. It's turn. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! So, you having attempted that, it looks towards you, it uncrosses those arms, uh, it... Uh, unfurls its four primary arms, and it is going to lunge towards you and attempt to multi-attack you. I thought it was I throw pick my shield me again. up and crush it like a coke can. Can I just take the feet, Captain America? Um, <laughs> can, can, can remember you have uncanny dodge. I know I'm uncanny dodge! It, I do! It, it lunges it's at you, though. attempting to bite you first. Uncanny dodge! It hits. You got uncanny dodge? I'm an uncanny dodge. Alright, do so. I'm doing it. All right, so that's on you. It strikes you. Uh, it bites into you, dealing 33 Ooh. reduced to 16 damage. Ooh. Oh. As, it, uh, as it does so, uh, it is then it is then going to it grabs you with its massive hands, which are themselves bigger than you are. Uh, it latches onto you, and it is going to attempt another attack on you to constrict you. Cutting words, a bolt of lightning like streak between the two briefly. All right, go ahead and roll it. Get him! Ah, fuck! It misses. Well. Oh yeah! It was actually Yay! just. It was just at her. Hey! <laughs> you knocked it down by the one you needed. It brings them down. You a bolt of lightning strikes, and it it doesn't flinch back, but it does grimace as if as the light blinds it briefly. You jump back from it and stop it from doing so. After this happens. <laughs> It is going to look over towards the source of that. It looks towards the Marion. Sky? The, huh? sky? <laughs> the sky? <laughs> it lets out a roar towards you once again. Various different uh, draconic voices filling the area. And it is going to start rushing that way. 
Uh, it, as it comes, as it comes towards you, you can. As it leaves your reaction. Oh no, you use your reaction. Fuck! I did use my reaction. Uh, as it comes towards you, it curls along this pillar and rises up. It left my uh, range. What? Yep. It just no, left I'm, my range. No, it did not leave your range. Oh. Well, I was moving I in that general area. I hadn't settled on where it was staying yet. It, oh, it, okay, did, okay. it didn't go down then over. It went. Well, over. I was just wondering because like this thing is like a bit like a thing. I didn't know if it was levitated or not. It would be going here. Uh, let's see. It would be there. Uh, it is still occupying your space as of right there. Okay. Uh, it is going to go there. It is going to curl around the pillar uh, and uh, regards you, Miriam, roars down towards you. For the sake of what it's doing, I'd say we'll count it as occupying that entire pillar space. So, yeah, um, if you wish to, mm, heckin' Quintus, go ahead. Hey, yeah, did he get my, my range or no? Do anything, I'd, say, I'd say no. Okay. Um... What, Quintus? I said, like, one attack's gonna do anything, but let's do it. Do it. That's it. Hey. 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 Damage is damage. damage. It's Mr. Freeman. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't have gotten. You strike it, you deal six damage to it, you do catch it as it winds and curls around this pillar. Uh, ah. It is occupying that space. It uh, will, will not be raised up because its body is heckin' on all the places there. I'm trying to oh get rid God. of it. The raise it like the, the amount like it was so uh, small. I know it was tiny. Could, you can't even really see it. In fact, yeah, I'm oh. gonna might have to eventually. I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna tell it to be bigger for this fight. And if we need to use it, we may have to replace tokens. Um, so one sec. Uh, height, font size. We'll go large. I'm gonna put him back down, and then if I do this, there. Now it's you can see it. See it somewhere. Cool. I'll say just for the sake of it, it is touching the ground. You can still. Mm, I'd say where it's curled up to at about ten feet. So to hit it properly, you have to reach up about. You have we'll go to five. be we'll go five. Five. Sorry that I'm being indecisive on this. I'm just trying to visualize where its body would oh, be yeah. while it's going up the pillar. Heck in, and that'll be its turn. Vogan, hasty Vogan. Fucking ah! <laughs> 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 flash step. <laughs> flash steps five feet. Wait, hold on. I, I flash step behind it. <laughs> you lunge up. Movement. As it's curling, you jump up and you run along part of its body. Get to the other side of it. Yeah. Go forth my creation. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's just like a stitch. Uh, as you do, it regards you, the main, the main part of its body, looping back around the pillar, coming at you as you're coming at it. Um, you hear it, uh, switches away from what was clearly draconic. You start hearing it speaking in a language that you've heard enough to recognize as primordial now. Seems to be oh, emanating from wow. it as it comes at you. Cool, I don't speak that, so... Hashtag uh, all <laughs> idolos speak primordial. That's ridiculous. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a bonus action to down a potion. I'm gonna down the, the potion of, which one is this? Potion of Hill Giant Strength. All right. Oh, wow. Which, which one does that raise you, you to? You are 21. Drugged out of your mind. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you <laughs> down fun. it, you like run along its body and like leap through the air at it as its coiling body, the main, uh, its head is coming at you. As it does, you pop the cork on a potion and down it as you lunge through the air at it. Your strength goes up by five points. Hell yeah. I can get him. Oh, plus nine to hit. Here we go. All right. And I'm a bang. That's a hit. Damn. I'm gonna scorpion mark him. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, is that a bonus action? It's. I believe it's just part of my attack. Uh, hold on. Let's... When I hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, I can okay. use this. Okay. Then you are good. Okay. I'm a. Did I? Okay. Perfect. And now I'm a beat him up. <laughs> Do it. Get him. I'm gonna beat him up with my Kill him. weapons. Oh, leave good something 21 damage! <laughs> wow! I am so proud of you. Oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the tech. haste addiction. At which, point, at which point you just see Markwire like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, darn. That one misses. <laughs> Third hasted attack. So you think there's still four attacks plus action surge up there's intimidator right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20 hits, I assume. Yes, oh, yeah, hits. yeah, yeah. Oh. You do 13 more damage to it. 
As you pierce into it, its body, the sound oh. that comes off of it, it feels like you're stabbing into stone, but when it scrapes along it, it feels like you're trying to pierce solid metal with nothing organic does, to really cut into. Do I seem to be, like, does it seem to be resisting damage? Yes, it is taking the damage. Oh, in full. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. And I action surge. I'm going to give him two more attacks. Gotcha. Eat him. That's a, that's a miss. That just misses. Okay. Cool. Oh, now we know. Uh, so we okay, yeah, never mind. Get this boy. Uh, oh my God. Second attack. I, That's yep, a hit. Just... Hell yeah. Take that. Nerd. That's 17 Hell more yeah. damage. Oh my Whew. God. You are trying <laughs> to get into this. Yo, yeah. That's a 57 damage turn. Is he bleeding? He's bleeding. Have, some some, th some, like, some of the stuff is not showing up. Me, but whatever. It's, yeah. yeah, I can't see it. I can Very see small. it. It mm -hmm. happens sometimes in larger tokens. It's whatever. It's bleeding. Yeah. Cool. And that'll <laughs> that'll be my turn. End of your Jesus. turn. Legendary action. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Come at <so>. me! <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I roll low. As you uh, as you do this, it's gonna take a legendary action to attack you with its claw. Come at me, nerd! It strikes at you. And it just misses you. Oh, it brings its claw thank you down. For the you, bring, you bring your shield up. It hits you with the claw, knocking you out of the air. You're slammed into the ground and just holding its uh, massive claw back with your shield. Oh. You, feel, you feel your legs almost crumple under you, but you use the strength from the potion to push back up. I'm at the top of my form, monster. Right. Quintus, what's up? I do. The, I go try to do a flash step, and then I just go. <laughs> I can't get all the way to you to help you, so I'm gonna stand in front of Kitty instead. That's fine. <laughs> I believe he's still within ten feet of me if I do that, right? Yes, your your range would be uh, up as well. Good. Up, 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 up. So let's go for some attacks. First attack. Stab. That's a hit. Yay! As you oh. hit it, uh, go ahead and roll your damage, anyways, uh, but it is going to do bad. something back to you. Nice damage. As it hits you, you see the uh, crystals on its body flash, electricity charges around it, and a blast of lightning strikes you as a reaction. Oh, okay. why me? <laughs> and you, you fail it. Uh, it strikes oh. you. You take... 21 Ooh. damage! Oh. You almost oh. took maximum as this thing blasts Ooh. you back. Well, I'm glad Damn. you didn't use that on Bogan. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it again. <laughs> Woo. Uh, yeah. That's a miss. Oh. I just oh. got struck by lightning, man. That's fair. <laughs> you know it can what? be a little Actually... disorienting. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> oh. You just get That's hit by lightning, you like, don't look at it, your arm just tries to poke towards it, you're steaming a little bit, and then just, <gasps> and then all the ash just puffs off of you as you do your second one. Uh. Ow! <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Alright. What's up, Rally? What the fuck did Murkwire roll? Yeah, what did Murkwire and Scandal roll? <laughs> I, Murkwire got, oh. That's weird. Did, did it not roll them? Three. It did not roll them. <laughs> I don't... One sec while I... Uh, it also didn't roll Lyra. Oh. oh. Who I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and I... get theirs done. Scandal is abstaining from combat currently, so I'm not gonna That's roll right. her. So I guess they're just not moving on round one. Bam. They were shocked. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna. Hit. I will. I will let you know. I will. I will let you know if you try to push it back. It is coiled around the pillar in such a way that it cannot be pushed. Shit. That's my one thing. <laughs> You're gonna push, push it push into me? What are you gonna do? Like, damn, yeah. Oh yeah, like... wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> Shit, damn, dude. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Vogan. He was crushed accidentally. <laughs> oh no, the guy that hates me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's see. I'm gonna. It's fine. I'm, I'm gonna. Like I'm gonna hex him again. Gotta hex him. Gotta hex him again. 
Stamp, X. stamp his strength. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like the thing to try. And... Bap! Oh. That is... That's a miss. As you fire it, one of its arms comes up, and it uh, stops the Eldritch Blast, catching it in its palm. Oh. Yeah, we know we need a 19 to hit, unfortunately, with yeah. this guy. All right, I'm going to use my inspiration. Oh. oh. For that Second. one or for the next one? For the next one. Gotcha. Yeah, I already rolled that one. That one's, that one's lost. Hit! That's a hit! Hey. That's a nice All roll. Right. God damn. Pepper! That's a good pepper. Goodness. That's a good pepper. Yeah. Pepper. Pachu, pachu. Oh. Chang. And that's you? Yeah. So get down here. I'm still trying to knock him off, even though I don't care, I don't know. It is, as you hit it, its body is shifting, but you see its uh, zircon claws are digging into the side of the pillar, stopping itself from moving. I can't wait to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, end of the round, heckin' Murkwire looks up towards the ceiling. Hey! It's the job of a witch like you to deal with monstrosities like this scandal! I'm considering exactly what I want to do, actually. I'm sure you can handle this. After all, she like floats down near him. You are at the top of the food chain, aren't you? And she <gasps> flies back up. Get it! <laughs> Damn. He ah! attacks her and kills her. Point <laughs> left! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I do it at it's hyper just, it's speed. It's like, yeah, really oh fast. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, Mariam, you're up. Actually, wait, before you go, before you go, uh, legendary action. You did a Spongebob laugh. Uh, it is going to use <laughs> its remaining legendary actions. It is going to lightning snap. So oh, this, is gonna, did. this is going <laughs> to suck for both of you. Yeah. It looks it's towards you. It's a deck save, not for you, Vogan. <laughs> Oh, it good. looks towards you guys. You see electrical energy building up between the horns in front of its head. It opens its mouth, and, and this blue light pours out of it as it catches the electricity in front of its horns. It turns into this cone of plasma that fires towards Quintus and Marion. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I knew this thing was going to fucking Kamehameha as soon as oh, I saw that no. goddamn... Oh, Wait, no, no, he's Iron Man. No. He's... <laughs> Point blank, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, you both no. take... You both take 14 damage. Uh, it's not a ton. Uh, as it blasts you with a lightning snap, uh, you maintain concentration. Uh, as it subsides, you catch yourself. You find your body is uh, freezing up slightly from the electricity coursing through it, but it doesn't give you any uh, any lasting damage that you need to worry about. Now it's your turn, Mariam. Step to the side. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages. Alrighty. Oh. Fancy. And uh, you're going to listen to the general words that it's saying. <laughs> uh, it seems to be relatively barbaric. Like, when it's speaking, it doesn't seem to be saying anything highly intelligible beyond that the primordial that it is chanting out is, You have invaded the tomb where its power beyond your comprehension is held. Leave at once, or it will be your grave. Rude. Guys, closer. <laughs> Prepare for the wrath of Orbis Maharaga, the Serpent of Storms! Ooh, cool. Fancy. Guys, it doesn't uh, like us. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Guys, it doesn't suck. What? Uh, <laughs> I've confirmed that it doesn't like us. <laughs> I'm getting the suspicion it doesn't want us here. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna check something else. Uh, boop. You're in range. I'll send a bardic inspiration Lexi's way. <laughs> <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> this reminds me really of really do it. Start just playing on a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Put that thing back where it came from, boy, so help me. Yes. <laughs> so kill it. I need it to die. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Fenris, you're up. <laughs> what uh, do, right? Do you what do? 
I'm gonna come over here. Do you what let do? Me, nice. Let me see. It's a touch spell, so let me rephrase. I come over here. You would have to get. Uh, it is five feet up. Yeah, it'd be within your own range because it's occupying that space. You got it. Uh, uh, I'm I'm not here for you. I'm here for oh. Mr. Hero Boy over here. I'm gonna about him, like, remember. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you're casting Cure Wounds, it's fine. Yeah, I was cool. going to say, if it's a Just concentration a spell, I'll no, be fucked. No, don't worry. <laughs> Vogan's um, soaring I... through the air and again, like, ah! she casts uh, some uh, other spell, and you're just like, ah, ragdoll through the air. And then, oh, that wasn't a particularly large amount. I will remind everyone, I happen to know my way around haste. Fenris, as you do this, um, as you do this, Fenris, uh, oh, your vision, as you cast it once again, everything splits. You hear the sound of a heartbeat and what sounds like a, like a church bell going off, giving one gong. Looking over in that direction, you find that the only thing in your vision that has not split this way is the warhammer that Murkwire is carrying, which retains its color in his hands, despite everything else being distorted. Your vision then goes back to normal. But the... The warhammer? He's carrying oh, right. uh, the great sword and, uh, and the warhammer that he... Uh, oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. He's not using both of them. He just has them. Okay. It's like, holy yeah, just ask fuck. Him if you can it. Hmm? <laughs> just ask him if you can borrow it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going <I'm> to <clears throat> store that information and then take t take a step away from Mary, uh, from the uh, Quintus and Miriam. Okay. And then I'll do my turn. You're up, Lexi. You. Oh, I'm just gonna pachoo pachoo. <laughs> just get damn. What up, boy? I'm gonna pachoo pachoo you. Hey, get a heck in here. Hooray! Nice. That hits! Uh, Vogan's close enough for me to snack yep, attack, right? Yep, can get sneak attack. Hooray! Give him that snack attack. <laughs> Give him that snack! Quite the snack. Yeah, right? Damn. Yeah. 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 A little bit of a snack. That's pretty over. Nice. I don't right. like how this damage, damage is sinking into it. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> Scary. Gonna be here a bit, y'all. I'm here a bit. <laughs> Scary. Sorry, yep, Stewie. Monster. Is that you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I can shoot it from here. There's no point moving even closer to it. Yeah, I'm just there. So, Murkwire yeah, is what going are you gonna to. Do? So, Murkwire is going to. Uh... He's going to put the warhammer. He's going to fasten it to his back, and as he does, he is going to move forward up until let's see how far can you get. One, two. I'm going to lock everyone's tokens, by the way. One, two, cool. three, no. four. He starts no. moving towards it, dragging the great sword along the ground. He looks over towards you, Lexi, as you fire a bolt. He reaches into his coat, pulls out what looks like a small ball. He turns quickly and hurls it towards you. It's gonna ah. roll an attack oh. roll against you. <gasps> oh shit! I fucked up, yo! Yeah. Bitch. That hits! <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's these oh, things! No! It throws it at you. As it flies at you, see this thing unfold into various iron bands that strike you. They curl around you and bind no! you in place. I wanted to get one of those and use it on you, you bitch! <laughs> no! You, you are lo locked in place as these iron bands wrap around your body and bind in as tightly as they can. You are restrained. Hey, hey what are you doing? You leave her alone. Tit for tat. <laughs> if you wish oh to God. strike against me, I will do the same. It was an accident! So was that. <laughs> And he is going to. Uh, that will be his action to do that. Uh, this is all your be. fault, Deco, you fucking <laughs> 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 uh, But imagine yeah. if it worked, though. <laughs> Y'all right? Like, damn, yeah, it would have been great. That sucks. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> he That's is going really to. That's really bad uh, for you, actually. <laughs> I'm probably going to die. Uh, like, it's happening. No. That's going to be him, really. Uh, he's gonna get close enough that he takes the great sword. He takes it in both of his hands. Now, I will help to dispose of this. He's going to continue doing stuff on his next turn. As of this, 
Uh, Orbis, I'm going to consider Orbis to be lengthwise wrapped around the entire pillar, so I'm going to say that uh, Murkwire is... Actually, Murkwire just straight up is in his range. Uh, he's going to go ahead and attack, and he is going to take three attacks. Uh, oh, Orbis, Orbis begins damn. moving around the pillar, coiling, moving along it like a giant centipede. As it begins to move around, it takes one strike at Vogan as it goes by. And misses as Vogan manages to get away. It takes a strike at Murkwire. And that one hits. Murkwire takes 16 reduced to 13 damage as it strikes him. And then the other one is going to go for Fenris. Oh. And that is a hit. Oh. Fenris? Ah. Yeah, I have. Ah. Yeah. Fenris? You have. Damn it! In Fenris, you take 18 damage. Uh, you maintain concentration. Okay. Thank God. As it as it coils <laughs> and moves, it is going to move up the pillar. It is now fifteen feet up. I can won't. I get an attack of opportunity? On it? Yes, if you wish to, you can opportunity attack it. Merquire's going to do the I same. Get an opportunity attack? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, yay! Can I? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> yay! Get him, boys! <laughs> Damn. I'll <laughs> never see it coming. <laughs> and also, Merc Wire's attacking too. <laughs> oh my god, we do have enough for an all out attack. <laughs> Hell that, yeah! That's, that's a hit, oh. Vogan. Go ahead. Merc Wire also hits. And uh, did I hit with a 19? What, uh, yes, 19 just hits. Alright, I'm gonna roll damage. No. Nice. <laughs> Strikes it. You all hit it. It continues coiling up, and it gets 15 feet up. There's something wrong with my head. Uh... And uh, I do the very small as again. it is coiling up and moving up the pillar, you see the large gemstone, the zircon uh, chunks in its body are slowly glowing brighter and brighter. Vogan. Oh boy. Well. Uh, yeah. No other choice but to do this. I'm a wind chain. And then fucking, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> <laughs> you can just stay right there, actually. And that hits. I assume that hits, yeah. <laughs> get him. All right. That's a 12. That's Second a damage. Attack. That hits. Damn. Look at you go. I'm rolling oh, so well. You are so You are carving today. this thing up. Damn. Vogan on oh. haste with ogre strength. Yeah, mm. with the not a fan. Eight, eight. Oh my god, I can't, man. <laughs> like, and you sicken me. <laughs> I'm gonna put that point of inspiration I got into this uh, next attack. Gotcha. <laughs> this is the last one here, and then. Oh, oh, what a good decision I, I made! <laughs> uh, you would have actually, you would have gotten that anyways, but whatever. <laughs> Wait, what? You dropped the second one. You would have oh, gotten well, that whatever. The first one. It doesn't matter. Still. <laughs> you got a critical, do it. Oh! <laughs> you strike it. You notice around this point, uh, as you carve into it, the, ele the Zircon chunks are glowing bright enough now that there is an aura of electricity around it that actually seems to be not absorbing all the damage it's taking, but anything that hits it, the electricity almost like is catching it and pushing it physically off course slightly. It is now resisting Sick. damage. Okay. I hope that still did a bunch of damage. Though. It, did, it still did. You still carved okay. into it. Cool. Do I you actually detect else? the energy that is swirling around it is strong enough now that it's actually causing a bit of a uh, uh, wind current in the area. Okay. The thunderstorm above is spiraling. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and that's my turn. Unless I want to... Nah, I don't want to do that yet. So it is going to go ahead, oh, no. and it is going to use uh, its two of its legendary actions to use Lightning Snap on Vogan. What? Why? As <laughs> this happens, it leans down, electricity charges between its horns, and it lets out a blast of energy towards you, which yeah! you succeed. So you take half. It strikes you. You take 13 damage, reduced to 6. Nice. And you maintain concentration. Nice. As this happens, heckin' Lyra's turn. I'm gonna roll 1d100. I wonder what Lyra's gonna do. <laughs> Help! She doesn't give a fuck about this thing. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help. I vote help Lexi as well. If you can give me some kind of advantage, we're that's friends. A, that's the big, that's the that'd big be thing. real, like, real nice. 
I don't think anybody uh, can help you, but uh, I've given her the body inspiration. It's the most I can immediately do. Yeah. <laughs> and you only get one chance to Dude, break out of those. Yeah, DC one shot for 20. twenty-four hours. Strength. One shot I have zero hours. strength. I need an at twenty. Yeah. I have no inspiration. I'm so fucked. <laughs> oh, I uh, wish I could give you one of mine. She Maybe is go. Let's see. She will. I can do that. Uh, she is going to rush up this way, and she is going to oh. aim her gun towards Merkwire. Oh! It's not that I'm unconcerned with them, but I have enough faith in them. They survived you just like I did. So she fires towards him. Oh! That's an at 19. Good job, Lyra. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bam, 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 get a girl. He, he, he brings his sword up to try to block it, but it strikes through part of his armor. A little bit of blood pours out from just below where it was as the armor's dented in. Frankly, I trust them to handle that, so I'll deal with the lesser nuisance. Lexi, get out, would you? She's going to give you a bardic inspiration. <gasps> oh, can, you? can I have multiples of those? I was gonna say, no. can you get one from? Uh, I, I think mine's higher. It Maryam is, as well. yeah. So mine would overwrite. You got a D8 and hers is a D6. Yeah. Oh, okay. But... No. You can't be inspired by two people. <laughs> I know. You can't. She doesn't immediately know what the plan's gonna be there, so that is what she's gonna do. Uh, she's also going to uh, expend one of her bardic inspiration on psychic blades when she attacks, mm -hmm. to deal a little bit of extra damage to Murkwire. So I'm Hell gonna yeah. roll that. An extra seven. Ooh, yes. I'll be ready. Right well, Labard. Ooh! The sound great. of your voice is as grating as it ever was. <gasps> you take that back, you mean. Well, now I have to kill you on principle. <laughs> and that legendary action from Orbis. Oh no. Heckin. He is Does going to. Does the fire look tasty? Uh, he's not going to use it to attack. He's going to use it to move. He oh. continues climbing. Crap. Oh, crap. He's now coiled 30 feet up. Well, that makes this easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I would like to. I would like to use uh, aid on uh, on Lexi to help her with her next oh. her, her next roll. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, aid has been used. Thank you, um, Dee. That is, and that is me. We're back on speaking terms. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to remove the D6 off of her since it wouldn't be able to apply? Uh, if you plan to use that, whenever I gave her that. a D8, so mm -hmm. like she couldn't. Oh, did you give? Oh, you gave that to her already. She had that from. Oh, the geez. Time. Okay. If that had been the case, then Lyra would not have done that. That slipped my mind. So I'm just going to treat that as if that hadn't happened then. Okay. So, yeah, you've got the D8. My bad. I okay, had cool. forgotten you gave it to her. Okay. So, seeing as how blasting it with my Eldritch Blast isn't making it come down, let's try something a bit more hefty. I'm going to try and shatter the colonies on. That works. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Take that. Ah. The column Take roll damage. Well, I'll tell you how much happens based on the damage. Eight, oh. eight, 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 eight. <laughs> you strike oh, it. Good. Good, um, as you hit it, it okay. seems the lightning seems to protect it. It also just doesn't seem to be terribly affected by this in particular. Um, whenever you hit it, though. Rare things. I am going rare things. Uh, is, it, is it reducing the force damage, or is that force damage? That's thunder uh, damage. No, shatters thunder. thunder. Damage. Yeah, 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 I'm done. It is going to roll an acrobatics check or an athletics check to see if it can hold on with bits of it crumbling. It. Heckin. Boopa doo boo. Oh, because it's a strength thing. It still succeeds. Yeah, it is. Damn it! Oh. Hey. It's got oh, pretty high. Just come down here. Oh, okay. It's got pretty high <laughs> athletics. It uh, begins to crumble. It slides down about ten feet, but it manages to grip into it <laughs> since its body's wrapped fully around the pillar. Roll me one d one hundred. Roll me one d one hundred, Raleigh. 
Alright. Uh-oh. Uh, right, so let's do 100. There we go. You do, however, yeah. see the chain that is connected from that pillar to the crystal in the center snaps. Oh. As that happens, oh. as it snaps, and you see the crystal buckle slightly to the side, letting out this large metallic groaning sound as it moves, Orbis seems to stop. Its body, like, lurches out from the pillar slightly, looks towards it, and then its gaze turns directly to you. Run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Oh, didn't like that, did you? 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 Interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going to, to stop. <laughs> is that probably is that, with too much confidence? <laughs> is, that, is that you? Yeah, it's gonna get you. I like, I like lock eyes with it and then slowly point my cane at another chain without looking away from it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you see electrical energy begin building up around it. It is pra it is glowing so brightly at this point that looking at it is almost painful. Break the chains, guys! <laughs> is that you? Uh, yes, yeah, me. Scandal's abstaining. Mariam. Uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go back to where I was before. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. Was it something cool? Absolutely. All right. A lightning bolt shoots at Merkwire. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fuck this bitch! <laughs> oh, <Ooh. capital. laughs> he succeeds, but he's gonna take some damage. Still half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he still Ooh, takes twenty-one nice. damage from it. <laughs> oh, You're right. Yeah, that was he cool. still took twenty-one. He should have took half of that. Oh yeah, he takes the ten. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh cool. <laughs> Give me back my gem. <laughs> and my key and my box on the thing inside. And his things too. Yeah. Give us our stuff. And her thing. Points to Lyra. Fucking Give Lexi. Give me your life. Lexi, a giant ball, a just hand sticking to the side, rolling. Give us back our stuff. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... What's up, Fenris? Uh, I don't want to leave Vogan alone fighting this thing. No, no, I can take it. <laughs> I mean, I kind of believe him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I believe you full heartedly. If you say so, I'll buy it. <laughs> I can. Bye, Spencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> Bye. We're working together, which means this will go well. Mm -hmm. no. yeah, this is where one of you dies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lyra's like, I believe in all of them to do this. We all leave it to provoke it. <laughs> you guys got this. It's fine. Do you have nothing else but sacred flame? I mean, to be fair, getting out of range of this thing hitting you is a good idea, so you don't drop down Yeah, like guiding bolt? Yes. You need uh, to get away. I, I didn't take guiding bolt today. Uh -huh. Yeah. You might be stuck with just that. <laughs> need to get as far away from that thing as possible. Are you yeah, moving right there? Uh, I'm gonna move a little further because I have the flexibility to. This isn't gonna do a lot of damage to him, but the flexibility. I need to keep haste for now so that the boy doesn't spend a turn exhausted. I'll, I'll cast Sacred Flame. It's, you know, not gonna right. be a lot, but. Ah! <laughs> Shit! I told you the gods don't like your plan. I love that. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I love the idea she points towards the thing and then just switches it to him. <laughs> Fine. Then it is how it is. <laughs> oh boy. It seems so. <laughs> that, uh. Just remember. That... Yeah, I didn't that, hit that, that's... Yes. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> yell at him a little and bit. And so though. you will be spared. Fucking cuts to you being thrown Please. off the edge. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> that you, Fenris? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, yeah, sweet. And, it's, and a bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay, here I, I go. Carry this Roll. So this up. is a uh, this is a strength check. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm aware. <clears throat> so what? roll one d eight. Right. Well, can't she do that after? Oh, yeah, you can choose to do it after. Yeah, I can do it after. Okay, So, advantage, strength check. Mm -hmm. You need to get a 20 or higher. I know, I can't. I have a zero in strength. I'm I'm just talking, I'm just talking end result. I'm not talking. You can do it, Technically, you can. You just have a very low chance. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, my God! You struggle against it, Quintus, trying to pry open the bands. Uh, as you do this, you hear, feel them crack. You wedge your blade between a couple of them and cut it. As you do, they all explode off of you. The iron bands falling into shards. Oh. Thanks, Quinn. I think you did most of that. <laughs> That's not. That was no. <laughs> and uh, that it's, is your action. my action. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck. Okay. Maybe yeah. get away from him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna move. He pulls out a sack of the Iron Man's bar. <laughs> you could pull bold of you to a Bold of you to assume he doesn't have more. Oh, heck. You could, you could bonus action hide behind a pillar if you want. Oh, I you could. You could hide behind me. Wait, oh. Oh, no. At least hide from like hiding behind people. Something only halflings can normally do. Yeah, I'm wondering. If I know. Yeah, unless there's like a massive crowd and in a tight space, then there's that's no real that reason matter. not to. Yeah, you need to either be a halfling or, in some circumstances, an elf. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, I'm gonna go I'll hide around or around, or around this way. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. just gonna do. I'm a I'm a try to go heal. You can go so. there. Put I'm yourself on the correct space, you I'm fool. sorry! There. <laughs> hey, Fenris. I got a square. I meant to tell you on your last turn oh, at this yeah. point, your vision splits again, but only briefly. As you look around, uh, apart from seeing that the Warhammer on Murkwire's back is the only thing retaining color, you notice that when it's like this, you see this translucent white mist, this powdery mist, seems to be, only when you're doing this, flowing up from the area <laughs> below you guys. But then as soon as your vision returns to normal, it seems to return to being invisible. Hmm, okay. So Merkwire. <laughs> he is going to look up towards what's going on up there and turn towards the lot of you. Bring it on. And, uh... Hello! Hello! He's not a vampire! <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> he could be a vampire dragonborn. <laughs> He's going to rush over here. Technically, no. I don't this world is controlled by the strong, and I stand on top. He reels back. You see fire coming out of his mouth. That's fair. <laughs> no! Oh yeah. no! We're in a cone position. Oh no! No! no. Oh You're... no! <laughs> we're in oh. cone formation. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! More of my clothing will get burnt. Oh, that's another 19! Jesus, Jesus red? Red? Holy shit! He blasts you three with flames that erupt out this... Rather Ow. than burning you like normal fire, um, it's it's more like the ash and smoke that gets into your lungs that starts to burn at you. The ultimate damage is the same, but uh, it's a lot more volcanic ash than it is oh, flame. By the way, Logan? Yeah. Uh, she said she was hiding uh, behind the yeah, pillar. But I didn't, never, like, roll. Never for it. I didn't roll for it, yeah. Uh, I would say if you got behind there, they wouldn't have line of sight on you. You can just be hidden. Okay. Sweet! Also, I'm going to be right back. Okay. So, he does that. <sighs> he action surges. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, As he does this, like... Quintus, you, one of your eyes slowly opens. You see him rushing towards you with the sword in hand. He's going to bring it down on you. Don't look away. Uh, words. Uh, go ahead and roll it. Always keep your eyes upon the person you're fighting. Never look away from your goal, knight! Hey, Merc, why? <laughs> he looks away from his goal. <laughs> <laughs> He misses that attack. <laughs> no! Woo! <laughs> you looked away. <laughs> Glitter. 
<laughs> He's then gonna go for another attack. He yeah, brings he the blade up at you. That one's a hit. And he yeah. is going to use trip attack. Oh, oh, he's, he's, one one my, he's one of my favorite fighters. Oh, he sweeps the blade with... up, catching your foot with it. We need you to roll. You oh, rolled no. low. He knocks your feet out from under you and br <gasps> uh, brings the blade down on you. So then he's just going to be. You are prone now, and he's going to add this to the damage. Ooh, this is gonna it hurt. Com comes down on you. You take eighteen as he slams it down into you. You fall unconscious. He looks up towards those of you that are uh, remaining over there. <sighs> Which I of you? Get fucking killed by this motherfucker, you asshole! <laughs> he looks over to. He regards Vogue, and he seems to very quickly take inventory of everything that's around him. And then he looks up towards Orbis. They're yours. And he is going to move towards Lexi. <gasps> oh, bitch! No. No. So you are you hidden. Bet I know. I'd I'd like you now to roll me a stealth check because he is going to rush over and try to try to find you. Carrie, she's the she she be ah darn. Uh, pause button. So how's everyone else? You probably wondering how I got in the situation. I'm... Like he pressed up against the back of the toilet. I'm st I'm still <laughs> I'm still fangirling over this fucking monster design. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so cool, man. Oh. It's Gynax posing at us. Of course it's cool. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> so I, I wonder now, have I been unconscious more as Quintus or as a leaf? Quintus. Quintus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quintus, definitely. You've been dead more as a leaf, but yeah. <laughs> She's going to come back. She's going to come back the moment I'm gone, but I'll be right back as well. Yep, that's Son so of awesome. Why is Quintus down? <laughs> God! That, wow, that's really like... <laughs> <laughs> Terry, well, you see, you came roll up and re no, Terry. no, let it, let it wait well, until see, he comes Carrie, back. Carrie, wait until he comes of, back. A lot of things it. happen, Carrie, because uh -huh. you see, I got struck by lightning uh, before, as you saw, <laughs> um, and then I got I got fire breath breast on, um, and then I got then I got sorted at. So yeah, I, I think Fine. that's about you know. Okay. Did you get All hit right. by the messite sword? Uh, yes. All right. Cool. Jesus. I know, I'm don't worry. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's coming after me! God damn it! <laughs> oh, no! she's oh, she's back. <laughs> she came back right as Literally you left. Literally the second you left. Yeah. Oh, you wow. stopped talking and she started. <laughs> was, I had my headset was, off partway through the end of what I was saying, so I didn't hear. It was a cinematic <laughs> masterpiece in <laughs> ears. Like, in my ears. Oh, Beautiful. goodness. Okay, well, uh, Lexi, I need you to roll a stealth check now because he is coming to try to find you. Okay. You better go hide. Ooh. Am I allowed to use my bardic inspiration on these? If you, I can yeah, you can add it to checks. So roll it, and okay, then if you want to add it, you can. Okay. okay. I mean, my stealth's pretty good, but just in case. Okay. Yeah. Roll your stealth first, yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> So he is going to come over there, and he looks for you, Lexi. Uh, this place is somewhat dimly lit, and you're currently in the shadow of this thing. As he comes around, you are pressed down and against the pillar. You hear the clang of Quintus being knocked unconscious. You hear Murkwire uh, regarding something, which the others know is Orbis, saying, They're yours. And he walks over to there, and you see his large form moving. His glowing eyes moving in the dim light, searching for you. But he does not find you immediately. He seems to think that you might have gone over that way. Okay. That's good. Come out, Fox. I know your kind is inherently cowardice. Cowardice. <gasps> but you can face your end like a gladiator. He presses his hand against the pillar unknowingly just above your head and moves past you. Oh, oh. Ooh, I'm so teeny. Thank God. <laughs> Hello. So, this is, this is the turn everybody gets mad at me. Um, <laughs> it's energy glowing up. Um, you, Mariam, you start to hear with Comprehend Language is still going, you start to hear it, it begin chanting to itself. Uh, and you see energy building up around it and you, you hear it vaguely going, I, I dole and grant me power. Give me my cosmic shard. I need... The lightning cage! And it, it reels back. Oh. You see it, several motes of lightning moving around it, 
drift in front of it. For a brief second, they act like they're different points in what almost looks like a magic circle that flashes and appears in a lightning, and then they snap together, and they blast forward. It jumps from the pillar and lands uh, near all of you guys, weaving Awful. into you. <laughs> As it does, electricity courses around it, taking almost the shape of a large sphere with bars of lightning surrounding you. And everybody that is in... Where are you? Everybody that is in... Oh, no. Oh, shit. This is going to be real bad. That oh! space. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, it's just missing Queen. Thank God. <laughs> oh, good. It's our squishies. Oh. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Go on squish. Everybody That's that is there, you are going to have to make a heckin' you might deck be a save. To lose can I use inspiration? Morgan. You can. If you want to use inspiration, hit advantage. Oh, burn the oh. Yep, go yes, ahead. Yes, great. Fuck. I have to heal Quinn. I'm not taking this. Chance. Oh. Oh. I didn't need to here's, here's where everybody yells at me. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Yep, there it is. I'm down. I'm definitely. <laughs> oh down. my god! Yeah. Are you that. kidding me? <laughs> it blasts everyone. The energy erupts outwards. Uh, as it subsides, it seems oh, no. like it, it has trouble moving. <laughs> and yeah, Vogan, you are <laughs> going to take a. You're gonna take a turn. Yo! Uh, I lose my Lyra turn. is reduced to uh, lay uh, her knee, like, cr uh, crumpled over, breathing heavily, being the only one that made it out of that. Orbis's body raises up like a snake, its hands and uh, its fingers moving rhythmically and looks towards her. It then, its head then snaps up toward the direction of Murkwire and Lexi, and it is gonna oh, fuck. begin moving that way. How much damage was that? That was 43 damage. It did basically exactly average for how much it could have done. Another thing that can insta kill me. Let's fucking go. <laughs> You've been dead like three times today, Deacon. Uh, instant death. Instant death. Oh, uh, God. So, Vogan. I lose my turn. Yeah. <laughs> You I'm sorry. Breathe, you sorry. breathe I mean, deeply. You, Spence, here we go. <laughs> Spencer, Every time. I'm sorry. All right, Lyra. See how he is. I assume you do. Please heal him. Get your she... fucking Fenris and Miriam up. Come on. Lyra coughs up some blood and stands, ravaged by the attack, holding one of her arms, which isn't moving properly. A lot of you, I didn't hire you to sleep on the job. Fenris, she's gonna use, uh, she's going to cast Cure Wounds at third level on Fenris. <gasps> oh, Ooh, thank damn. you, sweetie. Since you are the other healer, I mean Miriam yeah. is too, but you're the other big healer. I'm yeah, no, I get it. Twenty years healer. <laughs> <laughs> and heal. Where are you, Be Fenris? Be fair, Vogan's the big. Healer. I'm dead. It's true. I always get the most heals at the end. <laughs> so we dumb. don't talk about Doctor Vogan. <laughs> <laughs> you regain um oh that should have added in regain another nine fenris so you uh, should have 21 wounds okay <clears throat> okay okay as this okay. is happening orbis's that. long serpentine body is moving alongside of the lot of you it doesn't seem to be paying attention even after you've been uh healed to that point there's a rumbling under your feet. You feel the ground vibrating as this thing's many legs are plodding and uh, moving forward. After that, heckin, that's uh, hmm? yeah, she can do that. She will have used a. She's going to use quicken spell. She's going to use a sorcerer feature to have done that in a uh, bonus action so that she can still use a cantrip. Hell yeah. And nice. that, can that cantrip that she's going to use is going to be Vicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> You're being awful rude. We actually came to try to get rid of him for you. And she's going to hit it. And is it going to care? I doubt it. It does not. It doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> At least you <laughs> Yeah, you in 
in primordial, it just spits <laughs> out insulin <laughs> pest. And I mean, uh, who heard that? that? Miriam's down. Me, I'm conscious. <laughs> oh no, that that's just for us. Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> um, and <laughs> heckin', she's uh, that's her bonus action. That's her action. Uh, and then she dies. Actually, that so, is what that reminds <laughs> me. Quintus. What? He reminds me of the, like, Duke boss before the Dark and Fire Link. And yeah, Dark yeah. Oh. Just a little bit. <clears throat> so that is a success. And then Raleigh, please roll me a death save. Oh, Raleigh. That is a Hooray! success. Number Same number. Twin save. Twin save. Twin save. Twin save. Booba dooba dooba. I finish me off a lot. <laughs> finish me off the <laughs> Boom! <Fucking. laughs> Fireball. <laughs> All right, finish me off, and then kill me. And then kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, Miriam, <laughs> Miriam, you come oh, to consciousness as oh. you guys see Scandal come down and standing with one foot in front of the other on her broom, she comes down, seems to flip down, jumps off of it briefly, and she puts her hand just above Mariam, and she's gonna cast Heal on you. Oh, fuck! Oh! oh. <laughs> Jeez! Oh. Well... Well, damn! That's a, that's a bit of a pick-me-up. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that yeah, throws me to max, I'm pretty sure, if I recall Heal. Where are I you, go. Heal? There you are. Yep, you are healed. You instantly feel all of your strength come back. I knew you liked me. <laughs> I'm starting to like you a little bit more than I like him. Oh. Sucks. You can hear Fenris' eyes rolling. She... <laughs> oh. As she does it, she sits back on the broom, floats over, and seems to fall down into the space underneath. <laughs> I'll catch you later. <laughs> Heckin, that is, and now it's your turn. Uh, still lying on the ground. I just ro <laughs> like roll over to the side. Probably get up. Probably. Probably. Podcast. Uh, I'll just cast the healing word. Why you don't have heal? Jeez. <laughs> Off your Better. game, Miriam, you fuck. <laughs> 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 uh, well, there, there you are. Nice. <coughs> uh, I don't want to get up. Uh, oh. The sound either. is so nice and cold. <laughs> I stand up. No, fuck the cold. Um, I'm going to use the... Uh, what's that? Fun. And... 15, I'll get there. Alright. And that's my bonus action. I can't really do anything with my action because I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, Lightning? Ooh. No, it's just, uh, it's dispelled. Oh, I shit. fell unconscious. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, oh shit. yeah, makes yeah, sense. You're right. That said, you do notice that though you've lost control of the magic, mm -hmm. uh, there are still lightning <laughs> cracks coming from the top of the room. He's like, no, I can Orbis's that. presence That's... seems to be charging the environment with electricity. It's electrifying. Hell yeah. Yeah, also, I can use that on Merkwire. <laughs> not, not Orbis. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will. Um. Yeah, I'll vicious mockery, Orbis. <laughs> you know, you're being rather rude. We're actually here to get rid of him for you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, gosh, he doesn't care. No, it just doesn't care. It absolutely just doesn't care. It seems like it doesn't care. <laughs> Thank I'm you, so to think it doesn't care. I don't know. Oh, Raleigh. Is that you, Marion? Yep. All right, Fenris. Note that you have to stand. Yeah, I will. I will stand up. Quintus. <laughs> so is Quintus under Orbis right now? Uh, he, yes, it is moving. It is large enough though that it's basically walking above him. Uh, he wouldn't be able to stand there, but 
it's there's a good three or four feet of clearance between him and it. Okay. Uh, you uh, couldn't enter that space, though. For the purposes okay. of you being an active standing participant, uh, that is its space. Am but I she throws able herself to... prone. <laughs> what it, can I touch, Quintus? If you throw yourself prone and climb under it, sure. Fine. I will yeah. do this for you, Deco. I think these Yay. two sizes bigger, so you can move through it. It's just difficult yeah. terrain. And you well, can't the, the issue here is stopping, yeah. 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 And I will cast a second level Cure Wounds. Gotcha. Hit him. Hit that boy. Make sure you do it on the combat tracker. Well, I want him to wake up. I don't want to hit him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Why not both? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. no those dogs? Oh, Damn, double sevens! Heal. Double sevens, that's a lucky thing! That's a magic thing! thing. The gods thing. That's, that's, that, is that, is almost, that is almost a lucky thing. Yeah. yeah. Sevens are... <laughs> It's seven, seven, seven would be mm -hmm. a jackpot. Yeah. The gods smile upon us, she says, as a claw clamps down on her head. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Things oh, always man. over me. <laughs> Just patting the side of his face, like, "Hello, wake up." Uh, we can't do this without you. Not that I care, but just wake up. Is that you? Yeah. Legendary <laughs> action on Orbis's part. He's going to go oh, for God. a, he's going to uh, go for a <laughs> claw attack on you as it yeah. moves by. Disadvantage. <laughs> oh. Uh, disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, heckin, all right, heckin, Closing a shoot. Time. Uh, it still hits. Damn it. <laughs> One of the claws comes down, grabs you, Fenris, crushes you from behind. You just feel its claws Ooh. digging into you, and it tosses you back from it. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> God Classic. damn it. Face drops uh, again, and Bogan loses another time. I'm kidding. Lyra <laughs> <laughs> oh, sees you fly back and hit the ground, and she's like, All right, I got it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Lyra. Is that you? Yeah. All right, that's a legendary action. Of course, it's fucking, it's not you, it's him. What else Lexi, can I do? You're up, Lex Lexi, for the sake okay. of it, we're going to say you're right there. Right, okay, I'm right you. there. Yeah. So he can't <laughs> see me. I am hidden. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. So I get, get him. advantage when I get him. <laughs> okay. I'm a. I'm hacking get him with my sword, and I'm a boom and blade that boy yeah. if I can. You boom that boy. I'm a boom that oh, boy. Boom Not gonna get it. Not gonna get a snack attack or anything, but I'm gonna try to get him. If you have damage, yeah. you hit him. You will. You also did mark advantage. I hit advantage. I hit the button. Uh, had advantage and dis for oh. some reason. Um, Why? Oh, you're, you're still you, bounded. She's still marked as yeah. being in the back. Oh, of the that's bullshit. Oh. That's All right. bullshit. Uh, so you, yeah, just roll another normal one. Lord. That'll be your advantage. Uh, also, heckin. Oh, jeez. That's fair. I did not target him. Either. You hit. Boo okay. over. But you I'm just rolling. Right, if you want to roll another one to see if you get a crit, then you can. Okay, do I do I need to target him? One would think. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm double checking. You need to do it. To I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to like fucking. Yeah, whatever. You okay. should also get rid of her bardic inspiration. Better. Didn't crit. This is better. She didn't use well, it. She didn't use it. But you hit. Oh, right. I didn't no, use no, it. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Fucking yeah, don't I didn't just say it, yeah. things. I'm easily confused. <laughs> yeah. Put it back on. Her. I still Thank you. have it. All right. So you I you hit him. All right. Cool. I know. All right. We're good. We're moving on. You fucking, you hit him. Sneak you attack. got sneak attack. Okay. Do your stuff. Hell yeah. Wait. And boom and blade. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Sneak boom. Sneak boom. Sneak boom. Oh! You jump forward and cut into him, uh, striking him for 22 damage um, and putting booming blade on him. You wedge the blade in between two different plates of his armor. His head reels back, just... Ah! Ah! Looks down towards you. That's one way to find you. I'm gonna smile at him, disengage, and run away. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Get the fuck out of here. You pull the blade out. He grimaces as you do, and as you, mo uh, you use that brief moment to flee from him. Is that you? Um, further than 10 feet. Yeah, yeah no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't, ooh, I don't know where to go. Maybe go like that way? Or... Yeah. Can I get that far? Yeah, you can get there. Yeah, I can get to here. Okay, cool. There you go. 
Right, I know. Go. Fenris! <laughs> Fenris! <laughs> he is going. Uh, so that's you? Fucking die. That is me. His turn. Heck move, in. You son of a bitch. Move. <laughs> Orbis is going to take their remaining two legendary actions. Uh oh. Oh no, that's oh, bad. That's bad. Shit, I moved into the clump. Mm. Damn it. Yeah. No, it's going to go after the person. It turns and it's going to breathe its cone of plasma and it's going to aim it at Mario. No. Oh. No. Well, that's not good. That's no good um, indeed. I'm going to uh, burn another one of my inspiration for advantage. Cool. And tell uh, you have it clicked. Uh, good to go. All right. And where are you? Heckin' shoop de whoop. <clears throat> Sorry. You get blasted, you take 17 points of lightning damage as the as it erupts. Lyra staggers back <clears throat> from it as it uh, it blasts by her. Heckin' and then Murkwire's turn. Is that what I'm gonna do to people? That fucking One, sucks. Two, three, four. <laughs> he comes out, you see, as he's rushing out, he takes out a potion and downs it. He's but he moved, so I'm gonna bap him. He is? Go ahead. Boom boom. Get a boom boom. <clears throat> That was pretty, pretty okay. Boom boom. It's pretty, pretty okay. okay. Nice, nice. Depending on what happens, cool. it might mitigate the potion. He downs a potion as he rushes towards you. Uh, and he downs it, tosses it to the side, it shatters against the pillar. He still has two more. He's gonna get between oh. a lot of you. He stomps into the ground, his heavy foot Hi. causing uh, a loud <laughs> as he hits the ground, brings the blade up. He what, is what? going to br uh, heckin... What is he Starting to feel like you might have some sort of problem with me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I consider you to be a very large threat. And he is going to strike you. Go on, Candy Dodge. All right, go right. ahead. Apply it. Yep. <laughs> uh, he's also going to make this a trip attack. So I need you to roll strength to a save. You succeed. Nice. You're not tripped. <laughs> but he is going to add on to the damage. So, goes for it, strikes. You take six Ooh. damage overall. Okay. As he brings it down and you tries to trip you, you jump and hop. Uh, you land on the sword and you flip back <laughs> off of it as he brings it up to try to um, to knock you prone. And <laughs> then, he is going to go for his second attack. Fuck! <laughs> yeah! Uh, we go. One, bye, y'all! I mean, I'm gonna check something really quick to make sure that I'm heckin' doing it right. He's gonna fucking eat me. Yes. No. <laughs> he, brings, he brings the blade up. He's going to swing it down at you again. I'm going to shout out in his direction. Be like, over here again, nerd. And I'm going to use my last thing words. Oh. Oh. This one still oh. hits despite it. Oh, oh no. Shit. And he is going to use menacing attack. So as this hits what? you, he, he's going to, first of all, he's going to deal his damage. So we'll get rid of that first. He hits you. Oh my god, it's unreal. It doesn't matter. He brings oh. it into you, strikes you as you flip and jump off the blade. He brings it up, causing you to bounce in the air slightly, brings the side of the blade over, and strikes you with it like a baseball bat, knocking you to the ground. Fuck. Does I he wouldn't move have me? focused on you if I didn't think you were strong. You are not moved. You are left right I'm there. Did I can't even respond to you for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> And he is going. He has one more attack. He is going to turn towards Raleigh. Oh, 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 oh man! Why? Oh. <laughs> You're there. I haven't done anything. I brought him over here. <laughs> Slowly getting to his feet. So technically, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> he goes for the attack. Yeah. Uh, he is going to use menacing attack again. Almost <laughs> not Bye. even. Bye. Almost not even Bye. for the effect. Mostly just for the extra damage. Yeah. Uh, he probably didn't even need it. End me, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Uh, he might. And he brings the blade down on you, and yeah. Strikes you, you're knocked to the ground. Luckily, I'm not gonna have you guys roll to be frightened because we're you knocked can't out. Be. You know. can't be frightened if you're not awake. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, right. That's not true. Fucking... 
<laughs> As he like That's cleaves awesome. through me and I fall to the ground. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turns back towards oh, the two bards. Last words. Turns back oh, towards God. the two bards. Morpheus, <laughs> come here. <laughs> Vogan's just behind the pillar, like, I hope they're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> Orbis goes. Uh, Orbis Jesus is going. Christ, I'm never getting a turn. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just laying here, like so still. He He's is going. Like, it know, moves. It know. is going to get over to here. Uh, moving by you, Quintus. So if you want to attack it, you can. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Actually, it is still. With, it is still within your range. The corner right. of it. Yeah. It gets over to it. It. It seems to go down underneath, and then its snake-like body comes up at Murkwire. He turns. That makes sense. He brings his blade <laughs> up towards it as its claws come down on him, and it's going to attack him three times. Hooray! <laughs> he strikes it with his sword, knocking away the first claw. The second one comes in at him. That one hits. He gets struck by it. He loses a bit of ground as he slides back, and then the final one comes in to hit him. And it gets a crit! Oh, oh no! <laughs> All right. Heckin'. Heckin' big hit him, hit him to death. <laughs> hit him to death. Hit him to <laughs> death, you fuck. It brings it down on him. Strikes him. Electricity flashes from it. Oh. You guys, it seems to, uh, your vision is blurred for a second as lightning seems to erupt from where it strikes. When it clears, you see that Murkwire has one hand on his on the side of his blade and the other one's pushing back up against the claw. <sighs> And that is, that's basically gonna be that boy. That's, that's him. You're up, Vogan. I finally have a turn. <laughs> Woo, yes. All right, know. guys, I'm coming. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's time what the fuck Vogan. happened? <laughs> Don't let them know I'm awake, Vogan. Don't let them know I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, I'll I'll move past the pillar over here, and ooh. do you have to be in yeah. that space? Do you want me in another space? <laughs> I might want you in another space if possible. Ooh. Uh, I can I can be here. If, that's if that's that... amazing. That's an amazing space to be in. I love you. <laughs> okay. <Aww. laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll move a space that way, I guess. Thanks, man. For some reason, <laughs> I, I need exactly thirty feet of movement for where I'm going. Okay. Oh, man. Well, you're prone. Fuck. Never mind. Get back in the space. There you go. <laughs> okay. Starts I'll rolling. move here then. <laughs> Fucking whatever, man. <laughs> All right. I will, in this case, uh, fucking gift. It's, it's what it is. It's perfect. Sorry. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use another point to use wind chain. And I'm gonna heckin' get him with my long sword. Who's the, him? The big boy. Oh, the, big boy. the big boy. Yeah, that's damage Dizzy. I can't he's tell. Yeah, but him. He's, that makes he's, sense. He, he's taking a lot of damage. He's taking a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah. All right. In that he case, looks scraped will... up, but by the He's bleeding a whole bunch. by the grace of the fact okay. that he is what he is, despite his massive damage, it's not really slowing him down at all. Right. Okay. I will go ahead and use some attacks on him. That's Ooh. a big old oh. hit you just got there. Giant. Yeah. Oof. Oh, that's so much damage. Fuck him <laughs> up. All right. Second attack. That's a big old hit. Damn. You Die. notice the electricity that was like yes. absorbing damage is no longer active, so he is taking full damage. Oh. All right. Dun 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 dun. Dragon surge. <laughs> nice. I will say after that last hit, he will use his reaction to use lightning rebuke. So I'm gonna need you to make a dex save. Which you fail. Oh. Okay. This is fine. It's exactly what it sounds like lightning. You take <laughs> you take 15 damage, succeed your con save. Whew. All right. All right, two more attacks. Boom. Uh 18. That misses. Okay, second attack. I wait, 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 wait. Saving face. But we're all that dead. Hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least. <laughs> you only needed one. 
How do you want to do no! this? No! No! <laughs> As it notices you, its its body lunges towards you over the group and comes down on top of you. As it does, you prepare your sword and you go to attack. How do you want to do this? I imagine with like wind chain, he's using like a sort of a quick draw uh, technique with it. So uh, with like blinding speed combined with dragon surge, you just <laughs> you only see the sword leave once, but three cuts appear on the on the on the Obris or hey, Orbis. I'm sorry. Man, if only and... any of us were alive to see <laughs> it. Yo, right? I fucking it. saw it. <laughs> Lyra saw it. She wrote a fucking song the about it. The storyteller man. saw it at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. The two bars it rushes people. towards you. You cut it. One of the cuts chops a large chunk of one of its horns off and causes the crystal to fall to the ground. Another one scrapes along it and disconnects part of its shoulder from its torso, and the final one strikes forward and seems to pierce straight through the glowing core in it and out the other side. You see electricity surge backwards out of it. It lets out a, a yell as its body, massive and uh, its massive serpentine body, crumples to the ground, hits it, it reaches forward with one of its massive arms, getting just within inches of you, its huge zircon claws trying to grab at you. It then hits the ground, and the weight of its body that is off the edge causes it to slowly pull back until its claws naturally dig into the ground and anchor it. So it is hanging effectively mostly off the side now, the glowing elements beginning to sputter and fade. But even despite that, heck in. Seeing this happen, Murkwire slams his blade on the ground and looks toward you. I would offer you the same thing I did before. But what is the definition of insanity? <laughs> you. I've got one more attack. Kill uh, for it. Yeah. And hi ya. No, that is a big hit. That's definitely hitting him. I will use... Oh, wait. Oh, I can't. I can't use Scorpion Mark on him. Darn it. He's really bloody. He's really bloody, though. He is, sure. he is. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, get rid yeah. of uh, Scorpion Mark on myself, though. Gotcha. Uh, can I? Is there anything I can do to... Nah. Okay. I'm going to damage him. hi -ya. Take 10. He takes 10. You strike him with <sighs> it. He backs up, finds his footing for a second. Spits up a little bit of blood and, like, his eyes lock back on yours. He'll raise a hand and do a beckoning motion at him. <laughs> come, come, come on, gladiator. <sighs> Fight me like one of your, <laughs> like one of your rivals. If that was still my career, you would be worth being one of my rivals. He begins moving forward. And is that your turn? That is going to be my turn. Lyra! Heal them. Help. <laughs> Lyra's Help. going to see that Murkwire is on, on his way to Vogan. Get out of the way. That's fair. That's a good call. Yep. <laughs> and she is going uh, to use uh, Cure Wounds again. Um, okay. Yeah, she's going to use... That's a hard choice. Probably. That's a spell. <laughs> Hmm? I think she wants twin to cure spell. wounds on the giant monster. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. Had twin spell. She's gonna cure Orbis. And tame oh. Us. oh my god. Uh, she is going to go ahead and use uh, healing word on Fenris. Good call. She's going to cast healing word at third level. No, thank oh. you. So let's go ahead and uh, roll two of these. Boop boop. Add those to my modifier, and boop a doop a doop boop Fenris, where are ya? I need to find you on the thing. There you are. There you are. I found you. Hello. Fenris, you recover 14 points. <gasps> <Is she? Nice. laughs> what did I tell you about sleeping on the job? I'm in charge. Get up. And then she is Sorry. going to aim her gun at the Merc wire, and she's going to fire it. And she is going to go ahead and get a crit. Nice! Oh, yeah! oh and do it. Get him. Is that a 32 to hit? Yep. Oh, my wow. God. Give me back what my violin, you son of a bitch. And she is going to fire. And 
Oh my goodness. Oh, when that oh he takes a chunk of damage. He did a thing that has reduced it slightly, but he takes damage and change. He takes 22 oh. points from that, and he staggers back. <sighs> this fight doesn't have audience participation, Lyra. And Hecken, Quintus, you are up. I do but are you roll up? and get up from but prone. But stand in the air. I go here, here, and there. Shit. You dodge roll and get over to there. <laughs> As he looks to Vogan, and then he looks over to um, uh, Lyra, I get over to him. Gladiator! Don't take your eyes off your opponent! Cool. Then gonna go and then what happens? I'm gonna go for some attacks. And then what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do some attacks. First attack. Oh, shit. I disadvantage and I still hit! Hell <laughs> yeah! Uh, uh, you would have, you dropped the first 18, so you would have hit, but I'm gonna get prone yeah. off of you. Go ahead. You roll in, you strike upwards toward him. Ah! Uh, you do six damage, he staggers back from it. I want to try to knock him over. Shut okay. With your bonus so, action or use your, With your bonus action, yeah? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Hiya. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> hell. oh, he succeeds. You try to I knock him why. over. He reaches down, he grabs the side of your shield and wrenches it to the side and pushes it away from him. I go for another attack. Go for it. Hiya! Hiya! That's oh, a miss. Wow. Action third. Ah. Hey, yeah. As go. you go, before yeah. you do that, before you do that, take that mm -hmm. back. As you go I, for I that, don't know how. <laughs> Wait, I know. Uh, I just do it now. give it to you. Give Did it back to yourself. As you do that, he is going to repost because you missed him. Uh, so he is going to. Uh, he's going to go ahead and make an attack back against you. Gonna get you. Okay. Oh jeez. That's a hit, and he's going to add the superiority die to his damage. I'm down again. Yeah, God probably. Damn it. You rush in, you yell, don't take your eyes off him, you strike towards him, you hit him with the first one, he wrenches your shield away as you bring the standard up and strike towards him. He turns, grabs the standard with one of his hands, pulls you in towards it, and drives the blade into you. You're yeah. down. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> separating so you from it, he drops the standard. I didn't. He looks up towards Vogan. Hmm. All and, right. uh, that's, that's you. Yup. Raleigh, death save. Wait. Oh. Death save. Roll the one, 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 one. Damn it. Oh, bam, oh, bam, oh, bam, bam, take bam. an inspiration, but you're still down. <laughs> 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 yeah, but like, suck a dick, Spence. So, so <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mariam. I'm gonna go there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. You asked right. about the definition of insanity, Mark Wire. You're looking at it. <laughs> I've been saving this just for you. <laughs> Heat metal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes! He's gonna get hot! <laughs> <laughs> what if he's already in a dragon -y way? No. <laughs> oh, third level? Okay. Is he title? Hello? Is, is he title? <laughs> uh, casting it on his armor. He's gonna immediately take the fire damage. So, Ooh. yep, you hit him with it as it burns through him. He doesn't seem to mind it all that much. Looks mm -hmm. towards you. Perhaps my scales have misled you. Fire is my element, Tiefling. It's mine too. And I'm going to put the on gun. Then I'm going to disintegrate him. By the way, I can cast disintegrate. BT <laughs> <laughs> e doves. Oh, that'd be fucking amazing. Um. And that's that's my turn. Ooh. All right, Fenris. Fenris, I'd like you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. <laughs> uh, Fenris, you are overcome by a momentary intense headache. 
Uh, as you do, you start to see all sorts of figures around you. Your vision once again splits into different colors, and you see that the mist that had been coming up from below has now formed all these wispy tendrils that seem to be moving towards either you or towards Murkwire. No one but you seems to be able to regard them. Uh, they appear to be moving around Orbis, as if they're trying not to come into contact with Orbis. Mm. Um, but as they do, you feel an intense pain looking at them. Uh, you will suffer from disadvantage on attack rolls this round. It will not take your turn. Uh, okay, if I use an inspiration, can I negate this, this, this here disadvantage? Uh, for if one attack, yes. Oh my yes. god, roll I, I'm, I only have one shot at this. Well, I have multiple, but I'm going to cast... You see, I also note, you see stepping out of the mist, you notice there's all these uh, white shades of different descriptions that appear to be people moving around erratically. Unlike before, it's not going away. The vision is staying. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's hope they're coming for you. And... I'm gonna cast third level inflict wounds. Oh my goodness! Oh, I have gift for you. Please hit. <laughs> I would like get him. to get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Man, he's almost at the end of uh, the thing he has. Heckin', I have to do this as a flat Fucking roll instead him. of advantage. All right, go ahead okay, and hit this. advantage so that you have you. a normal roll and get him. I shall advantage. Um, is it still okay? It still applied as third level. Okay, cool. I'm scared. I get that. Okay, I'm gonna let go. No! Ah! Ah! You reach up towards him. As you do, he turns to the side, grabs your wrist, and pulls you to the side of him, uh, causing you to fall back to the ground. Dang. Such a good plan, though, when you, whenever you touch him, whenever he grabs your wrist, you get this momentary flash of all sorts of images of wild cliff sides, of uh, what look like old ruins, like an old church uh, in a valley filled with mist. Of uh, you see all sorts of images of uh, of scandal of another hag. You feel like for a moment it doesn't take you long to recognize that you see these brief flashes of what appear to be Murkwire's memories. Murkwire's memories. Oh shit! You see uh, um. Snap. Yeah. You and the last thing you see before it seems to cut off and he throws you is you see a uh, what appears to be almost a dragon's lair. Uh, Murkwire moving through it and coming to what appears to be a feminine figure inside of it with glowing red eyes before it cuts out and he casts you to the side, seemingly unaware of what you were just doing. Lady. Mm. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Mm. Um, I think that's all I can do. Except for cast Expeditious Retreat, but I don't think that's gonna <laughs> Get out of here. Yep. <laughs> Which you can't, because you already cast yeah, you a spell at higher level. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's very true. Is that you? Uh, yeah. Lexi, roll, roll me a death save. Oh yeah, we have potions you can use. Them. Here comes a heckin' one, boys. Oh! Yeah. oh! <laughs> <laughs> you did it! I'm proud of you. you did it! Shut up! <laughs> uh, if he attacks me, I'm re reacting with Times Guardian just to get that out of the way. I think he, I think we know who's he, who he's gonna go after. He takes the sword, mm -hmm. and he flips it upside down, putting both of his hands on it, and stabs it into the ground. As he does, you see the Messite blade begins glowing. I would very much like to fight you one-on-one, -on -one, but it's evident that as long as one of you stands, the rest will come up as well. So, my enemy is everyone around me. And I need to put a thing on the map. One moment. Oh no. A thing. He lets go of it. It lets out this bright flash. And you see mist that you guys would have otherwise associated with amniasis begin swirling around the area. It immediately erupts from it with enough force to cause some of you to be pushed back slightly. Uh, as it does, um, as it's pushed back, you start to get this hazy feeling in your mind. It, uh... Mm. You start to feel like your vision is clouding. Does this mist look like the mist I'm seeing? 
It looks other. different. And actually, while okay. you're seeing this, um, you actually notice that as this happens, those tendrils begin to move faster, and they wind, moving like threads through the air, and you can't quite tell with all the visual clutter what's going on, but it seems like they're moving towards two specific people. You notice they wind around yourself, and they wind around uh, Miriam. Oh. And I need to what? put... You sleep in the fucking tendrils place too? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> you get out of here, gremlin. <laughs> so you, it would not be on you. So, heckin. <laughs> As it's happening, the spellcasters in the area, you find that your connection to the weave, your ability to wield magical energy, you can feel it being messed up as if your memory of the spells that you have to cast is being disrupted. You can still try to, you feel like, but mm -hmm. you feel like there's a degree of failure by which uh, you'd be risking it. Uh, Fenris, you feel this, but you also have this soothing feeling that seems to be piercing through the effect of this 50-foot whirlwind of, of mist, this turbulent energy that's moving around. What the hell is going on, Fen? What? He's going to step forward... He's gonna step around you and. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, Come ignore me. me! Ignore Shit. me! Go fight as the big As he's going spicy to move boy. by Lyra, that is going to count as one of his attacks. He is going to second wind. Fair. Oh no! Come on, son of a bitch! Takes a deep breath in. Painful, isn't it? Amnia says, "Doesn't bother those that have already contracted it." So I should be fine for a time. He moves forward. Uh, As he walks by Lyra, he is going to bring his arm up and he is going to strike her. <gasps> no! Oh! No! No! That's it. Lyra! Strikes her. She is slammed back against the pillar. A minstrel that only cares about an instrument. You're worthless to the world. And as for you... He continues to walk forward. Now we have no distractions. And he is going to try to hit you with his last attack. He brings his hand up, strikes towards oh, you. He is... Does he what? Have the on him? He should have disadvantage on these. I think it removed itself from him. Heat Unless heat metal was dispelled. Uh, heat metal was not dispelled. Did you ever put an effect on him? Uh, I did earlier, and then I accidentally removed heat metal from my sheet. Uh, <laughs> that might like, do like it. straight up, it's just gone. Yeah, I, I re-added it, but yeah, I have to re-parse some of the abilities and effects. I will, heck in, I will put this attack on him, and I will make that attack again. That first one hit. Uh, let's see if the second one, I'm just going to roll a d20 for this. Boop. My first one? Uh, well, I have to roll a oh, disadvantage. Oh, the first roll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they both hit. Oh. The lower one was, a, the total result was 20, was 30, wait, hold on. Whoa! The, the, the higher result of the two. Sorry, I was. I had, it was the wrong thing. He rolled a fourteen and a nineteen with his modifier. He hit. Um, I see. Heck, and I was looking at the wrong thing. Hey, fancy grounds. Hey. Why are you suddenly not moving? There we go. He's gonna walk over and he's gonna strike you. He's just going fist to fist with you at this point. You take twenty-two Ow. damage as he hits you. Oh my god! This is fine. <laughs> Fenris, you hear a very... You hear a voice that seems to be trying to permeate everything that's happening, coming from all angles. But as you hear it, uh, despite the fact that it has this very soothing quality to it, you can't make out what it's saying, and it seems to only worsen the headache that you're getting from the area. And... Heckin', that's Murkwire. Orbis, you're, you're down. You dead? So don't Get out of here. Get out of he here. He hasn't glittered yeah. away yet. When death it's not back dead up. yet. Logan, <laughs> you're going to have to make a saving throw here that it's going to force you to make at the start of your turn. It's an intelligence oh. save. Oh, no. Which you oh, fail. No. You succeed. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, you you I, shirk oh. off the damage that would otherwise come from this aura. Uh, you yeah. do, and uh, as long as I'm reading it correctly, I don't believe it should affect you. Uh, one moment while I just confirm a thing, because I got a Go ahead. tricky bit of programming in here that I just want to make sure I don't step over. Um, gotcha, gotcha. There it is. Um, 
Do -do -do -boo. No, okay. You should be good to go. Don't worry about anything. Go ahead. All right. Uh, okay. I'm uh, gonna heckin' uh, hit him. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> That's a good call. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm beat him up is what I'm gonna do. Hi That's a good idea. Should be uh, 23? That hits. Yeah. I'm gonna, dr I'm gonna, not dragon, there's scorpion mark on him. Gotcha. He does look like he's breathing heavily. Uh, he seems to be mm -hmm. pretty close to not doing okay here. Yeah. <sighs> it's time for you to go down. <laughs> oh, darn. Well, yeah, that, that really leaned into that, too. You, you did really do that did. for anyone yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah dude. You strike him, you hit him, you find your attack is a little bit weaker, you find your body's not reacting properly. Specifically, you hear a, you hear a voice call out at the very last second, and you're distracted as you look around, you realize that from this swirling vortex around you, you can hear the voices of what sound like hobgoblins, and it doesn't take you more than a moment to realize that you're hearing voices from your memories, that as soon as you stop hearing them, you no longer can recall those events happening. I didn't need those memories anyway. Oh no! Damn you, it! You strike Maybe I at him. him a little bit. He catches <laughs> the blade in one of his iron gauntlets. And I agree. Okay. What's behind us doesn't matter. What's in front of us and what can be does. It's a pity you have to be my enemy, Vogan. Maybe if we weren't so insane, we could have been friends. Is that you? And I'm gonna down a superior healing potion. Other hand, like you're Damn. trying to come with one hand, other hand comes up. We could be friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Woo -woo! oh, swag. Back to full. Wow. <laughs> Man, if only the rest Holy of the party shit. had half of that. You could have put it in shot glasses, man. <laughs> All right. Could have. That, and that's you? I believe so. Lyra. Lyra's gonna do a death save. Lyra, get up. Lyra. Lyra succeeded. Okay. Quintus, I need a death save. Here we fucking go, boys. Uh. Do -do. And a fail. That's a oh, fail. No. <laughs> Raleigh. Oh is it boyos? <laughs> Raleigh. Oh, <no>. That's your <laughs> first. <laughs> Cheapers! Oh, oh boy! Cheapers, oh, creepers! Jesus! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's that other thing from that other time all over again. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> oh, Scandal's doing something. <laughs> she's gonna. She's, she's, vibing. Gonna, she's gonna pop up over the crystal, seeing what's happening. She's staying away from that vortex. Uh, you would briefly catch a glimpse, uh, Fenris, you would briefly catch a glimpse of her seeming to regard the crystal that is itself buckling under the force of this vortex spinning. Even though it's outside of it, it's still being affected by the energy. You notice Scandal raises one of her hands up towards it, and you see energy begin crackling between her fingers, and an incredibly devilish smile crosses her face. Oh, you're gonna drop the fucking crystal on him? Is that a good idea, Scandal? That's gonna go, that doesn't matter, that's not a thing. Miriam, You succeed the intelligence save and do not take any damage, but uh, the same effects on your spell casting do appear to be in effect. Oh, uh, I will. <laughs> Bonus action, I'll inflict the heat metal damage again. Yep. Woo! He takes... <sighs> Now, how did that... Oh, I see. He does take it, he takes half. Oh, and then, uh... He is I'm going to... Obsidian attempt. Dragonborn, our Red Dragonborn. Yeah, um, I'm going to attempt to cast Healing Word on Lexi. <laughs> Roger. You. You a, a question, a point of order... Because I should, uh, I should know this before I attempt to use any of them. Uh, I don't think the long rest given us by the Ender Sphinx restored any uh, of our items, right? Uh, no. It Those shouldn't. are a dawn thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna tuck, take this back up. Um, right. Yep. 
Uh, what, what's the check after roll for spell casting, or is it just... Uh, when you use it, it's going to be a 50% failure rate, so when you do it, we'll have you roll, and if you get 51 or higher, then uh, you're good to go. Alright, I'm going to roll percent out. Orange dice. Yep, you're good to go. Hey! Hooray! Uh, you try to cast it. As you go to cast it, uh, you look towards Lexi, and just before you do, you have this moment of not recognizing the person on the ground. But you close your eyes. You feel your the armor from your... Oh, hey, what are you heckin'? What are you doing there? Combat tracker? Whatever. Um, you have a moment where you clench your eyes, concentrate hard enough, and you re-recall who, uh, who Lexi is, but you feel like it almost slips away from you. Oh. That's Man. sad. That is sad. Man. Don't uh, talk. Uh, who helped? That's Man. me and Quinn's job. Thank you. No, you guys aren't <laughs> like that works. either. Jeez. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's my bonus action. It's my action. Uh, that's me. Make sure that's on you. Yeah. Make sure that's on you. You are completely uh, Fenris. Mm -hmm. It is your turn. You are the only one that's not going to be affected by this overall. Because you're dealing with your own thing that's related. Please roll me a percentile die. Here we go, boys! Oh! Okay, fine, I'll fucking roll over there. Aww. One away from 69, come on, guys. <laughs> Be That's fun for one. Fenris, <laughs> you stand, you raise your weapon up. Uh, for a second, you the only thing you can think to do is to strike forward and attack. As you do, sound seems to cut out around you entirely, and there's this eruption as if something disrupts the whirlwind on the other side all the mist that is being generated by Murkwire's sword all um it seems to part as if a large eruption of force happened at a point just ahead of you guys as it does everyone closes their eyes briefly you hear the sound of people skidding and being knocked back and to almost all of you yeah again Fenris you are thrown back somewhat near Lexi you see uh, this vague figure of a humanoid floating just above the ground. I'd like everybody to please roll me um, a wisdom save. Everyone that's up, please roll me a wisdom save. And roll me a perception check. Oh, okay. Is it towards being frightened? No, it is to okay. see if you are able to comprehend a thing in front of you. You don't need to get that high. The, fir the wisdom save is to see if you're able to move, given that this is happening, and the perception check is going to be to see if you can see it. I'll burn, uh, I'll burn my last inspiration for the perception check. Damn, oh, we yeah, I'll do it. I'll do these. Shit. Uh, woo! Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Damn! <laughs> Okay, Miriam. Look, and I got you. double proficiency. And I'm the only one with a fucking oh, God, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, so Vogan, yeah. as this happens, you struggle to get back up as you're knocked back. Uh, your sword falls from your hand as you uh, as you skid back. Uh, Merkwire also seems to have been pushed back by it, and he actually ends up relatively uh, close to you. The warhammer falls from his back and is knocked onto the ground. Um. Struggling to stand, you find something is causing your body to not respond to your command. Same with, uh, same with the others. Fenris, you struggle, having been knocked back by this, having tried to attack Murkwire and having the sound cut out in front of you. Uh, you struggle to look up, and as you do, this feeling of serenity comes over you, as for the first time since you first saw them, you see floating just between everybody, a particular woman that you know very well. <laughs> oh. The rest of you look up. Lexi, you look up. You set your eyes on them as well. Miriam, Vogan, you look up and you see this figure floating. The area around them seeming... <gasps> oh, what the is that? The area around them seemingly entirely calm, as if the Messite sword had completely uh, subsided 
around her. Gravity doesn't seem to apply to her. She seems completely still. Her eyes closed, her hands over her heart. She slowly opens them, revealing these beautiful glowing rainbow uh, rainbow irises. It's the pride angel. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merkwire stands. I don't know what you're supposed to be. And he rushes forward to attack her. As he does, he brings his hand up to try to punch her. Her head turns slightly and he freezes in place. Not physically, so much as he just seems to have been stopped in time. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> you hear okay. a... Okay. <laughs> I'd like to know specifically from Fenris if there's anything that you would like to do in this particular moment. The others are finding it hard to move. You find that your pain is subsiding and your mind is clearing. Oh, my lady, I haven't heard from you in so long. <sighs> I feared that I was not following the right path, but seeing you before me now. <sighs> After a second passes, Merkwire regains motion and it seems to get pushed back by some wave of force that causes him to skid along the ground. He looks like, Gah! what? She seems to flicker and vanish with no real cause of, uh, no real physical effect around her. She vanishes and reappears, floating just above and directly in front of Fenris. She puts her hand out towards you as if offering you something in it. Uh, I, I look slash reach into her hand. Like... As you reach towards it, the, uh, the area around you guys, the whirlwind, once again, begins to move and become chaotic and you can hear it. But instead of flowing in a circle around you, the vortex of energy from the sword coalesces into a single point, swirling into her palm, becoming the small moat of, uh, of mist, which she closes her hand around, brings it up, and blows it away in front of her as if it were dust. You hear a cracking sound as Murkwire's sword shatters in the place he stuck it in the ground. And you hear a clang as the warhammer he had dropped floats from its place and over to her. She guides it with her hand through the air just to in front of you. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> what? You see it's it's not says that. You no, see, I you see this. You see this petrified warhammer. Uh, the mouth of it, which is wrapped around this large stone, seems to start to glow, and the war the chunk of stone in it turns into a large gemstone. A large sapphire as the whole thing regains color and she puts her hand over it and pushes it down in the air towards you. I shall accept. I will. I shall accept. Oh, no way. <laughs> and very momentarily, her f she floats down and just as one of her feet touches the ground, you just hear her whisper, you can find me. As she does, there is a huge crashing sound coming from beyond you all, and your attention diverts. Everyone's senses snap back into where they were. And looking over towards uh, where the crystal was, you see it has shattered in an eruption of energy, with Scandal floating in front of it with this very cheeky look on her face, this big smile, as it crumbles and cracks behind her. The figure of the woman is gone. As you take the Warhammer, you feel like you're filled with this radiant energy. And... Filled with determination. Vogan. <laughs> yeah, man. You hear a creaking and cracking sound as well. You see the body of the fallen Idolos begin to shift, and it pulls itself up, looks over to where the figure of the woman was. It starts saying something in Primordial. Vogan, you look back to it again, you see the woman reappear in front of it. She puts her hand towards it and then over towards you. You see its eyes go dull. Its exactly. body, its body, be, are, do you still have that on? It's, uh, that's not a concentration yeah. spell. It be, it's talking. You hear it uh, just very briefly. Um, whenever it sees her, the Idolo starts being like, you, you shouldn't be my lady. I am at your service. She whispers something to it that you can just barely hear is, With them, 
until the time is right. Until they find me. It's here, of course. It begins to glow, and you see the body of the Idolan, uh, the Idolos shatter and crack. It becomes this uh, flickering blue radiant energy that coalesces into a single single point and flies towards you, Vogan. You put your hand up to try to stop it, and you feel the handle of a weapon form in your hand. Yeah, oh. boy! Oh, 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 oh. Upgrades, upgrades! Hell yeah! And, I mean, um, if you really didn't want me to win the tournament, Logan, you didn't have to. <laughs> like, shit. And I probably I won't be able to going. use this thing. <laughs> That's dumb. That's stupid. I agree. <laughs> As this happens, Murkwire is looking from thing to thing. His eyes, not enraged, but darting, seemingly trying to piece together what happened. He clenches his hands so hard you hear the sound of bending metal and looks over towards Scandal. You witch! Do you have any idea what you've done?! I suppose I probably set your plans back somewhat, didn't I? Well, it was a boring plan at this stage anyways. I'd much rather go with them. That's fine by you. I will... She will... And... With that, uh, I've added it to your inventory, Vogan. And... Cool. Fenris... I need to add this to your inventory. What does this thing do? Oh. I didn't want to cry today, but you did a good job. <laughs> Hell it. yeah, got her. <laughs> this is... I've been waiting for this moment since session one. Oh, Ray. This is... Ray. Where You're are so you? You're so cute. Oh my god. It is restored Fenris. You I'm sure? putting the hammer of Constantinian mm. winter into your inventory. Oh, the hammer yeah. of who and what and where and why. So to go over what these things do, the hammer, um, it is a plus one weapon. Okay. It, uh, when you are attuned to it, which you are immediately attuned to it, uh, you have resistance <laughs> to cold and fire damage. <laughs> it, um, you should not have that much damage attached to it, so I'm going to have to get rid of that in a minute. Huh. Um, boop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh, no, it does. Never mind. It does 1d8 bludgeoning and 1d8 cold damage. It is also versatile, nice. so it can do 1d8 bludgeoning and... Or 1d10 bludgeoning and 1d8 cold. You may also use it to cast Investiture of Ice once per long rest. And twice per shorter long rest, you may use it to do, uh, do what's called a Stygian Snap, which is basically uh, a smite. But with cold damage. Oh my oh, god! I got to be god. a pseudo paladin. Oh, I am so. Mm. And Vogan. That's fair. Yeah. Sorry again. Uh, did you already read through it? It's not identified. It's not identified. Then you wouldn't have read through it. So you, yeah. or Orbis <laughs> Maharaga, uh, which is now bound to you, and you are immediately attuned to it. It is a long Ooh. blade that is made of this white metal and has a blade that is composed entirely of uh, zircon, gemstone. Uh, it is a plus one weapon that does 1d8 slashing and 1d8 lightning. Uh, it is also versatile. You basically, your damage types are basically mirroring each other. Um, <laughs> And when it, uh, it once per, what is it? Do, 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 do. What is the limit that it was on that? Uh, an amount of times per long rest equal to half your proficiency bonus rounded down. So that should be two for you, I think. Mm -hmm. Or is it one for you right now? Er Regardless, that many times, once per turn, one. you can use a skill called Lightning Rose when you hit a creature to oh. effectively strike them with lightning, as well as everything within a 15-foot cube. Oh. <laughs> and it deals 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save. Oh. Once per what turn? Oh my God. But you can only use it a, an amount of times per a long rest equal to your proficiency bonus. Oh, fair. Oh, per, it okay. has limited okay. uses, which for you, it'd okay. be one. You can use that once per long rest currently. Oof. Okay, cool. I don't I'm, have those programmed onto your sheets, but you have them now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just yeah. While, while it's not my turn, as the I'll crystal shatters, it. you guys see uh, as you take these weapons and you stand with them, uh, with Merkwire's sword and the aura disrupted. Uh, you see that this there's this draconic screeching that comes out of the place where the crystal was. Scandal turns to it and seems to actually get blown back by the sheer force of the sound. Uh, you see all sorts of uh, you see five different. Um, draconic looking spirits seem to form around it and twist and contort and then they merge together and erupt outwards filling this entire room 
with uh, multicolored energy that seems to bounce and crackle along the walls. And you start to feel a rumbling. And you start to see the areas beginning to crack. Merkwire begins looking around. Do you have any idea? The power you just unleashed, Scandal! We needed that hole! <laughs> she looks upset for a moment, as if she's taken aback. And then after a very large piece of rubble cr uh, crashes from the ceiling to just beside her and she dodges it, she seems to immediately start having fun again and starts bouncing around in the air on her broom. <laughs> and, Fenris, it is your turn still. Uh, and it is uh, up to you if you eventually want to tell the party what just happened, because I'm sure that you're the only one that understands. I, I'm just I'm looking at you. I'm like, uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but if you don't mind, I'd really like to kick his ass right now. <laughs> Sheepish smile sure? of Lexi. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Uh, how far are you from me? Hmm. He's Let's... a bit over the way. Uh, you know, it would be a shame to waste it. I'm gonna misty step behind him. Fair. You step forward, <laughs> you disappear into mist like and it. reappear where he is. I, like... I need I need to get rid of the effect one second. I gotta get rid of the null object that's making the aura that's messing with you guys. Boop. It is gone. Right. Oh you are... my god, but there are three people with I'm just gonna make sure the damage is parsing incorrectly on your sheet. Um, yep. Are you wielding it one-handed or two-handed right now? You need to decide because, uh, I'm gonna drop should... my shield. Gotcha. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all get comfortable since you think you can kill my friends. Think. Hey, shh. Um... I can't find the hand. Ah, yes. On. As one last point of interest, because I didn't describe it, uh, Lexi and Mariam, the mm -hmm. Consteliquary and your armament, they both went crazy. You could feel magical energy pouring out of them when that woman was present. Oh, jeez. Like, they felt supercharged briefly, as if you could have used their abilities, like, ad infinitum. But as soon as she disappeared, then they went back to being how they were. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I cannot access the hammer, the warhammer. Is it equipped? What do you mean? Uh, oh, equipping it would be a great idea. Uh, it's, it's on your sheet. It's Hammer of Constantinian win uh, Winter. It's right there. It's at the very top. I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah. wait. Nope. Yep. Still not there. It's. There we go. Right. I've unequipped I it and it. equipped it. All oh, right. there we go. Okay, rock on. Cool, 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 cool. And rock on. Real I quick, think... real quick, I actually did pre-program into a thing so I could throw these on your sheet. Um, give me half a second. Uh, are you just attacking right now? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm just making throwing these on because I actually did have a thing prepared for you specifically. Oh. Boop. And... My goodness. That's a of ice. And where did Stygian Snap go? I think through this, I managed to find all three of the things I will be attuned to for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I got gloves, a ring, and a hammer. I'm good. <laughs> and they are now on your sheet under the the heading Hammer of Constantinian Winter. Okay, I do see this, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to use my last inspiration to give me advantage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm and Rogan, gonna... I actually do. I already have added it. the lightning rose thing on me. So. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna I'm gonna add it again, but but mine, so there. It's fair. He is a bitch. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> plus your proficiency bonus. It is DC. Okay, I missed the. I just saw the DC. Okay. Yeah, Twelve plus. I'll proficiency. get rid of mine. Yeah, that's right. Get dunked on. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a no. bitch, bitch. So you're going to, uh, uh are you attacking him? Appear behind him. I'm going to swing, and then I'm going to say the cool thing. I want to see if I <laughs> before I, eh? That's a hit. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> that is just a hit. Oh, I'll Oof. take it. Oof. It's hard for me to hit this one. But that is where you are wrong, Murkwire. Our memories are what make us strong, no matter how much they hurt. Fucking <laughs> bap him! 
Oh. I can do him some damage. If we get back to his turn, some stuff's oh. gonna happen. Oh, you didn't use your divine smite thing. Oh. Fuck. Shoot. Oh well. You anyway. str Ugh. You it's strike him with it. Another turn. <laughs> is that uh <laughs> is that you? Uh that's all I can do. You strike him with it. Cold mist begins pouring off of it as he brings his hands up to block it. He gets knocked back slightly. This is... I need to. He looks up to where Scandal's dodging chunks of ceiling that are falling, which are also crashing down around all of you. There's no easy way out. Fine. Is that... Uh, and that's you, so... Lexi, what up? Yes, sir. This is where you meet your end, bandit lord. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna try. <laughs> do my shoot. I'ma pew, do pew. one of them pachu pachus. Pew pew. Snipe pachu pachu. Snipe him down. Yeah. They got him. They got him. Ian Fenris is right there, so snag attack. It's true. Yeah, I was thinking about you when I was on my way. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Why did oh, sorry, I get moved? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I did. Why did I, you do I, that? I, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I can die. He's moving himself along the map, probably, and just as he dragged you. Fucking. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, that wow. sucks. Wow. <laughs> That's sad. The wow. amount that I did not expect <laughs> to be saying that we we're playing Nat 19 <laughs> with Merc <Mercury. laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. It's fine. Oh. Oh. It's my up and climb. I can't! I fucking... Because yeah, it's a bonus thing! Can't. I can't get that far! Fuck! Also, you can't oh, hit him with the nails, because... It's okay, mm -hmm. just let whoever's gonna kill steal. She can... Steel. It's 40 it's feet fun. away, and if yeah. she uses her bonus action to dash, she can't use her bonus action to attack. Plus, she didn't do a melee attack, so she can't use her bonus action to claw. Uh, yeah. There yeah. are lots of different reasons why that's not that's gonna work. That's it. That's it. That's all I can do, so I know little bitch. You did a great so, job! You fucking ones! Don't lie to me, you bread! Look at me! At least you hit! That's you, Lexi? That's me. So, Come on. Come this, at me. Is, this is going to be of particular importance to a certain tiefling boy, and I'm pointing this out because I feel it's only fair. He puts his hand up and grabs his cape, which you see begin to shimmer with, like, uh, magical energy, and you see smoke begin to erupt around him. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, heckin. a cape of Mont Blanc. I need Mont you to roll. I need you to roll the ability check. Are you about to Already? mention door? Because it's a fourth level spell. Oh, I need to. Fuck, 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 fuck. I need to salvage what I can. You see smoke begin to uh, appear up here around him, and he is trying to dimension door. I knew it. You need to, roll, uh, you need to roll. You need to roll a as well. Is that still an effect? Or is that gone? The aura is gone. That's no longer an effect. You spell need to. Slot. Counter spell check. You need to get a 14 or higher. Oh! Uh -huh. You're not yeah! going anywhere. As he like tries to do it, you raise your hand up. Uh, there's a magical energy. A gust of wind strikes it and blows the smoke away, and his form, which was becoming translucent, reasserts itself. His eye goes wide, and his uh, cat-like pupil uh, strains and constricts. No, oh, I'm. And he is going to bonus action down a potion. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you bear. would. Uh -huh. Yeah, I makes sense. <clears throat> and he, I'm gonna go ahead and have him click off his use for that. He looks up towards Scandal. Witch, we need to get out of here. That sounds like a whole lot to your problem, if I'm being totally honest with you. But I'm sure he'll figure out a way out. And she, like, comes down and floats beside him. Now that we made it to this point, I'm not terribly interested in you. <gasps> points and laughs with the sword. <laughs> also, you razz him love. good. You get him scandal. Oh, that was good. The entire area is beginning to crack. Large parts of the platform appear to be shattering. Your turn, Vogan. Take him down. Get him. <laughs> As I'm pointing and laughing at the so with him with the sword, <laughs> I aim it up. 
<laughs> oh, bitch. I'm gonna draw a 15 foot cue. <laughs> Get him! There you go. All and right. I'm gonna have him make a deck save. The oh, Zircon nice. blade lights up, lightning flashes and fires up, bounces between the uh, various pieces of rubble and comes down to strike him. Go ahead. He succeeds, uh, but he's still going to take <laughs> half damage. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> That's still a lot of damage. Oh! That's still more than one. <laughs> is, he, is he down? I he's tell. not. He is. Ah! Oh, he is. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Strikes him, the Madison. ground under his feet begins to crumble, a hole appears underneath him, he starts to slip, uses his tail to contort his weight and gets uh, finds his footing again. Alright. That is your action, Mike. Remember, that is your action. Yes, you that is my house. action. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And I'll just, I'll just hang out next to him looking threatening. <laughs> oh, you're doing a, you're you're doing a great anywhere. job at that, dude. Mm -hmm. Heck in, we need some more death safes. So, oh, hey. Lyra. Oh, no, Lyra. Lyra succeeds. Yay! Hooray! Quintus Hooray! succeeds. Hooray! How Raleigh? is everyone? If Come you're not one, that is. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. How is everyone looking death safes? Is everyone at their first? Quinn second? and Raleigh have failed know. one. If either yeah. of them that ones, they die. Mm -hmm. Or if they Wait. get hit by a melee attack, they die. Yep. You're up, Marion. <laughs> I'm too worried. <laughs> yeah. Makes Can sense. you just uh, bonus action? But I could call him a he's bitch not... and kill him. Call him yeah, a he's not, call him he's a not, he's not at one hit point. He's just very close. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Still. You merc Yes. Give my shit back, you bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? Let this kill him. <laughs> he succeeded. Ah! Oh, I turned my attention to Quinn. All right, <laughs> fuck you. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh. Oh, Quintus. It's, uh, I don't got any bonus actions right now. No, that's me. Well, you All do. Right. You've got healing. Oh, no, I can bonus action. Healing word is um, healing because I cast a cantrip. I'm going to healing word Quinn. I'm going to do <laughs> both at the same time. Perfect. <laughs> And Fuck you! Get up! But you can heat me up! <laughs> oh, I can, and I will. Fuck. But I don't want Quinn to die, and Quinn living is more important than him dying. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Quinn, get up, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I am just uh, full on anger mode today. Get up! <laughs> everybody's a bitch. Fenris? <laughs> What I miss get him! You. Take <laughs> him <laughs> down! Get Falcon, are we, are we showing and telling what our item does? Then I suppose I shall take mine first, Ben. And mm. I'm gonna try and hit him again. And if this hits, I'm fucking smiting the okay. shiitake mushrooms out of this beach. Come on, Fen. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, yeah. so are, you using, are you using Stygian Snap? Yes, sir. Alright, so... Uh, the way that works, just to go over it, is uh, whenever you hit him, you deal your normal damage, but then also you can use Stygian Snap to make him uh, roll a con save against the damage, and he takes half on a field save. Or on a successful save. Okay. So go ahead and roll your so normal I'm... damage against him. <laughs> Thank you. I was yeah. like, so what did you do first? <laughs> oh. Okay. Good. Okay. Wow. Okay, then... now he's at one. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Come on! You can't get out of this shit! Roll, roll the con save against him. Makes sense. He but takes harder. half! He takes half! Now wait a minute! That's true. Get him. I'm for this! <laughs> oh, there's a stack overflow. I think he just broke fantasy grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he's oh, yeah. oh shit! Goddamn! It, Woo! It, 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 it didn't. It. it didn't mark I... him as dead, but he is dead. Oh! <laughs> as you strike him, <laughs> he the ground underneath him begins to give way, and the entire area begins to erupt. Uh, as he moves towards you, he clenches his fist and tries to punch back at you. This isn't the end. 
Beating me here means nothing! And he punches towards it as you strike him. The sapphire flashes and half his body is coated in ice and frozen in place. He recoils, uh, his mouth agape in surprise. He slides back as the ground splits between where you are. And he falls down into the area below. Like as this happens... Off of him. Yeah. As this happens, the entire area collapses... The platform oh. you guys are on shatters and breaks. Damn. I don't get to say my anime thing. That's all <laughs> well, good. Say your anime thing. Do it. Merkwire, I shall pray that you soon will be a distant memory for the rest of us. Damn! Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Never be a memory. Ah, <laughs> oh, you bitch! Get out of here, you Sephiroth! Too bad you're he dead. Falls. Yeah. You're already dead. The black dead. smoke that is below the platform erupts as well, uh, coming out in plumes between the areas that are shattering. The entire place collapses, and oh, everyone no. that is present, you all find yourself blacking out as the uh, the entirety of this place seems to fall to pieces. Death saves. Already there. Oh. <laughs> wow, you didn't, get see, you didn't get to see anything that happened. Man. For a that was second, cool before it was cool. For a second, you all find yourselves floating in what feels like an empty void. All of you once again uh, in darkness with your eyes closed. The only thing you can see is the form of that same woman with the rainbow-colored eyes appearing. She appears to be holding you in the air. Your formless bodies in this void that you find yourselves in. She appears to have her hands outstretched and seems to be holding your consciousness as if you're looking from her uh, cupped hands up towards her. Mm -hmm. She closes her hands around them. You guys see the faint image of a single white feather falling down in front of your vision. You have a brief moment of seeing the... Uh, the, the faint image of the Esper, of the Silver Esper. Mm. And then you feel wind on your skin, and you come to, not outside the cave, but on an area of grassy land that would have laid above it. Opening your eyes, you're briefly blinded by the sun as you all find yourself outside. And uh. we're gonna stop there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my we god! Did it. Yo, sense <laughs> upgrades Hooray. though. We did it. We beat Vestige. <laughs> we did it. We beat a few Jesus. And now we're moving on to fate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd very much like to stay here for a little bit. <laughs> You're a so okay. Yeah, I mean. There's no explaining needing to be. I'm that. trying to remove Mer Every time I try to remove Merquire, it's like stack overflow, and I'm like, oh, game, God, he's yeah. gone. He's yeah, gone, game. Let him go. a big old error message. <laughs> yeah. I think, oh we, I think we've been playing long enough that we just hit that point um, mm -hmm. where <laughs> the Fantasy Ground is like, okay, stop doing things. Stop playing. Okay. Just stop playing stop. the game, please. We need to rest. <laughs> oh. Damn. I will, I'll, I'll also addendum on that as you guys rest, the last thing that you would see as you... Or the first thing you guys would see as you wake up is uh, sitting in a tree nearby you, playfully kicking her legs. Scandal's with you guys. Yay! Yay! Ooh. Ooh. I tagged you. Huh! Beat it. So oh my god. <laughs> uh. I got a fancy new toy. Yay, Fenris got did. a fancy new toy. Yay, she did. <laughs> and guess what? This was a session we worked together. Can't yeah. you see what can be accomplished? It's true. Uh, Dude, oh, we don't that. get to talk about this on the next Jet 19. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to throw this uh, out there. If anybody has anything they want to bring up regarding this session, the next Chat 19 with those two is being yeah. recorded this coming Monday. Hell oh, yeah. Ask a question tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Ask questions. Just do it. Do it today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Just throw your questions, whatever They're they are. They're both so wonderful. Well, how would I go about questions. asking those questions, Mr. Mr. Nat 19 people, Mrs. Nat 19 people? Well, if you'd like to ask those questions, good. that's a great thing to ask. You can follow mm. the link that says chat 19 below the player or in the video description on YouTube. But if you're watching this on YouTube, it's too late for this particular call to action. <laughs> so, yeah. check out what the next one is, because it'll probably be fun too.
Hell yeah. Hell oh my goodness. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that Give was so that little old button what down there with such a good 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 see, not a puzzle to be found. <laughs> I mean, uh, one at the beginning, but like, whatever. <laughs> we, we heckin', we heckin' did it, Brad. We kept the pale woman a secret right up until she mattered. I know! Oh, yeah. so fucking hard. I was like, would she tell Lexi? No. <laughs> Bitch! Like, I, I love you, but I couldn't tell you. That's fair. Fred. Guys, I woke up and then I saw some lady. What? <laughs> Fred, hasted what? Hogan is the grossest thing ever. Uh -huh. it's, it's disgusting. True. We should do this more often. I saw Especially with that his was pretty new cool. fucking toy. I know. Now, an unfortunate part of this is that in the confusion of what happened, though you have the Orbis Maharaga's armament, their, uh, their yeah. Seraphite is... I was gone. gonna ask about I mean... that and it's just gone. Yeah. Wait, what is? It's Murkwire a raft? The Seraphite. No. Or, the Seraphite from Orbis. Remember when uh, Rock split, he split into Seraphite and a weapon? That would let you otherwise summon him. The thing that let you use the claws? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah. Orbis's Seraphite is now quite underground. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. but then me and Izzy could have fought to the death over, over something. It would have been great. <laughs> And since he's already dead, I win by default. <laughs> Wait, where'd my sword go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like you've been dead. Oh, it's not equipped on my shield. There it is. Uh, the Esper took it. Now. You know how she is. Is 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 Aristo okay? <laughs> no. Find out next time. <laughs> I'll try it out next time. <laughs> so, who uh, be fine. who wants some experience? <laughs> Who wants Me. a lot of experience? Me. I would like a lot of experience. I'm so behind. So, <laughs> heck in. So, I'm going to give you guys not only experience for Orbis and for Murkwire, um, <clears throat> but I'm also going to give you an additional 5,000 split among you all. <gasps> because you guys, you guys have just completed the first, uh, the first arc of this whole thing. This, yeah. Hell yeah! It's no oh. longer gonna be the Bandit Lord of Mott. You guys are past that. Oh, uh, he's surprise. more like the Bandit Lord of what? Being no, a nerd. I would have said. <laughs> that. The Bandit Lord of Rot beneath the ground. The Bandit Lord of Rot. The Bandit Lord of Rot. You start serving orcas. Oh, <laughs> you all gain oh, a total God. of two thousand five hundred and seventy-one experience. Damn it! Oh, I don't yeah. love that. I also don't love I need 3,000 more. Oh, cool. <laughs> Same. 3,000. Well, yeah. I need 20. Just under. More. Yeah, yeah. Just under 3,000. Well, they're ahead You're of all us. level I six. To... Nobody levels. I need <laughs> over 6,000. Damn. Tell everybody I'm That my was. Mama. That had a lot of ups and downs. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap. My, my whole entire face. You know what, Murkwire? As with Same. any big bad, I'm always worried that it's going to be like, ah, oh, they're just going to get him and they're going to, like, kill him in one round somehow. I got my mileage out of him, so I'm perfectly yeah. happy. Yeah, man. Stop talking oh. like he's dead. He disappeared. We know he's going to yeah, come back. He's gonna yeah, he's going to come back. Logan, you said this very eloquently to me once. If they don't sparkle away, it didn't matter. <laughs> Fucking the fate rule. That's true. If they yeah. don't, fade, if they don't if they sparkle do, away, if they don't they're glitter away, they're mm -hmm. A-OK. -okay. God shit. damn it. <sighs> I needed that sword. Wow. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My whole face hurts. I cried. Now you got to tell, tell your boy, I like, hey, it, it shattered. Some lady showed up and it shattered. So <laughs> some lady did show up and it shattered. Oh, no, I lady. was so convinced that I was dead. I was like, what am I gonna play after Lexi's fucking dead? Yeah, I'm like, just fucking <laughs> hanging out of here, man. Oh my oh. God. I, this is very fitting. In a way, this is very fitting that this is the session that Dueler was like, I can't donate for a while. You went out on the capstone, yeah. Dueler. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Do you, re oh, do, you really, do you guys realize how many times I woke up and there was a giant fucking enemy underside yeah. of me? Yeah, <laughs> dude, you went down like four <laughs> or five times. Like, holy I shit. Fucking, I just imagine it as like sliding under there, patting you and getting crushed and thrown over. Credits just throwing roll. myself to healing. Whenever he was going, whenever they were going over me, I'm just like, stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still. <laughs> Quintus, you gotta take the tough feet. Like, you gotta. <laughs> Yeah, Listen, you... I'm fine. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Really? That's your oh. choice. Oh yes, we have to. We're gonna. I'm gonna play the credits. And we have to do the. What? No, uh... Call of Duty's been leaked because of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't worry about it. It's not I know. Important. I know. There's like the raffle thing. Uh, but I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, I am. I we, this went Do long. It, I, I get it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta take it All out right. of here. I will I'll talk to y'all later. Goodbye. Oh, Bye. 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 Who is that guy? I tried. You I tried so I'm hard to prepare you for Orbis. I put a ring of lightning resistance, but the, rightfully so, the whole group was, we can't rest. And I'm like, yeah. no! Yeah. No, you fools! No! Yeah. I like that Mary got a lot of neato items, though. Like, holy shit, right? Just yeah, make his yeah. attacks more powerful. It's like, thank you. I can't wait to see what this fucking stone is that I got from the snake and what this fucking scabbard is. <laughs> Wee! So, how are you guys like in the pan? Then we can oh, hug. Then. Yo, okay. she had those. She's so pretty. Guys like, damn. See, all I all I saw was I woke up and Markwire died, and that was cool. And I like then, that. Bit. Then, then a lady <laughs> had me in her hands, and now I'm here. <laughs> wow, great story. It was great. She was really pretty. I, wife. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think she is everyone's wife. Good guy. That should. <laughs> Tell my uncle that. <laughs> what a heck of a good time. What a good, Holy good time. Shit. I had no idea what this session was going to be. Oh. oh, by the way, Logan. Oh. Yeah. Is, is, is this the last game we're going to have everything all rainbowy? Yeah. We, we've had yeah. our de facto Pride Month. Because you said we were going to do it all through June, and now June's almost over. It's July. July, July yeah. Nice. So you know what's really great? At the very end of Pride Month, when every, our Pride Month with everything was rainbow, girl with the we rainbow. We have the rainbow, lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. McGay queen. We'll still, ha we'll still have our rainbow yeah, heart. Damn. We'll always have our rainbow heart. Bam. Oh, yeah. Okay, night, Tannis. We love you. Night, Tannis. Bye. I saw her doodle of emerald earlier, and it was heckin' cute. Oh, heck yeah! Oh, that's so cute. She was doing a blep. Oh, adorable. Why does Scandal think that he's boring only now? Because she found out what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No mystery he was anymore. Like, he was oh, very much, up until this point, he was very cagey about what exactly he wanted. Then he was like, I want to be in charge. And she was like, I so. Mr. As soon Solved. as I heard what he wanted, it's like, I want a big rock to give to somebody else so I can be in charge. And I'm just like, she's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like her jam. <laughs> what a cool fight. What a great game. God. This was such a good done. session, Logan. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thank you. You guys had fun? So much. Oh, yeah. With yeah. scandal, letting me funny. live. <laughs> hey, she likes Miriam in particular. <laughs> It's true. Hell and yeah. I got an eye on her. I don't buy it. Why? <laughs> she cursed him! So? Yeah, that's she what you do when you like someone. Oh, that yeah, pull their hair. <laughs> you pull their hair. You curse them. Obviously, when you like someone, you uncurse them. No, I'm kidding. Boom. Boom. And there's Especially the way you went about it. <laughs> you right. This is it's, it's fine. It's fine. Very thorough with the uncursed. <laughs> she comes down. So I heard you guys did it in the Crystal Queen's place. That's interesting. <laughs> Yo, right. Damn. Wow. Just as you did a lot of interesting things after we after you left me. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Okay. What's that? My lady's calling to me. Oh, Let me die. My. And now you guys got some no. cool new things, which means you probably before the tournament happens, you're probably gonna want to go and be like, hey, we need to re-register some stuff. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, also oh, I betcha. need to learn what these do. <laughs> you you have time. You guys you guys managed to save basically an entire day. Like you guys I mean let's let's be honest, it's D D. Uh though your characters definitely should have acted with due haste, they were gonna be in that room basically yeah. until you got there. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's, but it's uh one of those I will say the situation like, it's it's a lot like with the the uh, Winchester stuff, though, depending on how long you took, the situation would have changed. Yeah. Uh, notably, if you got there too late, uh, Merkwire might have been able to use that gem for some things, but you guys got there fast enough that he couldn't. 
Ooh. I was so and now no one can use it except for whoever reforms it later in the in the tra in the tragic and hi uh, heightened climax. Oh uh, yeah, fucking the rest of the campaign's just gonna be Nuyasha. It's gonna be looking for the shards of it. You know, <laughs> you know how it goes. Oh, dude, you're joking, but I'd love it. <laughs> like right? But I want to do that. Let's just play Nuyasha the game. Hell yeah. Hey man, whatever was in it's broken. There's just a soul of an arch demon in there. There's the essence of an arch fiend. It's it's fine. It's fine if we got it. <laughs> it's all right. So whatever. Who cares? Who really cares? Oh. Uh, but yeah, I know now he's gone. But free. fucking haste, no giant power. strength, Vogan is a nightmare. Yep. It's so good. Like <laughs> I can't. I, Did I Vogan can't go express... through his entire fucking like, like? Potion horde, <laughs> and then some. He, he went through what he came in Oof. with, and then and he then the used most of it. Ugh. Like, <clears throat> I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the. I had no plans, obviously, but I very much enjoyed the way a bunch of you played into Murkwire and his his jazz. Ooh, I heard him talking. I said, "Well, my gym back, you dick." <laughs> <laughs> I know you uh, sold hate... it. Cause why would you keep it? There's literally no reason. I hate, I <laughs> hate and you. love that repost. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. It's such a good ability. It's, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of clutch moments where Murkwire almost went down. That I was like, oh man, I might not get to do the the cool pale lady stuff I wanted to do. But then you guys, you were kind enough to miss most of your killing blows, and I was like, neat. They're being nice to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh. If only I could have called him a bitch to death. That would have been so good. There's oh, killing an enemy right. with vicious mockery, with. then there's killing the enemy with vicious uh, mockery. Uh, the, what what did he call again, Murkwire? The people that he's working for? The Talons of Azharu. Yeah. Talons mm. as, his, as in claws. And then there was the big spooky snack people. in the gem or whatever. Can, the you, can you spell oh. it, uh, Logan, so we can, I can put it in my notes? Yes, I will throw it into the Vestige chat. Uh, I'll also just say it out loud. Uh, heckin. Uh, A-Z-H-A-R-U-L. Azarul. Got that way wrong. It's one of those weird words. It, like, there's like, a bunch of ways you could spell that. <laughs> Talons of Azarul, got it. Dude, that's what I thought instantly. Like, well. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, YouTube side, I think we're gonna go because we've already made a, a nightmare for Stewie. Good eye. Um, People that are in the chat, Hello, we're gonna we're gonna do our raffle, so stick around. Woo! Goodbye, everybody! Oh, goodbye, YouTube! Goodbye, YouTube!